Yeah. Yeah. It's that's still what, that's set I like. to it. It's still set to this channel, so I'm good. <laughs> no, you when you just flipped it over is when it started. So they missed all of that beginning. <laughs> no, I did it on purpose. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, 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 make, just make sure we're all, you know, aware. So who would like to start again? Not it. Nope. Why is it um, always me? I'm going to volunteer Blair to... <laughs> no, I said not at first. Don't yeah, care. so it, nice. For, thanks for volunteering. Nose game. Y'all lose. <laughs> Yeah, but... I was, I was literally oh. just going to say, you didn't say nose go. <laughs> we're, nose goes. we're, how old, everyone? <laughs> okay. Old enough to know yeah. nose goes? Age I, just I means you mature over time. Yeah. That doesn't mean you can't act childish at times, as long as you still are mature in the situations that call for it. Uh, age, age just means you've been around that it's long. Age and it doesn't mean you're mature. <laughs> Mentally, I feel like a child. Yep. I'm like a grown man trapped in a child, too. See, listen, <laughs> maturity is only if you know when you need to be mature in situations that call for it. You can still act childish. Who gives a fuck? If it's not hurting anybody, who cares? Hmm. See, Personally, cosmic, I love Cosmic knows the cosmic wisdom. Listen to that cosmic wisdom. It'll get you far in life. Fuck the both of you. We they must be a planeswalker. What is, is, problem, what is nose goes? Put your hand up your nose. Not it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very specific. Not, not it. it. Right. <laughs> no, I, I just say it for fun, North like American as a joke. Right? Gay, <laughs> too British to understand. So it but, sounds like Robin's giving the recap. Let's I go. if I have to, I will. Funnily okay. enough, it feels like last episode was more of like a, a Blair centric episode or a Blair a, uh, X an X centric episode. It's an X centric episode. Yep, X centric uh, episode. Uh, eccentric. Uh, <laughs> so, Robin, what happened last time? Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Yes, that's what uh, happened. Uh, uh, uh. Our journey last left off with our adventurers oh, no, heading. Oh no, he's pulling out the National <laughs> Geographic voice. <laughs> with our adventurers finally starting to head towards Asteros, our last episode was filled with hijinks, and as I like to put it, tea time, tribulations, and, and treason. Angst. And treason. <laughs> and treason. A small misunderstanding was had between X and Ezreal, which led to hijinks of the highest order. <laughs> AKA busting, trying to bust down her door. <coughs> As Arashi quite rudely put it, I don't remember your name being Robin. <laughs> uh, with Ezreal trying to break down uh, the door, in a sort of shining style, <laughs> shining style move, to the point where <laughs> someone finally managed to break through Frederick's armor. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like Cosmic's. Like, are you sure you want me to have twenty AC and then you just smack him with your scythe? <laughs> you want me to have twenty AC? Watch me. Also, just if anyone mad. else remembers, if anyone's here, just I'm gonna say one number. 16 and i'll leave it at that what 16 exactly that was the all the rolls that she got last oh session. yeah every like near enough every single strength roll was a 16. <laughs> mm -hmm. it didn't even matter <laughs> but in the end shut up it didn't even matter. no I try so. Uh, yeah, you want me to try and recap anything else? Good fucking luck. I do not remember. There's also a lot of angst between X and Orthom concerning oh, a thing in his that. past. I wasn't there. Hello, Leppa. Thank Lepa. you for the lurk. We appreciate you. Dude, there was like a, a section Cosmic, of would the you like... stream dedicated to that. Would you like to share what you gave uh, X? What Frederick gave X as a gift? Uh, spider slippers. Spider slippers. The boots of Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, the bunny slippers. 
Mm-hmm. They're a collector's item. <laughs> Only been worn once before. <laughs> yeah, stolen off some dead guy in the Comic Con. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh God! I hope you at least washed them before you gave them to X. Nah. <laughs> nah. X seems clean enough. They'll probably wash it on there. Oh no. <laughs> So is everybody ready? No, I'm Robin. Okay. Red Robin. Yum. <laughs> Didn't they go out of business? Robin, why'd you go out of business? Because I went broke drinking. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, I was locked in a, a room of rats. A rubber room. <sighs> that sounds like it'd be enough to drive someone crazy. Rubber room of rats. But not me! Okay, my why would you why would you go crazy? Okay, hang on. Why would you go crazy in a room of rubber rats when you just talk to them? My PC rubber, hates me today. Rubber room of rats. This is how That's it's gonna be. <laughs> my PC hates me. It has a little like moth symbol in the bottom left, and when I hover over, it's the importance of moths. I'm afraid of moths. How do you like <laughs> moths? It's okay, moths Robin. Are horrible. If, if what do you they mean ever come near you and I'm near, moths. you can just scream it's for me and I will pick moths. it up with my own two hands and bring it outside. But that would ruin its oil. I mean, it scales. I mean, it's carefully dust. pick it up, you know? I don't like moths. Because, eh, right. I mean, you can do it, you just gotta be careful. The worst part's when they, like, fly in your face. Yeah. But that's, like, true for everything. <laughs> Listen, butterflies are great until they get right up in your eye. <laughs> no, I'd be like... Pff, pff. Yeah, exactly, because you don't like a butterfly in your, a butterfly in your eye. Butterfly. A butterfly. My stuff came in the mail. Ooh. Wow. 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 I got an artist glove and uh, something else. We actually know what an artist glove is. Where's the curtain? Is it what Michael Jackson wore when he was dancing? <laughs> Lep is like, I am afraid of stupidity. Stupid Wait, I am stupid. No! And he likes Don't common know. sense too! Doctor, I think I'm afraid of backstories. Yeah. Oh, that that reminded me of something very important. Hold oh, on. it feels I gotta... so good to have to have an ESV Bible in my hand. Finally, I can't find one anywhere in any of the stores I looked into, even a bookstore. What are you looking for? Uh, ESV version of of the Bible, because that's what I usually study in the ESV version. There are different versions of the Bible? Yeah, like King James Version, New King James Version, ESV. What? Oh yeah, there's different testaments. I, I know about the different testament, testaments. Testament. Why the fuck are there different versions of the Bible? <laughs> I don't understand religion. <laughs> I mean, you're always welcome to visit no, sometime <laughs> if I'm you want to learn. I am alright. I think if I get within too close a proximity to a church, I will burst into flames. Ooh. Oh, come on, Robin. I'm sure you won't. Besides, we've got water. No. When this I was getting baptized, uh, so, my cousin kind of... accidentally ended <laughs> up uh, knocking water. over the fucking candles and scared the priest. <laughs> 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 okay, that's a little funny. This is, this is how, it was this really is... funny. This is what I imagine Frederick is like when he's get when he gets left alone with uh, Orsum. So I'll look at the D and D memes real quick, and then we'll start. Oh, Fear of long one. words. Yeah, I've seen this one. Yeah. <laughs> Ortham, I think I have a fear of long words. Oh, that sounds I like a classic case. Long, 
No, all the way around. Words. Hmm. Sounds like a classic case of hippopotamus dressed as no. yeah, yeah, Don't mind, worry, mind, it's highly treated. I was like, yes. Unlike Fred numinal ultramicroscopic silicone volcanic like ah! Are you afraid of needles? Right. No. That's <laughs> right, because the medication is administered intravenously by a homeopathic That's right. <laughs> Frederick, with eight years of med school, you too can pronounce you. like chug gug gug. name is Dr. Anne. Oh. Anne T. That sounds like a Welsh town. She lives over by like chug gug 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 yeah, that's right. Eight years of med school, you too can pronounce Lake Char Gug 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 Man Chug Gug Gug Chow Bana Gung Gung Gung. I feel like bad forever has to witness this. Hmm? I just watched it. I'm like, I feel bad forever has to witness this. Why? It's pretty funny. I too have a fear of long words, but I deal with it. Mostly with anger and violence, but I deal with it. <laughs> Frederick. I'm talking about yep. me. Anyway. Cosmic, you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Blair? Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Robin or Rashi? Yeah, yes, sir. Answer. Hmm? Gave yes, sir. Huh? What they said. <laughs> Okay. So we last left off leaving the the church. And we will now be heading towards the Ivory Lake itself. Now hopefully this is right when I flip you over. <gasps> there is water. I mean it's funny that it's a lake. But it's clean water. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You sure about that? Sure, why not? Nah, I don't believe it for a second. Hey Nano, if you ever walked up to the Ohio River, would you say that's clean water and proceed to drink it? I don't think Ohio so. exists. Ohio doesn't exist. Yeah, it does. Nah, Ohio next door doesn't to West exist. Virginia. Ohio doesn't exist. It's a myth. It's like Australia. Australia doesn't exist. <laughs> Book one, water, the return of the avatar. No, 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 no. Australia does exist. The deadly creatures are the myth. <laughs> no. It's Australia that doesn't exist, but the creatures do. What, are they all cryptids now? No, because they all come from the down under. The underdark? No, the down under. That's not Australia. It's the down under. All right, so after coming up to the beautiful I, 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 Ivory Lake, I, 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 <laughs> um, you'll see a small dock ahead of you, some trees that have been knocked over, some, and uh, explore away. Let me know what you want to look at. I'm just going to say in character towards Ezreal. For these trees, you too. <laughs> you son of a fuck. <laughs> Frederick, for the last time, it was just the one, and you don't even believe me for that one. <laughs> Wait, where, where, where is X trailing behind, per usual? Yep. Just put yourselves where you wish to go, because I've hid goodies. You hid goodies? Yeah, I hid goodies. Right, I know... <laughs> I, know... I can't I know even move myself, supposed... I can only move the cat. Huh? That's interesting, I can't move you're myself. trapped in the cat's body. <laughs> No, I, a taco I know and X switch to... bodies for a day. There we go. I know we're meant to make haste to hysterics and all that. Uh, yeah. The urge to, to have Ezreal just go swim. Beach episode! Uh, but no. Lake I'll, episode. I'll be, I'll be good. Ezreal probably wouldn't be the first one to dive in anyway. Mm -hmm. Ezreal would need to be dragged in. Yeah, it'd be a taco. I would for sure be the cat. 
I'm gonna slow down. <coughs> slow down your yes. next face. Did, did, did you get that incense? I did not get the incense. You forgot! <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't exactly have uh, time to go grab it unless DM deems that uh, it was automatic. <laughs> it was more on the way back, you promised to get. <laughs> Because you got to go back through the church and stuff to get to X Medesia. Right now, I just have a bunch of charcoal. Because I was in the process of burning down a tree last time. <laughs> I should write that down, shouldn't I? How much charcoal did I get? A tree's worth of charcoal. Yes, but in terms of monetary value? <laughs> Lepa says, Magician throws a fireball into the bathtub to get hot water. Fireball really is the solution to all problems. I use fire bolt. <laughs> yeah, but Lepa's talking about something else. I know. <laughs> fireball is just fun. To the I ranger of our party. I didn't ask with happen. the radio, <laughs> Now, to the, to the ranger of the party, an arrow may have your name on it, but a fireball is to whom it may concern. <laughs> <laughs> to whom it may concern. To whom it may concern. Alright. So, Ezreal's checking out up there? Yeah, this one particular tree, because it looks fancy. Okay. It's a funky little tree. Roll me a perception. Two. Everybody who went somewhere. So just me. <laughs> oh, wait. I told I'd you, it's probably... your playground. Do with what you wish. Oh, yeah, I'd probably be going, like, all over the place, because, well, after complaining to X, we'd probably be going off, like... <laughs> uh, perception, you said? Yes. Okay. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> I can now hear from both sides. Blue. Hmm? Oh. So you said you're looking at it up from both sides? No, um, I can now hear from both sides. Music was, uh, sound was only coming through one of my headphones for a moment. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess we're not having the peaceful music right now, so. Jesus Christ, guys. What is this? This isn't right. What? <laughs> How did Mine's, I roll higher than okay. anyone else? Mine's <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't I don't have high rolls in comparison to Blair. Well you're getting it now, so shut up. <laughs> Stop complaining. I will complain I'm British. It's in my blood. Mm. Other than tea. Alright. So I Zero, you said you're checking out this whole tree. From this side that's pointing towards the lake, you will find a trident a, a rusty trident embedded into the tree. Okay, but is a trident cooler than a scythe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, just keep staring back at, at each weapon until you finally decide. Yeah. Okay, so there's a trident here. Yep, trident there. Let me go to my notes. Let's see, side. next is Arashi. Arashi, you find a rusty dagger stabbed into the tree. Uh, around this this side of the bark, closer towards where the trident was. Blair, you see a tall snake lady at the end of the dock, just sitting there fishing. <gasps> Alrighty. Allow me up. Yeah. And Frederick, 
you hear a bit of a commotion coming from the edge of the water. I guess I'll go ah! investigate. Ah! Ah! Uh, Rachi. Crabs. <laughs> I'm just trying to simulate it. <laughs> You see three crabs fighting a uh, three giant crabs fighting a giant toad. What on earth? I'm gonna fight giant toad. <laughs> Team crab. <laughs> Team crab. <laughs> oh, well, <nice. laughs> rolling. Do you call out? Do you call out for your party? I'm sure they'll notice. <laughs> Hmm. Question is, who knows this first? <laughs> Do any of us hear the commotion? Only perception. At least, at least Orphan might. Or only perception. Uh, X. Have a perception check. X is usually pretty on guard. I probably notice. Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just too busy staring at the dagger. <laughs> Like, why is this in the tree? And I suppose I'm doing the same with the trident. <laughs> yeah, you're just focused on what you see. <laughs> you're just really fascinated like by this uh, snake lady. Uh... Yeah, that's <laughs> one sexy snake lady. Yeah, it is a giant that... frog that is kind of unordinary. Hard to miss. <laughs> but, he is, but he is still slightly submerged in the water. Blah, blah. Just poking out hmm. and going bleh. Go ahead and roll me an initiative, Frederick. <laughs> wow. Oh, Jesus. oh dear. Oh my. Oh my. Oh me, oh my. Something oh tells me, oh me oh you're fated world. to die alone. <laughs> Toad didn't do Are that we much. We meant better. to see that. Toad didn't do much better. It got 15. I know, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. I was like, is that meant to be seen? Hmm. Oh, I didn't click on him. That's right, you gotta click on him and then do it. I mean, it, you, you guys would know the turn order anyway, so initiative being all that much of a surprise. See, he didn't do much better. Why did all this load back in? You're trash, you're trash, you're trash, you're trash, you're trash, you're trash, Bro. kid. Now this crap. Oop. It's a magic number. God damn. God damn. Roger just really hates toads. <laughs> and frogs. Can confirm. It's just a battle of which is cooler, and crabs are cooler. <laughs> Cry brave. Oh my god. That crab got a straight yeah, 20. Well, he got an 18, well, he's got plus two decks, so. Are we supposed to be able to see these again? It doesn't matter, like okay. I said. Hey. So the crabs are not after you, they are after this toad. So we start off with this little boy up here. By that I mean he's still tall, so he'll scurry up. And what will he do? Crab. He will hit him with a claw. The big meaty claw. And miss. Yep, he misses. This crab will do the same. Oh. <laughs> Hit him with his big meaty claw. Jesus. I think you got him. <laughs> nah. And the damage is eight. The target is grappled. Escape with the DC 11. The crab has two claws, each of which can grapple only one target. Okay. So he's kind of clamped onto the frog's leg right now. Do I get advantage on targets I grapple, or do I get advantage on targets that are grappled? That's the question. What is the wording? That's what I'm looking at. Does it just say grappled target? Nah, it's just target I Ah. Hmm. Shame. 
Just a quick question while this is all going down. How rusted is the trident? It, uh... Same question. It's, it's been there for a fairly long time. Same you can't favorite. tell what this is. Uh, roll me a history check, actually. <laughs> Just while this is happening. <laughs> oh, Lepa, you're okay, a genius. That's a, a non-natural 20. The fuck so, is going uh, on? You, you, you didn't hear that, but Lepa just played the the crab crab raver deem I have. I did say crab raver. <laughs> yeah, and then Lepa played it. <laughs> nice. Toad toll combat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not natural twenty for the history check. Not natural twenty. It has been there um for about twenty years. Left unattended. This makes me worry that I'll break it if I go to grab it. What? There's only one way to find out. I cut down. I'm not going to cut down the tree. <laughs> yep. Terrible idea. Is it? I mean, would I be able to, like, cut around the trident? I forget for a grapple. Do you roll the escape when it happens, or do you roll it when it's your turn? If you're trying to escape a grapple, I think yeah, you can like, try to roll on your turn. I think it is your turn. Alright. Well, instead of that, he's going to bite this crab up here, leaving that one alone down there. And he will... Actually, I should probably make these on. Oop. I'd close the thing. Let it break. No, there it goes. You know what I'm doing in the middle of this? What are you doing in the middle of this? Going. That's nice. Can I just uh, say something real quick? Yeah. Uh, I got a perception roll of four, and mm -hmm. everyone else got a perception roll higher than four. <laughs> that four made me realize the people at the shore, and they yeah. got slightly higher than that. Yeah. So shouldn't they understand that it's there? Well, Ortham got a five. And is focused on that tree specific. You went up here... And they were just to your right. And X went to these boxes, or yeah, X went to these boxes, and I'm assuming they're facing. Oh, uh, escaping a grapple takes an action. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So it has to be done on their turn, and if they escape a grapple, they cannot attack unless they've got like a multi attack or some shit. Yep. Multi attack is taken as an attack action. Oh, yeah, it has to be anything that's a bonus action. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. I believe it matches. Half damage move. Now comes an interesting thing. So with the bite, it has a chance to grapple it. Grapple, grapple. Yeah target is restrained. Okay. Uh, so it'll take half damage. So we're rounding up. So five and two. So seven. Oof. Feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Okay. This last crab will come up. And miss. Alright, Frederick. It's your show now. Water. Can I stand in this? You can stand in this. 
I'm gonna go up, smack it with bludgeoning under my, um, actually, how big is it? How big is it? It is... Is this thing supposed to... Uh, medium size, so... It's grapplable. It is? Mm-hmm. Well, it's already grappled, so... It is grappled. And it's it didn't use the action to break out of it. Ooh. Show us what you got. I'm gonna hit it with the bludgeoning end of the hook hammer. Okay. Swing, bada bada bada. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. That will not hit it. I'm afraid. Yeah, it like just ducks out of the way. Yeah. Can you no more? Alright, everyone else roll me a perception check again. Zero. Kashi. I wanna well I wasn't done yet. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Come on, just go on. No, no, go ahead. Do what you gotta do. I want a shield of faith. The crab that got a crit. <laughs> oh. Yes, crab. That one was the one right beside you. Can you give it a thing so you know it has plus two AC? I can. Chip, he's got that much AC now. You got it. Okay. <laughs> he just came up to this crab. Was like, worry not, brother. I have you. <laughs> crab gets on there. Stamba is like, well, they're not hurting me, so okay. <laughs> Allies can be whatever they want to be. Who gives True. a fuck? <laughs> so, with this, Ortham will see that uh, Frederick is in the commotion. And um, I'm gonna guess that Ortham is gonna say something. Oh, look! There's giant crabs over there! And why is Frederick fighting them? I'm just going to look back and go, because why not? <laughs> just looks back and shrugs. Por que? But why? Uh, I suppose it would catch my interest. or well, my attention, sorry. Serial! <laughs> Frederick's being dumb. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. No. Like oh! <laughs> Like, he, he might need us, maybe. Yep. All right, What's your all's movement? I have 30 feet. Mm. Pretty sure I do, too. Mm -hmm. You can make it this far when you get up there. You could just jump off the side right here, because about, like... To where this edge of the toad is, it's pretty shallow still. Even for you, Tiny. So you can get up right beside him. So this half, you will start treading into the water a little more. It'll be up to your chest. Well, I don't know. How tall, how tall is the X again? Like four foot? Actually, like three foot seven? Five, two, I believe. Yeah. Well, yeah. Alright, so you'll be uh it'll be around your hip. If you go in that deep. I mean I shoot arrows, so there's no uh point in me going in the water. Yep, yep. <laughs> What's a zero point at? Uh you can get up to there. Yeah, I'll just Or you can sprint for sixty. Oh no, I don't want to do that. You don't want to do that? 
if it's something I can sort of like see, am I able to like run the 30 and then Sacred Flame onto the frog? It's water. <laughs> yeah, but it it comes down. That's the thing. Oh, and it's also, right. you know, radiant not damage. fire. It's radiant. <laughs> I feel like I may have picked like too epic of a theme for this. It's a frog and it's, it's just, just like frog. the boss battle. <laughs> right. It's a frog versus crabs. You're right, it's very intense. This is very fitting music, you're right. I shouldn't second guess myself. Uh, yeah, is that something I'm able to do? Yeah, she can move 30 and then use her, your uh, sacred, and sacred flame. Yep. It's just, I, it depends on the accuracy or the range for your sacred flame actually 60 feet oh wait we're gonna... so probably do it from where i am oh, <laughs> yeah roll initiative yeah. question mark yes you would roll yeah, initiative should. this turn yeah. uh... eh, good enough no no you gotta click on remember you gotta click on your portrait and then do the initiative oh i see what's this even what <laughs> 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 That's what you get for not doing it right. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> right there next to Frederick. <laughs> that was the, uh... Wait, what button do I have to click? So you, you have to on your... click on the picture of your character. Yes. Then go to your sheet and click initiative. Hey, you did better than the other two. <laughs> Let's go. X. Where? Sorry, I had to do something. It's okay. Just that making sure you're still there. around. There go. You got to click on your portrait. Remember your little picture? And then hit initiative. Damn. Hey, Taco got the best. Oh, no, no wait. <laughs> I didn't see uh, certain someone's. Didn't see the 22. <laughs> no. No, I did not. <laughs> Rogues, man. <laughs> I mean, <Yeah. laughs> Rangers. Yeah, Rangers. Rangers. Mm. Rangers. Of course. Okay. Mm. All right, X, you are the start of the initiative. I will do my usual and uh, see if I can hide a bit to see if I can get uh, advantage and then sneak attack. Oh, hold on. Isn't Frederick right next? Yeah. Oh, wait, if, yeah. If you're if oh, someone's right, next yeah. to it, even right, the right, crabs right, right. there would give you the sneak attack. Right, sweet. No, wait, I think it says friendly, Jason. Short bow. Well, are the crabs actually friendly towards us, or are they neutral? I mean, it's just you know, they just crab. They just they just raven, enjoying their days. And this frog it ruined their rave party. Right, they're just right there on the edge, like yeah, man, let's do it. And then the frog came, like the fuck you doing on my lawn. <laughs> So do I have to click that twice because I have advantage, or how Which does that one? work? Uh, if you open up your character, character sheet, sheet. at the top it says advantage, normal, disadvantage. Like next to core oh, bio spells. Yeah, you click that one. I oh, did not see that before. Yeah, yeah it's because I added it later. I added it like at the end of the thing because yeah, it was only gotcha. taking the advantage rolls. So even if you got the lower one, it was taking the higher one. So we fixed it. I fixed it. I confused some people, but I fixed it. Yeah, you hit. All right, click oh, the short, yeah. click the short bow button on the bottom, and it'll do the damage. Okay, but Nine I also damage. get extra two d six damage. All right, then roll attack. the two d six. Nine, so eighteen damage. Let's go. That's that's a rogue. Oh man, this this frog is hurting. <laughs> the ranger did something. Yeah, yeah I did. 
Yeah, it did. Yeah, the ranger did. So now it is the, the first crab's turn. <laughs> Just the the, the 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 Latin opera in the background is the, is the frogs. Just it's great, and I love it. Yeah. All right, he will hit for four points of damage. Snip, snip, jerk face. <laughs> Now for the crab that you buffed up. He misses, I believe. Nope, he hits him. Oh, seven damage. This is getting rough. Are you ready? Because A Taco is going to do the finishing blow. A taco will run up and start drinking the water in front of him. <laughs> now it is the toad's turn. Isn't a taco Blair's familiar though? Wouldn't they have control over it? Kind of. Tell him what to do, but Blair didn't tell him what to do. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't really want a stay. taco getting hurt, <laughs> so it's fine. Okay, you can just. And uh, Itaka is just coming up, drinking the water. Sip, sip. Yep. It's more of a sneaky guy, not more of a uh, attacky boy. Yep. Now, it is time for the cr or for the toad. For the cr toad. <laughs> yep, the toad, to do something uh, interesting. Tactical retreat. Nope. You see, you see that toad right there that he had grappled in his mouth. Mm-hmm. He ate it. You yeah. hear a loud crunching as it just like tears through the tears through oh. it. Oh, nope. So why did we wait? Why did we wait? <laughs> just imagine like all the things that chips, we but cooking. living chips being crunched. Well, it's because uh. it's. The crabs, they're it's their shell. He I he's know. got strong jaws because he's a giant toad. You also forget that chips for me are different. So you said chips, and I'll say chips aren't supposed to be that crispy. <laughs> <laughs> Only if they're made wrong, they're not supposed to be. <laughs> Crisps, on the other hand, yep. are crispy. <laughs> yep, that and toad, uh, that crab, that crab no longer exists. I mean, he does. Uh, yeah, how long? How how long? One piece. Nope. It, he killed it, and then he got some HP back because he had a crabby meal. The trio became a duo. Yep. No, there's a trio. Frederick took his place. <laughs> <laughs> how does it feel to be a crab now? Crab, crab rave. <laughs> crab people. <laughs> All right, this crab to your left will see that his friend was eaten and start to retreat. Ah. Giving the crab, or giving the toad. I would like to impose disadvantage on the toad's attack as my Ooh. reaction. Okay. So he gets a 13. Stand menacingly. I think that misses. Let's go. Good call. Let's go. Good call on that, Frederick. Mm. All right. So he is able to back up away. He just turns slightly and just bolts the opposite way of the toad. Uh -huh. All right, Ortham. Oh, oh, here. I'm so slow. Can I move in a diagonal? You can move in a diagonal, yes. I know what I want to do. Okay. I just need to see the range on it. Well, there's a built-in range finder for you. Uh, it would be considered like 30 feet range. 
about Yeah, right. Okay. And now I'm I'm a I'm a sapping sting that toad. I'm gonna I'm gonna go pew and it's gonna be this tiny little needle thing just shooting straight into its eyeball. <laughs> Arthur pulls out a blow dart and goes <gasps> Not not an actual blow dart, but like <laughs> A metaphorical blow dart. Yes. I'm pretty sapping sure we sting. have blow darts. We do. Mm -hmm. We do have blood hearts, so it it's could true. be an actual blood art. Oh, well. You can see we're yep. using the blow dart, but not actually pinging any darts and instead using it for sapping sting. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So if you click on the name sapping sting on your spell list, it should do the thing. So not the quote box or the cog, the actual name itself. There we go. Spell save DC 14. Against what, though? Must succeed constitution. Let's see what the toad has for constitution. Uh, Straight bad. into the eyes! I got a 19. So he kind of put his claw up, or put his, uh, his leg up, and you hit the frog. Or you hit the crab that it was attached to his leg. Yeah, you you, you take that. Yeah, you you, you stupid amphibian. Well, that <laughs> would mean if Arashi hit the crab, but now the crab took damage and is now prone. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep, because he didn't get his con save. Roll me a d4. <laughs> Good job, Arashi. <laughs> Let's go. Three? Oh my god. <laughs> and that's free max max health damage right there. Yep. And he is passed out on the water. <laughs> oh. I well, got not passed him. out. Well, did not I, passed out, him? but knocked prone. Okay. Hey Frederick, did I get him? Did I get him? Oh wait, there's no. a crap <laughs> You hear like a little bloop as the crab splashed in the water. Probably sinking. <laughs> you can still grab it while prone, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, his claw is, you know, his claw is still on it, but he's just, the rest of his body just, just slumped, slumped upside down. down. <laughs> Not flipped upside down, he just slumped over. His legs just went out from under him. <laughs> can he still be seen? The crab? Uh, the frog. The frog, yes. Okay, good. Mm. Were you going to do anything else, Rashi? You did an action and a move. You still have a free action, I believe. Okay, you just... 25 is me. Sounds like you still have five feet left, then. Um, good luck, Frederick. <laughs> End my turn. Okay. <laughs> All right, is your show. <laughs> Sorry, stretching. Um, wait. Between you two, who has the better decks? Is it a zero? We both have plus zero. Oh, it's uh, okay. So it's a tie either way. It would have automatically added. Oh, never mind. Yeah, they're both uh, zero. T <laughs> six or something for whoever goes first. Mm. No pressure. It's not like Robin's been <laughs> rolling high all the game. No, you need to wait. Who's rolling the D six to decide? Me and you. Okay. Seems fair to me. Ooh. Oh. All right, Frederick. You are above a zero. What do you do? Oh, Hitting it again with a hook hammer. All right. So, 
There it is. Fifteen. Does hit. Roll that damage. Divine smite. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so we get that damage. Okay. On top of 2d8. Which I'm trying. There we go. Damn. Was that like a one? Yeah, it was a one and a six. <laughs> what? So it was literally one of the, the worst and the best. <laughs> uh, no, it's 2d8. So. Oh, okay. Oh, 2d8? Hmm. All right, so 7, 11. And with this. I've been to one of those shops. That's nice. The crab will slump down and just start slowly sinking down in the water. The crab? Or the toad. I'm my apologies. <laughs> I'm gonna grab it before it goes down and drag it onto the uh shore. Okay. Roll me a strength check. Ten. Yeah, you're able to get him up to the shore. You drag the little buddy along too, because he's still attached. <laughs> I like how this crab <laughs> trying to escape this one up here, trying to escape him with just drag. <laughs> Dragged it towards him. Just well, turns around. Is it no, not? this one was trying to run away. There was one that died. This one tried to run. And the other one. <laughs> and, and the other one's not. <laughs> and the other one's been grappled. Well, the other one is grappling it, but yeah, got dragged yeah, along with. Uh, has a boost to its AC. <laughs> True. It's fearless. <laughs> yeah, but that was still the one that tried to run away after watching its friend get eaten. You got yeah. got. You got got. It's the worst time to get got got. Get. Duck dim dum. Oh no, the dim What's crap dim -dum. for dinner? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I helped him, please. <laughs> I helped him, please. <laughs> I mean, you can eat frog. Frog's like. Don't hurt my friends. Oh, we can have frog <laughs> pan crab. Yeah. It's a whole buffet. I, I can imagine the lab. Come on, like, you get a cat. Weird. Why can't I have a frog? <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I'll let you You're keep your crab. crab. I'll let you keep my crab. For now. Until I'm hungry. Uh, damn. <laughs> right, guys, that was such a, uh invigorating encounter. Um, I did everything. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> So I'll tell you this now, he was knocked down like 3 HP when uh, Frederick last hit him. <laughs> but then he ate, he had, no, and then when uh, X uh, hit him, he went down to like 3 HP, then he ate the crab, <laughs> who, or no, he dropped down to 5 HP, and then he got healed up with uh, 5 HP from that crab he ate, I think. Oh, whatever. Anyway, we now have a dead toad and a couple of crabs that are very confused. Who speaks aquatic? <laughs> I speak primordial. They speak blub. They speak blub! <laughs> <laughs> Which means no languages. <laughs> they understand each other. But they don't understand us. <laughs> Can we, like, blub with friendly intent? You can try. You can try. <laughs> I'm nowhere near the fight. I'm still over here by the tree. I just watched everything happen. Yeah. Hello! <laughs> Orton's, yeah, like, I've got Orton's it. like, Frederick's attacking crabs! That's Wait, no that's right. Crabs Orton did say Frederick's attacking crabs. <laughs> mm. Not crabs, though. Yeah, but Ortho misinterpreted it. Sippy, sippy. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, the crabs will look at you and they'll just start like pinching, making little <laughs> clapping noises. Can I like I imitate tap my that. hands together? 
I, mm-hmm. I, I go full on crab and go skip, 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 skip. Frederick, <laughs> roll me a performance check with advantage. Hey, you got a 20. Oh, I accidentally hit disadvantage. Oh, well, I'd still roll both. It's either way. <laughs> yeah, we. It's not an attack. We don't have to worry about having to do the extra stuff. I'm shuffling, like, side to side doing the crab thing. Yep, so you got a 20. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. So they start like going a bit faster and like doing a little hop as they do it. They're happy yeah. to help them. I'm just copying them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they are crab raving all over this de- uh, giant toad's corpse. <laughs> I, I, I'm there, just uh, full into the giant it. Toad may have. Roll me an investigation. Would this be considered battle knowledge as a defeated foe, or...? Hmm, excellent question. I would say yes, it would be a battle knowledge, because you just fought this thing. So you're trying to learn more about how it works in a fight. None of those are 15. He hit the disadvantage one. <laughs> you should probably flip it over. Well, I selected advantage that time because the 15 is lit up. Oh, okay. Oh, I gotcha. Yep. It's just very hard to see. <laughs> yeah. Um, as you look at this, you'll see a trident stabbed into its back. A little bit in better shape than the one that... uh. Azirio found. I pulled out. Give me a strength check. Just a regular strength check. Oh, shit. Regular. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Roll it again. You hit the wrong one. <laughs> Pulling Let's again. <laughs> there you go, buddy. 320s. Let's go. Just uh, Sorry, I had to get my grip straight first. You, you slipped a little, Nick. Oh, wait. Toad oil. Gotcha. <laughs> and you will pull out a trident. As you look at it, it just looks like a regular silver trident. Craving frog legs. <laughs> I mean, go for it. <laughs> is it craving or carving? <laughs> craving, but it can yes. be carving. Is, that a, is hey. that a typo or intention? Hey, Frederick, please step back. Uh, uh, you hurt the crab, I hurt you. I'm not attacking the crab. Move. I don't know, you sounded a bit robotic there again. I'm going to hold my hands out to pick the crabs up and just, like, move them away. <laughs> Very well. Crab friends. Which way are you going? Away. I'm going to walk backwards. <laughs> so, Go like, ahead. walk around the stump to, like, you're here. Okay. They'll, they'll come over. <laughs> and as you pick them up, one of them goes. <laughs> <laughs> Sniff your nose. Nah, just starts like snipping at your armor. Not like in an attacking way, just like in a. Like, why did you pick hard me sh- up? No, they're like, hard shell. <gasps> You're He's like me for real. <laughs> He's like me for real. <laughs> For real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. Where's that even from? A really tall crab. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. He certainly built like a crab. All right. I want to gather some branches, stick them under the, the toad corpse, and then set it all on fire. <laughs> you cook it, of course. So you, I mean, you I was going to cut it up first so that we could, like, yeah, cook it properly. You know, that's probably the better idea because you can't really... You're going to have a lot of the inside be rare and then you're going to have the outside be burnt. <laughs> you haven't uh, gotten out the uh, guts or anything either. It's here. I, I mm. don't eat frog eggs. Mm? Don't you have a thing? The cookbook? I'm still nowhere near the people. Everything's sort of still happening. Well, then move can, towards yeah, us. Yeah, you can still you're, move. We're not in battle. Hey, you're not in battle. It's not turn days anymore. <laughs> I'm sort of just kind of like, right, what I miss. Hey, you, you catch Frog, me with a, with we a... Want food. 
cookbook. <laughs> you catch me just uh, about to yeah, torch it with like uh, with the, like a sizzling end of index finger, like. Oh, well, well, you're not I about to torch it. You got to get your you got to get your materials first. You said you wanted some sticks. You're getting sticks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have time to think about that. <laughs> and I'd like to cut it up while they gather sticks. <laughs> and try is, that like and a, is that like a boat horn or something oh, in the background? In the background of something? Mobike? Probably a motorcycle, yeah. That was a motorcycle. It sounded like a <laughs> boat <laughs> As you burn. <laughs> genuinely uh, miss having a motorcycle. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to gather sticks. Sorry, I forgot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, no, uh, yeah, I'm going to... Oh, second. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the cookbook from my bag and sort of like read through it to look for if there's anything for preparing frog meat. Investigation. Oh my god. I never do well on these. <laughs> Investigation. I would say can I give advantage, but I already have disadvantage on my own. <laughs> yep. Seven. <laughs> frog? Find an entry on chicken. <laughs> no, nah, you you find the the frog page. I know, I was joking. No. Can I wing well, it and try and do it myself and potentially get advantage because it's an aquatic creature and I probably have more experience with that yes. for reasons. But hell yeah. Yes, but uh, Ezreal, what you found is uh, fried frog legs, which doesn't Ooh. help very much in this situation because we don't got a fryer or a way to fry the oil. But we or can still look fry. at the ingredients and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. We can still DIY it. Mm -hmm. Alter the recipe a little. Do we do we have anything? In? What Probably is going not. on in the background? Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my door open. Do I have anything that I can, I can use? Do we have like a <laughs> chef's kit? I don't think anybody got a chef's kit. None of us got a chef's kit. <laughs> I was looking for like the bounty hunter kit as well. It's like, did they give us anything? Else? Nope. Possibly. Something to ask the uh, the tavern owners when we return. <laughs> See if Ethereal can borrow a uh... chef's kit. <laughs> chef's kit. Yeah. You guys don't know how to cook things on the road? No, they do. They're just not trying to see if they can get a fancy <laughs> recipe, but they got the wrong one. <laughs> so what would I roll to uh, prep the meat? Nature. Gotcha. Oh, 16, oh. let's go. All right, yeah. Okay, uh, you get... You get the frog legs off. You're able to skin them properly this time without the aid of brash. Because we all know it was just for show. You just want a brash to hold your hand to help you guide through it. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, the hot dragonborn. <laughs> Listen, your word is not mine. Yeah, I built them, I built built them like a Greek god and I put them among the Greek gods. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm just playing. He's very gay. No, I'm just saying what X would say. Why, right. why is he very gay when he's got like a wife that he talked about? Because it's Greek. They're he can all gay. He still be like partially gay. Yeah. The, Look at the Harry joke. Styles. He is like twenty percent gay. <laughs> Who? Bro, what? Harry, Harry Styles. Who says he doesn't have gay? a wife oh, and a Styles. husband? Huh? Yeah, I, 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 relationship success. I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> anyway, not my cup of tea. <laughs> um, yeah, you're able to skin off. You're able to get the skin off the frog and just uh properly get the skin meat. frog legs. Yes, you do. Especially since this frog was poisonous. Oh. <laughs> so you Are we sure that this is safe to eat? <laughs> totally. I mean, no one checked to see if the frog was poisonous. So we're just no. getting frog legs. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but I'm just getting sticks. Well, if X like comes out in a rash, then just from handling it. I think we'll Zero, do. roll me an investigation check. God fucking damn it. <laughs> uh, investigation. 
Mm-hmm. 15. Hey, that's probably my best investigation role. <laughs> oh, that's a stupid. X is not breaking out into a rash as uh, they are skinning the meat. Gaming. <laughs> so it doesn't secrete a poison. It's an ingested poison. Oh, fun. No, it's a... Uh... Wait. <laughs> are we about to get high as a kite? I don't know. Are you? <laughs> don't lick the toad. <laughs> Do not lick the toad. I just just watch. The others will will get sick from it, and then I'll be like, "You guys are babies." And I'll Can I just fine. make as like a side comment? Just like make sure you wash your hands after that, <laughs> just in case. So. I mean, I do like to keep my hands rather clean. Zero, you're watching as like X is uh, carving up the meat. You look into the frog's eyes, and you start to see a pattern of blue and white, or black and white. Oh shit! Just, no, like, I'm tripping. Balls. Echoing. <laughs> As you start to get suggestions like, kill your friends, attack your enemy. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's okay. not hypno It's okay. not hypno <laughs> It's not hypno <laughs> Wait, goes But it might this? be. It might be. Yeah, go up. No, but you killed it before you guys got too close. So, you know, who knows if it was hypno or not. <laughs> yeah, imagine having oh, well. to bite a giant frog. Couldn't be me. <laughs> I wonder if I find a lot of... Roll me another nature check, X. Beautiful. So you're able to get the poison sack out without bursting it. Game A, let's fucking go. But you now have it. Yeah, I was gonna say, should you just like keep that and use it? (laughs) Yeah, it's mine now. (laughs) How are you going to carry it? It's I very mean, I important. would say toss it in the hole, but that has a I'm sharp sword, so okay. probably not a good idea. Do not put um... the poison sack in your hole. Hey, X, <laughs> what's the thing you're holding? Poison. Yeah. <laughs> a poison. knife. A knife. No. Egg. <laughs> what's that egg? you're holding? A knife. X. What's that? Oh, it's just the uh, the poison sack from the frog. Do you have any to hold it in? Um, I'm currently my looking hole. through my bag to see if I do. <laughs> do you have anything? I have a hollowed out book. <laughs> <laughs> How big is the sack? <laughs> it's the size of a baseball. I Which mean, a hollowed out book there? will work. That's essentially just a poison grenade. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can use it for that then. Way to use your knowledge. Here's Let's the hollowed go. out book. You can have it. By the way, did you know that the librarian once hid their, their liquor in there? Oh, so really? it's sterile. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> Uh, with all this going on, can I go back to the trident and see if I can do anything with it? <laughs> yeah. Hello to the one in the tree. Can, absolutely. Um, while you lot do that, Frederick, could I have a hand with something, please? As you see Frederick holding not only two f- crabs, but also a trident himself. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> I'm not going to ask about the crabs, but... While walking away. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to ask about the crabs. I'm not going to ask about the crabs, but follow along. (laughs) How big are the crabs? Are they just like normal-sized crabs? No, they're medium. They're medium. Oh, damn. (laughs) They have huge crabs and you're just holding them. (laughs) Congratulations, you now have children. Nah, this is my army. (laughs) Crab (laughs) army. Everywhere they go, they're blasting crab rave. They plan on restoring his sarahs it's with It's like crabs. Calvin holding a uh, the boombox in Sons of the Forest. <laughs> Man, Fred, why are you so crabby today? Can I give hey. the crab a trident? <laughs> you, can. you can. 
Will it? Does it have proficiency with a weapon? I don't. It's a crab. It has proficiency with claws. Like a pole. Oh, what weapon is the trident? Mm. Whose phone's going off? That's mine. Okay. It's a martial weapon. Trident is martial. It is a martial weapon. Yep. So they would have proficiency. No. Dang. <laughs> um. Hmm. Well, I'll go help with what needs to be helped with. Dragging the crab. Whatever along. that may be. <laughs> Whatever that may be. Yeah. So you and uh, so you put the crabs down and give one of them the trident. No, I'll hold on to the trident for right now. Okay. But I'll put the crabs down and kind of like incite them to follow. Okay. They were going to follow you anyway. Mm -mm. Fuck yeah. Crab daddy. <laughs> 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 no, normally people think it's a bad idea to have crabs, but... Frederick's making it work. <laughs> hey, Blair, we've got something new for you to sketch. <laughs> I'm guessing you're over there, right? Cosby? Yeah, I'm over there with him. Hold on. Okay. There you go. Right. Don't mind me. As they're walking off... The snakey lady will approach Ortham and X. Or Ortham and, uh, yeah, X. All right. I have my hand hovering over my dagger. Subtly. Just uh, caught us <laughs> in the middle. Just caught us in the oh, middle of, uh, of me holding out the hollowed book while I put that sack in there. Right. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful job you did with that. Toad. Why, thank you. I do have some pretty uh, killer aim. Indeed, indeed, friend. Who are you? <laughs> I am Utai, a humble fisherwoman here. A pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. May I have your names? You can just call me X. Ortham. Oh. Such mysterious, shake mysterious hand. names. But interesting company, it seems. That toad has been causing a bit of trouble recently. Really? Was it that hard to take down? Yeah, I'm well, surprised no one else took care of it before us, actually. Well, it's not the people it bothers, but the th creatures of the lake. Oh. Creatures of the lake, you say? As the fish, as she holds up a sea bass. <laughs> Just or the it. crabs and gestures to the crabs over there with Frederick. Oh, cool. <laughs> Not cool. I... These are my crabs. <laughs> Can't take them from me. <laughs> oh, that's just collateral, I guess. Most people leave it alone because they say it's nature's way. I don't know. I guess to a point where things start to not be so good for egos. I've noticed. I mean, one could argue that us uh, taking it down was also nature's way. I agree, friends. Eh, there's probably more predators that keep the balance. Well, as thanks for clearing up the fishing spot, she'll offer the sea bass to Ortham, as, you know, X has their hands full. Well, are you sure, ma'am? I mean... I have caught many before, and I will catch many to come. I just don't want to take your dinner. That's I've... all. If one fish was my dinner, I wouldn't be the fisherwoman half as good of a fisherman as most. Well, 
Okay. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I graciously accept the fish. I do have one condition, though. Hmm? May I join you as you eat these meals? Oh, sure. I'm sure we'd like to have the company. I don't have any problem with that. I mean, I don't mind company, but I'm curious as to why you'd wish to join us. Why not? Good food is best appreciated in good company. Tis as the tall one says. I would like to know more about the people who have helped. You all seem to have such kind souls. X is like, tell us <laughs> us. Why do you get that look on your face, X? It looked like you've seen, I don't know, like a fish just group antlers or something. They oh, might... nothing. I'm just uh, thinking about things, that's all. They right. might not like my kind very much. Understandably oh. so. Oh, it's not that I don't like your kind or anything. I just don't know you very well yet, so... He's got trust issues. To, uh... <laughs> and the best way to know someone is over a meal. Right? It tends to be a very good way to get killed. I do not question your cautious nature. I welcome it. Anyway, I'm gonna go get the rest of my sticks in. We are going to prep up a nice fire. Also, I should probably get some stones while I'm at it because I don't want to accidentally set the forest so far. Anyways, bye. I'll go get the stick. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave the X in the water. <laughs> X isn't in the water. No, not literally. <laughs> Oh. Like, you know, dead in the water. X or leaving them out to dry. They're making a play on words. They're just saying they're leaving X them might be eggs. pretty dry. Not intentionally, but... <laughs> no, X would be dry. It'd be Frederick who would be the only oh, one who got wet. Yeah, no. No, Frederick got wet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thankfully, his boots are a little insulated so he doesn't got wet socks. Because that would suck. <laughs> you ever walked with wet socks for a long period of time? Shit sucks. Yes. Mm. Because there was a time when I had to get my um, dock into the water and there was a hole in the waders. <laughs> no, the hole! The hole always comes back with a vengeance. <laughs> Blair would know. Blair has a hole. in their head I'm, I'm talking about like the physical hole the, the hole they have i know yeah hole. i was making a play on words that's terrible why would you play with words you play with friends instead both are fun <laughs> all right so let us take a short little 10 minute break because we've been going for a little over an hour. I'm guessing this is like short rest or something, maybe. Well, short rest would be when you start preparing the food. You're just still getting ready to prepare the food. We'll see how many you get. <laughs> I'll get these sticks if it's the last thing I do. Do you think I should roll a D100 to see how many sticks? Just for the fun of it. The lulls. I'd say a D10. D10? <laughs> hmm. So we'll take a break, and then we'll get to the trident with uh, Azario and Frederick. Get five sticks. Nice even number. Five thick sticks. Um, Nano, I don't mean to, you know disagree with you or anything but five is an odd number yep but half is an even number <laughs> I'm <not gonna> <laughs> <nervous>. <laughs> break time <laughs> i need to use the bathroom yeah as uh 
Robin was going to say that. I knew it. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> means I have to remove the hollowed out book from my inventory now, huh? <laughs> So I will be Dude, you you commission someone to make you a sequin hat. What? And a you would be hat? the type to wear fur boots. Uh the hat that I ask what's the name to make? Oh the right, the the glam stone. The cowboy hat. hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which may or may not be done by the time you finish this quest. Allegedly. Possibly, who knows? <laughs> sure love that word, don't you? Yep. I mean, there's worse words to like. Moist. I'm so glad I got these Capri Suns.
Thank you. 
Arashi's gone again. Oh, oh god damn it. Yeah. Arashi. <laughs> Calm down, I'm still here, guys. Just Arashi. Here. We're good, we're good, we're good. Arashi too. Alright. I've had so... a feeling you guys like panicked for like a solid two seconds. I mean, we didn't panic. We were just like, oh, I guess we're waiting now. Mm. I watched a video on from Mortal riveting that <laughs> Mortal Kombat oh that the Mortal Kombat character got it <laughs> just, I watched a video on rain riveting riveting <laughs> no for Mortal Kombat oh that is riveting <laughs> his designs are pretty point. cool yeah rain's pretty cool I think he's like what Sub-Zero's cousin or whatever no no? He's a Denian. Stuff Zero's cousin, apparently. Mr. Fahrenheit. <laughs> no, that's Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Sub Zero deals in Celsius. Just for that extra. Nah, Kelvin. Kelvin. <laughs> Kelvin. <laughs> All right. So as we return from the break, we will join uh, Ezreal and Frederick.
at the tree. <clears throat> so, while you guys were busy with the giant frog, I the happened, to, I happened to come across, well, this. And I was wondering if you could give me a hand in somehow pulling it out of the tree. I will oblige. And I assume we both roll, or do you want one person to roll with advantage? I will ask you how you would like to do this. Carefully. <laughs> Whoa, we're not finishing off a creature right now, Nano. Be careful with that phrase, it's dangerous. That's what I said, I'm saying, do you want both of you to roll, or do you want one of you to roll? Oh, you're like, how do you want to... Yeah, how do you want to do this? I mean, you're the one that wants to pull it out, so you take you make the choice. Uh, I uh, together, I think. So both Just, of you roll. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A strength check. Where is my thingy? Where is my thingy? But you do not get the plus two because you are not in a competition. You are helping each other. Well, there you go. You get it out. <laughs> As you both get in a position and grab the trident by the I'm trying to think of the word that I don't want to use. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you grab the shaft and you you start to pull and it pops off. Yes. But the trident was... is still embedded in the tree. So you snapped it from the head. That's what I was afraid was gonna happen. Fuck. Well, we can try to pull the yeah if we can get in the tree out and then have the blacksmith fix it. Blacksmith. Yeah, we still need to find him a forge in Hysteros as well. I'm gonna write yeah. that down in my notes because I remember saying, "Hey, we'll find you a forge in Hysteros." Find yep. Serious. There we go. And yeah, we'll attempt to pull out the rest of the trident. Another strength roll. I keep minimizing my character sheet. I don't know why. Hey. Bless you. <laughs> bless you? What I can only assume is bless you. That's, yeah, that's I just... why I said it with a question mark. Okay. I just that's managed what... to simultaneously mute in time and also half stop it as it was spewing. And then she didn't rattle your head trying not to sneeze. Something tells me you did that before. Well, you know, you don't try, you try not to sneeze so the force just rattles your head. I, no, whatever. Um, you hmm you struggle a bit at first, but you are able to pull the head of the trident out. Let's go. We have two halves of a trident. And Frederick's got a full trident. Uh, trident. Do I notice what they're doing? That's an excellent question, Rashi. <laughs> I don't know. Are you paying attention? That's a loaded question, Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> well, Arashi, well. does Ortham pay attention? Or is he still trying to find sticks? I mean, if you see two people trying to yank something out of the tree, do you think you might notice it because they're also surrounded by crabs? I don't know. If your dad's walking behind you at a supermarket and you're trying to find him, do you find him? <laughs> Maybe like a, <laughs> maybe a glance over or something. <laughs> Roll me a perception check. You do see them yanking, tugging on the tree. Hey, doofuses, there's also a dagger in another tree if you're interested. X perks up at the mention of a dagger. 
It's kind of rusty, though. Back slumps over. <laughs> okay, just drop it. Hey, there's dagger. a dagger. <gasps> it's rusted over. Oh. It's okay, it makes it more Which painful. the dagger in? Wait, are you sending character? Yeah. Oh, it, it just point with my free hand. You drop two of your five sticks. No! <laughs> Bend back down and pick them up. You said it's embedded in a tree, right? Yes. Does the dagger look like it's made of metal? Roll me a... Investigation. Well, if it's rusted, it has to be metal. I mean, like, can I... Is, like, the entire thing. I'm talking about, like, the handle and everything. Investigation. Uh, Uh, it's supposed to be... Well, whatever. Uh, the handle is made of, uh... Rather sturdy wood. Shit. I was just gonna burn down the tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's been splintered a bit through with time and stuff, but... Uh, well, from what you see with the crack, the, the inside... So, you know how blades are made, where they have that little extra bit... Extra bit of metal that comes out from where the blade is, that's where you wrap the hilt and stuff mm -hmm. around it. Yeah. So, when you see, when you open that up, it looks pretty pristine. So, you can tell that from the cracks on the hilt. Okay. Um, hmm. I guess I'd probably take, like, another dagger and try and, like, uh, dig around the edge of the one in the tree to try and get it loose. Ooh, clever. Uh, roll me a sleight of hand. Yep. <laughs> Gaming. Yeah. <laughs> so you grab onto the hilt of the other uh, of the dagger that's embedded. Using your dagger, you like try, try to wiggle it around, pry it until it finally pops out. Um, where the blade has been exposed is rusted, but where it's been embedded into the tree is a pristine uh it's a silverish a silverish material that is coated in a uh oh man what's it called uh not wax is it wax sap sap thank you it is covered in a sap at the end all righty so the sap preserved the blade fuck yeah at the end so it's good for piercing, but not really slashing. Yeah, you only really need the end anyway. <laughs> it's the pointy bit that counts. Exactly. Wouldn't recommend using it as a kitchen knife. <laughs> what do you mean? Rust builds character. <laughs> you want to eat tetanus? Hell yeah, I eat tetanus for breakfast. Uh, I'll be proud of that. Blair, I think you mean Tic Tacs. Don't tell me what I mean. <laughs> I'm assuming you're just going to be putting the uh, trident in your backpack or whatever, slinging it over your shoulder and uh, your dagger. What are you going to do with that? I'll probably... Uh... Are there like some leaves around I could wrap the end in? Because I assume the stat sap is like probably still sticky. Actually, mm -hmm. I could probably go wash it off in the water real quick. Mm -hmm. So I'd probably uh, go wash it off and then put it in my bag. Yep. Uh, roll me a nature check. And the Loch Ness Sea Monster has risen up. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, as you grab a couple leaves and you walk over to the water, you start to like... Uh, Try to get the sap off, but all it's doing is just spreading the sap all over the blade. <laughs> and the leaves are sticking to it right now. So you're not really washing it as you're more just spreading the sap around. I think you need soap, X. Then I just wrap it in leaves and I put it in my bag and I will wash it later. <laughs> okay. Now the other blade's gonna get sappy. No, because no, I wrapped brutal. it in leaves to yeah. uh, keep it from uh, sticking on anything else. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, that's fine. So you just put it away for now. All right. So what are you guys doing now to prepare for, I'm guessing, lunch? Um, Pulling out grass and weeds to make a bear spot. Getting stones to make a circle around said bear spot. And then I shove the sticks in the middle. I mean, the spot's pretty bare around the edge of the lake. Yeah, I do that because I have common sense. <laughs> Alright, so you get your sticks in the thing. Uh, get a couple stones to wrap around it for... Um, make a fire pit. Yeah. Yep. We got that built up. Roll me a nature check with advantage. Twenty-one. Nice. Uh, you built a fairly uh, decent uh, fire pit. No issues whatsoever. Just like how I know how to make it. Exactly. I mean, any traveler worth their salt would know how to make a fire on the side of the road. <laughs> a butler who can't even do this much isn't worth their salt. If anyone gets the reference. The lady next to you, she's giving a soft clap. She's like, you've done really well with that. Now I'm going to say it in character. Well, any traveler worth their salt should know how to make a decent fire on the side of the road. I agree. I agree. He's trying to distract me. Don't let him do it. Go a little late for that! Oh no. How will you set up the fire? You didn't get the stones. Oh, they're already right there. I did that fast. The striker stones. Ah, uh, the striker stones. You gotta you see, I have a little trick for that. And then I do the finger gun, and pew! <laughs> Fire ah, bolt! So you possess the ability of magic, I see. I, I'm pretty self-taught and I'm quite proud of it. Well, that fire bolt was very impressive. Ah, oh, you're making me blush. Do you blush? Yeah, it's just like any person. I see. Yeah, it's like, you know, like the normal, like, color of Ortham. Like, you see where people usually blush, like, it, it does lighten up a little bit. <laughs> does he turn bright red like a tomato? No. Cosmic just it? lost internet for a hot minute, so... Uh -oh. no! Dastardly internet. It was because of the Valorant, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Valorant's yeah, Valorant done nothing curse. good for anybody. <laughs> Kitty. Valorant curse. power just did a fucky wacky. Oh, the power. Oof. Was it a power surge? Fuck if I know. Yeah, I'm sure Blair just got a message like, hey, power's out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. What do you he want, to uh, It's down, but he's going to see what I can do to fix it. No promises. Stop trying to get my attention, you attention hogger. I mean, now's probably the best time for it. Mm. Ah! So, like, they're doing more than getting your attention. Does he return? Having their face and paws at me. They're doing. What? You what in my lap? <laughs> your notes are so funny, Robin. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> Find a forge for Sirius. Two halves of a trident. Give to Sirius. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, well, my notes are like simple. super organized. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to make sure he has forge for you. Like, I have given you this to fix later. <laughs> Yeah, your notes, your notes are very organized. I tried for a bit to organize my notes, and then I was like, 
Fuck it. If I remember to write something down, I remember to write it down. Yeah, like all Fair the things enough. I just reminded you to write down today. I mean, yeah. mine are okay organized. Like, they're organized in, like, the order of, like, our, like, according to, like, our sessions and, like, the story we've been going through. But, oh, you mean, like, your actual notes. Like, I looked at your notes page, it's, like, two lines. You spelled it wrong, and, and we're doing Frederick. Oh, wait, you mean on the... Discord, yeah. It is really warm in my room, and the air conditioning is on. I, so I, 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 I keep my notes line. IRL, <laughs> not, not in, <laughs> not in Discord. I mean, I, I could probably know. shove it in there and organize it there, though. Stop <laughs> trying to lick my, my arm, my you, you doggo. <laughs> what is it called over there? I want to go back north. <laughs> Stop it. The only problem with being here, it's too bloody warm. Yeah, it's right, that is the most okay. British I have ever sounded ever, and I'm going to immediately <laughs> rescind that accent. It's been a hot minute. There's nothing wrong with that, Robin. A hot minute? It's a hot bloody month. <laughs> it's just hot. Bloody hell, he said the thing, she said the thing. Bloody hell, Harry. Oh. Anyone can do me. that. Anyone can do that sort of voice. <laughs> Do you know what I struggle with saying her Hermione's name? Hermione Granger. Hermione Granger. It's hard. How is it hard? Because it's her and then Moiny. Hermione. 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 Yeah. See, there you go. Hermione. What are you talking about? I just. I mean, re re I read the books more than I watched the movies because I got grounded a lot, so all I had were the books. But you were grounded a lot. Yeah, my family hated me. <laughs> Relatable. What, what do you mean by they hated you? Were you a problem child? Well, no. I got in fights because I picked on bullies who were picking on my friends. Okay, that... Or me. That was kind of deserved, though. Uh, I mean, like, the bullies getting it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like, 90% of my detentions were me fighting other kids that started it. Right. <laughs> I just and finished, I finished it. it. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. Yeah, no, that's that's what my dad taught me. He's like, hey, if you're ever getting in shit, you have to finish it. <laughs> and I was like, you got it, Pops. And then I finished it every time. Like, why did you finish it? And it's like... Because you told me to? It's good. No, it's going to be a problem. Otherwise... Cause that's what my, my dad taught me. Told me that if someone like lays their hands on me, I have like full permission to lay my hands fucking back. I was always taught never throw the first punch, but if you exactly. know a fight is going Sorry, to break no, no, no. out, you it's fight okay. like you're the third monkey on Noah's Ark. <laughs> and it, it's beginning <laughs> I've never heard that metaphor before, but Either. that is amazing. <laughs> yeah. The third you never, monkey you never start the fight, Noah's but you were the third monkey getting to Noah's Ark, and it oh started to God. rain. <laughs> oh. That's amazing. Oh my God. And Cosmic, don't worry about it. You know, stuff happens. Yeah, it's chill. <laughs> we're just glad you're back. Mm -hmm. Was it a power surge? Uh, it pulsed for a second. Hmm. Valorant so... took up too much power. The lights flickered for a minute, and I was like, ah, oh, that's not good. And I checked the internet, and I was like, yeah, I sort of figured. Did the wall, did the walls ooze green slime? Was it the cash bringing slasher? Was it the, the dash slinging? The dash slinging slasher? The rash dingy. Wait, that's an actual fucking album. <laughs> What? The hash slinging slasher is an album. A... What? I didn't know it was an I didn't know it was an album. From who? Al <laughs> By and the songs of Mash flinging the trash singing. What? Slash no. Slash bringing hash is a hash slinging. Slash. This is a lie. You're you're <laughs> gaslighting me. Oh. Why'd you go silent? Uh, no, I no my thing fucking peaked. Oh. Eighty-eight <laughs> fingers, Edward. Put it in general. Good. Good. <laughs> I want to see if it's on Spotify. I'm curious now. The hash. Uh, it looks like it's from Spotify. 
it album is. by 88 oh, fingers yeah. edward i gotta hear one of these hold on i just gotta hear like a snippet Very, very poppy. That's cool. What do you want? Hey! What do you want? Why are you being obnoxious right now? Hmm? <laughs> Why did it sound like <laughs> Cosmic was right there with Arashi? <laughs> what do you want? Why are you being obnoxious? You <laughs> Why are you being obnoxious? No, <laughs> just... Why are you the way you are? <laughs> I don't know. That's actually pretty good. Oh man, I love that. I don't know which came first though. Is what's killing me, because it might have been somebody who saw the SpongeBob episode. I was like, I can make a song from that. I can make all those songs. I can make an album. I can make it music from mayonnaise. <gasps> is mayonnaise an instrument? If you use it the right way. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. Quack. 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 All right. We left off with. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I got snitched. Oh no! The duck. You got ducked. I got. <laughs> yep, I got ducked. Anyway. Uh, you guys got the fire pit ready. The fire's on. What you doing? You got some company now? I'm roasting a fish over the fire. Hey, X! Get your butt over here with the frog legs! Why are you I going away? Frog legs. Oh, wait, right. Oh. You're over there. <laughs> X Thank just you. walked over to Fred's dog. Like, Here's the frog legs. Fred's just like, I want some. Okay. Like, Thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Frederick, in the display of power, eats them raw. <laughs> Put them on these sticks. Roll a constitution check. That wouldn't surprise me. Don't so you threw up on your frog buddy. To poison. Resistance. Resistance to poison. Uh, I have lay on hands. <laughs> Ate the raw frog legs, threw I up on your crap, buddy. Oh no! <laughs> I actually well, have resistance hands, to you poison. Can use, um, five points of land hands to mm -hmm. get rid of any diseases. Oh, oh hell yeah! Oh, you don't have and to. You've worry already about used me. five. Yep. yep. Do you get them back after a short rest or a long rest? X, you're zoning uh, out. Long rest. Put them on oh, the okay. stick. Here's a stick. Two sticks, actually. Like mm -hmm. Four, put it on maybe. The stick. I don't know, maybe I need to go get more sticks. I, I, I prop the fish to where it'll, it'll hook over the fire. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe mm -hmm. I get to I cure get a disease or neutralize one poison. Oh, that's cool. For every five points. Oh, Sounds yeah, like a cool. lesser restoration kind of It kind of is. Because <laughs> yeah. Frederick gives you that good touch. He goes, you're better now. What? Hey, I am. <laughs> All right, uh, you will have to gather more sticks for being able to cook everything over the fire. I'm going to assume you use like four of the five sticks that you got. All right, so you got enough for everybody about now. Because hey, you got you know? the one with. Sorry, go on real quick. You got the one with, you got the one stick that the. the fish. Uh, the fish is on. And then you got four more for the legs. One for each leg. Here, 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 here's the rest of the sticks. Just, just plop them straight next to his lap. <laughs> I shove the meat on the stick. And I get ready to Donk. cook it. <laughs> and what Donk. were you saying, Robin? Donk. Can I look for uh, some chestnuts? Ooh. Chestnuts. Roll me a nature check with advantage. Advantage? Advantage. 18. 
You do find a couple of chestnuts around the tree from the that you pulled the trident from. Let's go. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost yep. is not nipping at your nose. <laughs> yeah. You get about three chestnuts. Three chestnuts. Yeah. Three chestnuts roasting yep. on an open fire. <laughs> Jack Frost not munching on you. Jack Frost still not nipping at your nose. <laughs> that is literally the only reason why I wanted to look for chestnuts. I mean, it's still probably a good accompaniment to... What, what is a good accompaniment? Frog legs, bread. You need to... Bread just goes with everything. Frog legs. Best with meat, obviously. If you've mm -hmm. learned anything from briskets and barbecue, that kind of stuff. Chilean, black bean salad, sauteed tomatoes and mushrooms, noodle salad, tofu, barley and vegetable salad, white bean soup. Oh there's, yes, all those things you don't have. If there's anything that Americans are good at, it's barbecue. <laughs> I don't know. Blair and uh, Robin, is that a true statement? I would like to think. It. I've never had a American barbecue, so I cannot confirm. <gasps> oh, exactly dude, we need to get you to I mean, a I've really had, like, good barbecue place. Barbecue. Yeah, I've had a barbecue back home in England, so I've had what you would, I'm guessing, say is a English barbecue. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, dude, we need to get you some southern barbecue. You need the steaks for oh, ribs. Yeah, just, just remember, like, the first thing I cooked while I was here in America was a traditional English meal. Yeah. Because you came from England. And it was funny. I mean... Yeah, it was funny. You have, Nothing you, wrong? Why do you have, like, such small, like, sausage links? No. It's not about the size, it's what you do with it! <laughs> Bro. But, like, you're... You call them they're breakfast tiny, sausages. Yeah, yeah they're and tiny. And it's just like, what the fuck are these? Well, listen, I don't like sausage anyway, so you can make as much fun of them as like, you want. I don't like sausage either, except for, like, kielbasa. Kielbasa? No. Okay. The bossy. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, X and Ortham and uh, their friend Utsi is sitting there at the fire. Utai. Yeah, Utai. Gotta fix that real quick. Because it was zoomed out, I didn't realize the S was an A. So what is Frederick and Ezreal doing? Heading back mm. to the food. Mm. Okay. Head heading back to the rest of the group. Just like, hey, I got chestnut. Who is that? Oh, fisherwoman that was on the docks. And the Meanwhile, crabs Frederick fall. was, they you know, <laughs> fighting that shrugs. frog. Why did you even fight the frog, Frederick? Because I wanted to. Why else? That's, that's it? Frederick's like, because I haven't punched anything in T-minus five weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and I needed some action! <laughs> okay, Look, you're out of weird. It. Yeah, you Who are cares? weird. So am I. <laughs> We're all mad here. Do you One like of the crabs shakes their heads. One of the crabs just shake their head. <laughs> Can they even shake their head? Yeah, they shake their whole body. They go, no, I'm not crazy. I tried to run away when it got dangerous. <laughs> Uh, yeah, who is, who is your friend? Oh, Welcome that's next. Utai. He fishes. Utai. Yes, as the tall one says, I am Utai. I am a fisherwoman of these parts. You're in the mission. 
50. Let's see. May I ask for your names? Uh, Ezreal is sort of going to look towards, like, Frederick, just do we, do we trust? Who's asking? The snake lady. And why do you want to know? Well, oh, more yeah. like, why do you want to know? <laughs> I just wish to know the names of those who help the ecosystem of the lake become safer. Oh, then you don't need to know my name. <laughs> They're just being weird. That's Azariel and Frederick. Thank you, tall one. Eh, no problem. Or, or thumb. Yes. Turn the fish over again. As I said before, I am not offended by your cautious nature. And she'll gesture to X. I just X wish. Just, uh, focusing on cooking their. Uh... Frog legs. Yeah. <laughs> As you're talking to Utai, uh, X already ate everything. <laughs> and no, it's gone. You're not touching and my fish. Gone. Slaps hand away. <laughs> kidding. Um, I see you eyeing uh, it, X. Utai goes, um, Where are you heading? Point in the direction. <laughs> Dad, just look where you're pointing. That way. And goes. Are you going to hiss Theros? That is where I'm from. Oh, any news? Last time About... I heard it, I heard it getting kind of. I do not know what you mean. Um, correct. Still stands if that is your question. Well, that's good. I already got invaded at some point, though. That must have been before my time. Um, X, you're, you're gonna burn the leg. Please turn it over. I'm being careful. You don't need to worry about me. N no, look. <laughs> Kisteros fell 14 years ago. What do you mean it still stands? Did people go back to rebuild it? There was only minor fire damage to most of the buildings. Oh, so Only one yes. building truly fell, but nobody knows what it was. At least not the people who are there now. And if it truly fell 14 years ago, then that would make sense as to why it was left abandoned when we came. You're doing a thousand yard stick. So are, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> face. I'm just gonna smack Orphan. Like smack <laughs> that hand away. Hey, I'm just trying to see if you're okay. Let me just slap my hand. No need to wave it in front of me. I'm fine, Orphan. You're just, just staring. You is all. Frederick, as you turn to Ezreal, they're not fine. <laughs> oh, he's definitely. Your cat's nail? That's yeah, mail? Closet? I, I don't know. That's mail is in the closet? I, I, I understand that one. 
Yeah, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I got that too. Well, X, what do you do, or Azira, what do you do with this knowledge? How long have you lived at Hysteros? I, I'd say five years now. So nine years it was abandoned for. Mm -hmm. Say five years or nine? Five. I said five, zero, oh. or yeah, zero said nine. Well, there goes my plans of rebuilding Hysteris. Apparently, it's already done. <laughs> well, you haven't seen Hysteris, so you don't know. So why... Hang on, I'm just thinking here. Mm -hmm. Why was Hysteris only minor fire damage apart from... Ezreal's home, but Desio was destroyed. Probably because Desio mm. is the main target. Mm. Yeah, it's but a good it, question. You may want to take note of that. It's also just like if Desio is the main target, they still waited fourteen years to attack it. Mm-hmm. You said that's a good thing to keep track of. Listen, a lot can happen in 14 years. Oh, sorry about that. Mm-hmm. There was stuff on my cat's Claws that I was trying to get off. Because oh. he has very fluffy paws, so if I don't do it, <laughs> it just doesn't come off. Oh, okay. We were he was so... rolling around on the ground, so he was in the spot where I could actually catch him. Oh, okay. You said you get him? Yep. Good. That's good. At least you got it. Were you still hearing this, or do we have... Yes. Okay, so you, you, you're still caught up? Yep. Okay, we're good. I had my headphones on. I just okay. couldn't I just really speak to be sure. I was facing away from the mic. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I just wanted to be sure. So, when you look over at uh, Azirio, Frederick, you'll see mm -hmm. that they are taking this news interestingly. I mean, understandably so. When everything happened, it was in ruin. So I'm kind of surprised too that it's fucking fine. Mm hmm. Where are you from, Hysteros? Oh boy. Is, are they asking oh. me or. Well, no. both huh? of you. Wait, do the I information know? isn't for you to know. I'll just remain silent. And I'll just stare trying to get a read. Roll an insight. <laughs> All of you. Except X. Unless you're paying attention. I'm paying attention. I'm also just uh, cooking the meat. Oh, wrong one. Did you get an insight on your own self? How am I go. feeling? <laughs> Again with the disadvantage, Cosmic. <laughs> well, that was disadvantage. No, you. Well, it's oh, wisdom, yeah, guys. That's right. that's right. You're right. Never mind. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I forgot. That was my bad. Simply don't forget. Five head. Yep. 
<laughs> and you two got like the opposite of each other. <laughs> I redid mine because I don't have. I know, but Cosmic got a sixteen, yeah, yeah. Got a six, <laughs> fourteen, and four. 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 <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, as all of you are concerned, they're being honest. There's no ill intent or anything. <laughs> I mean, I still can withhold information. I yeah, no, that's true. true. You're right. Because I seem to have tread upon a touchy subject. I apologize. I, I won't mind if you don't say anything. <laughs> I'll withdraw my questions for now. Let us just enjoy a fine lunch together. Hey, Zeriel, do you still have those seasonings? Uh, I was only given the cookbook, I believe. I don't think I was given any seasonings. True. But you know who does? I do have chestnuts. <laughs> but do you know who does? <laughs> Orthom, because that bastard never gave precious spices back! <laughs> what? His herbs. He still got his vile of herbs. Um, I got, I have written down the herbs that I got from nature. You got that too. Maybe I'm just thinking of something else. Uh, I'm afraid I don't remember I don't keeping have... his vial. Like he made me give it back. He did. You're right. I'm afraid I don't have any of the seasonings. Uh, I do, however, have some chestnuts, if they're of any use. Oh, that's a they're staple wild, snack so back at home. The snack that smiles back. Chestnuts. Goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 come here. Let me have the chestnuts. I'll show you how we usually peel them and stuff. I'm just <laughs> well. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, what? we'll we'll gently hand the chestnuts over. I was gonna throw them at Orphan, just like throw them toward Orphan for him to catch, and you know what chestnuts are like, painful as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'll I'll hand. The so it's a win-win. <laughs> <laughs> you might kill the wizard with it. One d four disrespect the damage. Chestnuts. <laughs> for disrespect. <laughs> That's awful. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll anyway. hand my nuts over to Wolfram. Okay. Uh, mm, are these the ready ones? The no, ready just ones? some I found on the ground. Like I said, they're wild. Be careful. Okay, I'll have, I'll have a look at them and see uh, if they're ripe enough. Call me a nature check. Woo! Sixteen. Let's go. Yeah. Two of them are ripe, but the last one is not. Mm, you've got two good ones. This one's not good, though. Point out the, the terrible one, and I just chuck it <laughs> over my shoulder. <laughs> And then I just start prying at the, um... You hit the butchered toad's corpse. <laughs> <laughs> it took 1d4 of disrespect damage. <laughs> it still took damage, even though it's dead. Mm. Yep. Let's see how much disrespect damage. Just one thing. <laughs> one whole disrespect. One whole damage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll start using my dagger on the other ones to, like, you know, prepare them and get them to where they can be roasted over the fire and stuff. <laughs> uh, while waiting, uh, mm -hmm. Zero's gonna take a seat over here and just start reading through the cookbook. Just to start learning some more recipes. And so I don't okay. have to, you know, fail my investigation roll every time. <laughs> Alright, roll an intelligence check. Thank <laughs> you. 
No, that scared me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Lepa played the Final Fantasy Victory theme. <laughs> as you did, dude. As you did that's what it was. Yeah. Oh my god. It scared me. I was like, why am I hearing this? <laughs> non natural 20. Uh, you're able to get five recipes down in the few minutes you're looking over. Hells yeah. What do I learn, boss man? What do you learn? What do I learn? Biscuits. What type of biscuits? Butter like milk. your biscuits? Okay. Scones. No biscuits. Scones. Well, Brash biscuits. hasn't listed under biscuits, so learn. <laughs> Nerd. Okay. Thank you, Lepa. <laughs> I get biscuits, ostrich eggs, funnily enough, to make an omelet. Okay, omelet. Yep. Ostrich egg omelet. Yep. It probably, Pairs it with bacon. You probably like substitute with any other kind of egg, though. Yeah, the omelet. Yep. But this recipe specifies ostrich, so he's got the spices and stuff for the ostrich omelet. <laughs> trial and error. Yeah, trial and error. Hey, Axe, can you watch the chestnuts while I, uh, in, in fish and don't eat any of these things while I go look for something to pair with the chestnuts and fish? You're asking a lot of X. <laughs> Just watch it. That's all I ask and not eat it. Those two things. If all I have to do in, is watch, then I'm watch and not really eat. capable of that. I'll watch it and watch it burn. <laughs> But if it starts burning, get, get, please, please. So I said biscuits, ostrich egg, omelet. Um, uh, a mysterious thing you haven't heard of called pancakes. <laughs> oh. Pancakes. I love that. Hell yeah. <laughs> Something tells me that's going to be Zero's new favorite breakfast food. I don't know. You'll find. Something else he calls a milkshake. Oh my god, yeah. Specifically chocolate. Okay, not so much more yes. Yes, like yes for me. Favorite, the worst, the worst <laughs> flavor of milkshake right there. Wrong with you. A lot of things. But he has a little milk. addendum that says better with peanut butter. Even worse. That's even better. <laughs> Alright, because you don't like peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's four. What's the last one? Um, uh, crab cakes. Oh, <laughs> I must have cannibalized Ernie Franz. You friends. hurt them, you die. <laughs> and when you flipped over that page, this crab who's sitting beside you just <laughs> bolts for the water. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 where is he going? Did I learn the like? Did I fully learn the recipe for for macaroons when I when I made them? Yes, you did. I'm just gonna put my hand in front of the other crab, like protecting it, covering its know. eyes. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Don't look at that page. <laughs> Wait, these crabs can understand what common says. They can. They can read common. They can read common. Well, that one could. That's why he had common sense. He knew to run. <laughs> Hey, come back! Also, Shouts in Primordial. You're, you're covering the eyes of the, no. of the crab. You don't know what the crab saw. This was that one. the crab I gave? Uh, no. The buff? The no, that was the one that ran away. That's Very the one well. beside you. No, the one beside you is the one with the buff. The brave still, crab. How long? How much time has passed? Does he still have it? <laughs> Does he still have it? How long does it last? Uh, I believe it's ten minutes. He still has it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> For a little longer. It's been about like nine, nine minutes, 20 seconds. So right on the cusp. <laughs> Time to go foraging. But he feels strunk. Uh, the brave strong crab. Getting stronger. Stronger. Wiser. Stronger. Yeah. So... Uh, as you cover his eyes, you'll see that a taco is on top of the crab now. Just sat on the crab. Yeah, they're just on the crab. Just vibing. I mean, the crab 
is clearly shown and is not hostile, so who cares? Mm -hmm. Just curls up and just lays on its back head. Top of its head. Is the crab okay with this? The crab is confused because his eyes are covered. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to say, like, turn the fucking page. But you know, <laughs> again, you know, you know what it's gonna be. It's gonna. Be, it thinks that Frederick's like petting him, but like has his arm and his, it's like covering his eyes, but resting on the on the back, so he doesn't know it's a taco. No, it works because I was debating to pet the crab anyway. Yeah. Yeah, Zero is just gonna keep reading until the food is prepared and ready. Yeah, Zero is more curious about those pancakes. And it's not pancake one word, it's pan hyphen. Oh, gotcha. But yeah. they are pancakes. <laughs> yeah, there we are. They're cakes made in a pan. Yeah. Yo, I wonder if there's a recipe for crumpets. Find that out later. As the, uh, As has... gives the food dinger. Orphan has the, the bag of tricks. Yeah. Orphan has a bag of tricks. Well, yes, but I mean, like, yeah, you got, you got like, you got like eight creatures. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you just want the to only do. <laughs> the only one who doesn't have a creature is is Ariel. Hard shells I don't know. unite. <laughs> Hard shells unite. That's great. Oh my. Put God. that in the quote section now, Cosmic. Oh my God. I want I want a picture of like Frederick in like the most armor possible with his little <laughs> crab next to him holding up the trident. <laughs> the two pieces. It's like hard shells Isn't unite. That? Can I train the crab to use the trident? <laughs> As a miniature version of a trident. <laughs> no, it's medium size, so it can use it. It can use oh, it. Oh yeah, it's a giant crab. You Anything's possible with the rolls, I guess, but it's not going to be overnight. Rolling, rolling, Fine by me. Just yeah. rolling, 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 rolling. Oh, yeah. I said I'm just a- handing out pets like Pokemon. <laughs> you get a Pokemon and you get a Pokemon. Congratulations, you got a Snivy. <laughs> That's not a Snivy. That's a Krabby. <laughs> it, it's okay. It is working it off as a Snivy. <laughs> Just painted green. Snivy is a snake. <laughs> Gee. Anyways, what do I find for my foraging? <laughs> Did you roll? Uh, I wanted to wait for permission. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, roll your nature. Average you time. find a mushroom. You don't know what the mushroom is, but you find a mushroom. Well, I would like to take a piece off and taste it. Okay. <laughs> Small piece off. Mm-hmm. Wait to see if anything happens. <laughs> so how does Frederick work with poison again, or Ortham? Um, he's a, he's I'm, immune, right? I'm immune to being poisoned. You eat it and your uh, shadowy nature feels repulsed by what you taste. Ugh. Yeah. Poisonous. <laughs> Toss it back. Yeah, he's just like, ugh. There's gotta be, uh, there must be something else here and I keep searching. <laughs> so, Frederick, what do you name Crab? Um actually thinking about it right now okay first thing that came to mind was carlos carlos the crab hey man i love carlos <laughs> we put carlos like placeholder are we seriously gonna walk look at frederick into- rebuilding his family one carlos at a time <laughs> are we seriously gonna walk into a town with a giant crab <laughs> yes I mean, it's friendly, so why not? Friendly crab. Carlos just looks at you and waves its paint pincer. <laughs> friendly! I am a good guy. 
That's just just, just make yourself a virgin. I am good guy, comrade. I am good guy. <laughs> <laughs> just Carlos the Russian <laughs> crab. Carlos the Russian crustacean. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you know what? Mm. Sure. Sure. Why not? The right. Russian crustacean. Okie dokie, comrade. Dos vidanya. <laughs> Okie dokie, comrade, and then goodbye? Okay. <laughs> it's, it's... Yep. Uh... All right, so the food is finished, as X will let you know. Okay, just take it off the fire. Still looking for stuff. Oh, I take it off the fire, fire and I put it to the side. X can immediately eat it. X, X isn't that bad. X has manners. I have manners when I want to have them. <laughs> When I wanna. Hmm. Kills food when no one's looking. <laughs> if you want to. I guess I'll take it more time looking for something that's edible and can be paired with chestnuts or seafood. I mean, seafood and chestnuts is the pair. But you just want more! Alright, so that area checked only had like not so nice mushrooms. Where are you gonna look now? Um uh, probably like this direction where like crabs and stuff were because maybe there's something there that could be Were you painting? Yeah, I was painting. Oh, I missed it. Like up this way, ah. generally. All right. Go up there and do an investigation or a nature check. There has to be something. But there's just no way. <laughs> oh, damn. You'll see that this little bush to your left has some berries on it. Oh! <laughs> Edible? Only one way to find out. <laughs> First, I'm gonna examine it to see if it's like anything I would recognize. Show me an intelligence check, or do you want to do nature? I'll let you pick. It doesn't really matter, though. <laughs> it does. Okay. Well, intelligence is more like going through a book, and nature is more like a general um, survival habit, such as, like, does it look poisonous? Right. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, one is you read it in a book and you know it's poisonous. The other is, I could be fine. <laughs> or not. Um, they are wild raspberries. These will go good with chestnuts. I can I grab as many as I possibly can carry, I guess. Okay. You get about half an armful. Are we just making trail mix? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Northland loves his trail mix. It always comes back to trail mix. Always trail mix. Guys, guys, and then guys, you make look, trail look. mix, and Frederick's like, but we have trail mix, guys. <laughs> There's nothing beats... What? Why are you giving me that look, Frederick? Fresh trail mix is better! Ian. Uh, huh. <laughs> I wasn't the one that said that, so... <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's like... Trying to... Incur interactions. Chicken noodle soup. Sorry, that's all off topic. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Ortham comes back with an arm, uh, half an arm full of raspberries. What? 
we gotta wash these off first so the bugs are out of them, but they'll pair very nicely with chestnuts. And if we want, we can maybe make something out of it and slather the meat in it and make it sweet. Feeling adventurous today, are we, Orson? <laughs> Orson's always adventurous, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you guys won't try it, I'll try it first. I would have done it anyways. <laughs> yeah, and I just take the time to like properly like wash them and stuff. Anybody gonna help Ortham wash the raspberries? <laughs> if Ariel will put her book down and go to help out. Well, okay. it's so Next nice. Is to probably be... more interested in eating. Yeah. Just having a little nibble. <laughs> I gotta give my uh, crab friend that stuck around some uh, rewards from the battle. Yeah? <laughs> you have given him the first taste of his enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Father, I desire day. more blood. <laughs> I've gotten a taste for blood, and I liked it! <laughs> Takes him to the Coliseum with me. <laughs> oh my god. I think I Carlos imagine. has more armor than, than Ortham does. That would be really funny. Don't help me if Orth I get outclassed by a crab. Ortham, how, how much? What's my AC? It's twelve. Yeah. It was... Oh, this is this is unfortunate. <laughs> how much does the crab have before buff? It's fifteen. Oh damn! <laughs> before the buff? Yeah, before the buff. So it's seventeen with the buff. Okay, when I use shield spell, I I I, I temporarily. That's, that's why 17. we said hard hard shell, guys. Hard hard shell. What you if know? I like put a shield on the top of a shell? Does it get an extra <laughs> plus two to AC? I, I guess he's technically wielding it. <laughs> the crab has one less AC than Ezreal does. I did it on his crab. Look, crab that's just another be. frontliner that you don't have to be, Orthum. <laughs> Think about it that way. You're the wizard. You chill in the back, shooting fireballs and and uh, using cloaks of levitation. Or uh... to be honest, even in the back line, it's not safe for all of them. True. Depends on how Ezreal feels that day. I mean, oh, no. I've got a cloak of displacement. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying jokes and doing the Doctor Strange finger thing. Which one? Yes. <laughs> the only one I know. <laughs> the one where he takes Spider-Man thing and goes, But I'm doing magic instead of web-slinging! I am not a cheap magician! An expensive mm. one for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Did you guys see the Jimmy... I think it's Jimmy Fallon or whatever, where the Doctor Strange movie came out. He's like, Oh, Doctor Strange is great! I need you to do my kid's birthday party because I am not a cheap magician. I did not do that. He goes, what about for 20 bucks? So where you at? <laughs> so where's little Timmy? I, I can do balloon magic. <laughs> like, No, like he, he showed the real magic and then the kid's like, this sucks. Then he just does like the balloon animals. <laughs> like, this is great. And he goes, God damn, I'm the, I'm the Sorcerer Supreme. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know who Jimmy Fallon is. No, he's not. He was. At that time, at that point, in that time in history, in that kitchen. Can I see? I would uh, stop with Marvel, though, because I don't know how much Blair has seen. Because I know uh, they've been watching a lot of it. Oh. oh. Hmm. Uh, I think their Discord just died because they oh, went no. offline. We lost X. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder how long we how long we lost them. Did you update Discord or something? What happened? What happened? Discord just fucking crashed. Hey, <laughs> Cosmic Call. You got Discorded. It. <laughs> Discord, more like disconnect. You got Discorded. It. Discord, Ain't Discord without Discord. So as Ezreal and uh, Ortham are cleaning off the mm. raspberries, 
it seems Ortham, X, and Utai are just uh, nibbling on their frog legs. Oh, yes, I'm... <laughs> totally. Yeah, Ortham is definitely... Siphoning it right in front of his aerial and not caring this time. No, no, you two are cleaning. Yeah, yeah but exactly. you then went he on to say Orphum, X, and Utai a uh, nibbling frog leg. <laughs> oh, I'm Frederick. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. We all know I'm an idiot. Okay. When you make a mistake, uh -huh. we'll be there to make sure you know you made a mistake. <laughs> In it. Bro. I don't say that. Or that. <laughs> that <matter. laughs> True. Insulting my country does not insult me. <laughs> exactly, because you're an American now, or soon to be. Pseudo American. No, I'm still I'm still British. <laughs> Look, you even crossed the ocean like our ancestors did. <laughs> Who were also British. <laughs> exactly. It's how you become an American. Do I have to fight a war for like eight years or whatever? Do I have to? No, I don't want to side with France and Spain. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> so why are you here? <laughs> I refuse to fight alongside France and Spain. What's wrong with Spain? They also helped with the War of Independence. Because they're pain. But Spain's awesome. I mean, I've been, I've never actually been to Spain. I've been to the islands surrounding I've it. been to Paldea, which is based on Spain and Portugal. I'm pretty sure it's just based on Portugal. Mm, bit of both. Bit of column A, bit of column B. But you can't be going around saying that Portugal and Spain are the same thing. Well, <laughs> you will get stabbed. Here's the thing. Portugal is to Spain what America is to Britain. ancestors went and said fuck you I'll do it myself <laughs> but did Portugal require the help of the French I mean if they teamed up with them I'm sure I don't know about Portugal history just because I'm Portuguese doesn't mean I know that shit <laughs> I barely know the American one Portugal laid under Spanish uh, dominance between 1580 and 1640. Okay. That's it. So it sounds like no. Portugal was part of Spain for like 60 years. Uh huh. And that's it. Yep. <laughs> Can I ask Ezreal questions now? I'm just starting a question. Uh, me on. question. Okay. It's just we got very off track. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, I like red. My brother and I <coughs> would have these on the road all the time. It's our favorite <laughs> snack. I can't say I remember the last time I had one. Oh, they're delicious. You pair them with chestnuts, they're extra good. Oh, speaking of which, you haven't had an Azmit pastry yet. I've never been to Azmit. Oh, you should. Their, ch their chestnut raspberry pastries are so good. Well, if we ever find ourselves there, maybe. Then maybe. Well, you can try like a, an on-the-road version right now after we're done uh, washing these. I think the best taste is best saved for the first taste is best saved for the original. Hmm. Do it yourself. I mean, I'm used to making on the road asthma version myself. Not necessarily pastries, but trail mix version. <laughs> How's it funny? What do you mean? You gotta laugh. You take those wins, Ortho. No, it's just, it's just... Wait, who, who said that? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just 
don't see what's funny about trail mix. <laughs> it's your enthusiasm towards it. Well, you'd rather be sad about trail mix? That's not a way to live. <laughs> I mean, normally when I look at trail mix, I don't really <laughs> feel an emotion. <laughs> Well, good food is good food. Of course you would be happy about good food. A trail mix at good food. <laughs> you just haven't had good trail mix yet. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, I've been traveling for a bit. I've definitely had trail mix here and there. Mm, I, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but nutrients is nutrients. And if I have to eat trail mix, I will. Well, when you've been on the road for longer, like several years, you tend to pick up tricks. Especially when you've gone all over your place and sampled many different dishes. Oh, it's so good! <laughs> I remember this lasagna that's like... from another country and it's, it's, their sauces. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I can ever find the recipe in Brash's cookbook, maybe I'll cook it up sometime. Yes, please! And, um, sorry about trying to wake you up. I just don't want you to le get left behind and stuff. I just never got to say that. <laughs> oh, no. You need something like that, guys. I don't have to worry too much about getting left behind. I think it got too too late. Frederick would carry me if they had to. <laughs> What, so. kicking and streaming like that one time? That, that one time? What do you mean that one time? At band camp, you know? <laughs> Everyone was there. Listen, man, what happens at band camp stays at band camp. I've never been to camp. Ever. Is this in or out of character? Out of character. Oh. <laughs> I have it sucked. I was the youngest in the oldest group. Cringe. Yeah. What's wrong with that? It's cringe. Imagine no, being the you. youngest in the oldest group. Yeah, Cosmic knows what I'm talking about. I mean, okay. Why? Because I'm the youngest? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's right. That's it. I'm just in the middle. I'm chilling. <laughs> so, the reason I started laughing in between that is because Leffa played the sexy saxophone redeem. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here like, oh no. This totally ruined the mood for you. <laughs> Thank you, Leppa. Have a good have a good night. We appreciate having you around. <laughs> anyway, go on. Keep going. You two are doing great. <laughs> mm. I don't remember where we were. What's the raspberry song again? I, I definitely don't know. There's a song for raspberries? In character. Yeah, I'm responding. <laughs> no, I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I was responding. I didn't hear what oh. you responded with. There's a song for raspberries. That's how they responded. There's a song for raspberries? Yeah, it was some, like, head song or whatever. I... And we'd sing it when we were, you know, preparing raspberries and stuff for fun. You really did live a bizarre childhood, didn't you? Didn't feel weird to me, other than my dad harping on about how I gotta be responsible and stuff. I don't want to leave the town. Leave the town? How do you mean? 
My dad's a mayor. Oh, and we've had such good experiences with dads and mayors. <laughs> oh, my dad's okay. It's just... Uh, ha, ha, ha. It's zero, roll me. No, wait. Uh -oh. That's right. Never mind. You're good. Insight check. Insight check. <laughs> What was, what was you, you going to have me roll? I was going to have you roll an intelligence check to see if you even know what a mayor is, but then I remembered right. We we have I have met Cosmic's deceased father yep. and Cosmic's okay. adopted father. Yep. <laughs> he ain't mayor. He's king. But the, What is a king if not one. just a, a mayor's mayor? A well-paid uh, well mayor. <laughs> no. A mayor has... Support. It's kind of like a more of a Democratic other people thing. also make a choice with the mayor. King, not so much. King has final say. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mm -hmm. fucking matter. Mm -hmm. I think Great Britain would, dis <laughs> would disagree with you there. But don't you have like a prime minister or some shit? Yeah, we have prime minister and a monarchy. The monarchy doesn't really do much in terms of decisions for the country, so... I, I think it's, well, like, what, more symbolic? this is medieval times. Yeah, 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 So, even then, a mayor wouldn't really exist, but... It'd have I guess it'd be something similar be like to... Barons. Like Baron Zemo? He's out of line, but he's still right. Did y'all... Did y'all know about Barons? Barons, Baronesses, Earls... Y'alls, all that. I played Skyrim. Yeah, so it'd be like a y'all. Yeah. A baron. Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, go on. Keep going. I'm sorry. What? 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 What is there? You're giving me a look. A look? Uh, I don't know. When I said mayor. Oh, I was. Sorry, no, I was thinking back to Frederick's father, mm. obviously being mayor and sort of seeing that story in, in you, that sort of situation. I mean, my dad's a jerk, but not in that kind of way. More of a jerk in t making me be responsible and restrict myself more and follow these rules, follow those rules. I, I always made sure to... I, I didn't want to deal with that stuff, so I always try to get myself out of them. One way or another. Hey, Jonathan, I think I I've just been to this <laughs> Oh, well. Say again, Arashi. I couldn't hear you over Nano. Oh, which part did not hear? M most of that. Really, Nano? Something, something, responsibility, wanting to get out of it. I would always do things to get out of them, because I don't want that. Rules this, rules that, follow them all the time. I know I already said that, but... Too restrictive. I, and sometimes I'll... Cause pranks and stuff, just so I could be more free. And, eh, it doesn't matter. Probably wash these berries. Finish it. If... If I may, and I don't want to take the side of your father when you clearly have some sort of discourse, but I can see where he's coming from. There are some responsibilities that we have to ourselves and to each other. Feels like For a lack of freedom. I understand that. Believe me, growing up in a church, there was plenty that I had to do that I didn't want to. Could you imagine what I could have done if I wasn't, if I didn't get pushed into being a cleric? Who knows? Maybe I could have, I could have trained to be a monk. I could have, I could have even been a ranger. <laughs> I was about to say that. I could have. <laughs> who knows? Maybe even been a ranger. There's many things that could have happened if we weren't tied down to these rules, but unfortunately there are times when we do need to follow them. I didn't 
At first, I didn't like being a cleric. I didn't like the teachings. But I, I'm still thankful for what the church has done for me. For Frederick as well. Do you see where I'm coming from? I don't know if I agree with it. I guess I'm not really the right person to ask or to mm. really talk to about this. I just... tend to just follow the rules as they are. But just keep on being you, Orphan. You're, you're alright sometimes. I'm scared of getting cheated. <laughs> Why do you think I was so afraid when that sword did that thing to me? I, even I think mean, straight. there were many reasons as for why you may have been afraid, but... Hey, you're with us. No need to be afraid. We're a team. I don't think you can stop someone from getting their mind sealed. I, if I have to kill a god, I will. And I know the other two will say the same to save you. They're like going up against Zeus. I mean, hey, apparently Frederick suplexed the god of war. Didn't he say almost, though? Eh, uh, potato potato. Frederick, roll perception check. <laughs> My ears are burning. <laughs> Alright, hold on. But, but whether he did, didn't, or almost did, there's still that layer of which he Does was... this give an advantage because it's combat-based? <laughs> Mentioning your past combat? Yes. <laughs> no, you didn't hear. But whether he did, didn't, almost, doesn't matter. He still had that strength. To I even pick up the god of war. Zeus has got nothing on us. As Zero's telling this story, Frederick sneezes in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Frederick, you should have taken your armor off so you could dry yourself out. And go it's back fine. to the conversation. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know if I can be that strong. Well, physically, you don't need to be. Mentally, no, on the other hand, you've got us all beat. You want to be? Then you should ask Frederick if you could train with him. Brash, even. Both of them seem like rather, you know, strong individuals. Physically, physically strong. But aren't you strong, too? I... Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go that I far. saw through your lies. <laughs> you can talk to me about anything. Can we train together? Except that. That's the one thing that I, I was against, but you said it. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. My my strengths lie in other things. Are you sure? I... I... I saw, like, half a forest cut down and you were sitting on a tree stump. I'm not sure if it was you or not, but if it was no, you, no, no, then... It's just, it's just the one. The other one was just, like, slashed up. It's yeah. Orthom's exaggerating. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, um... was a little angry at the time, so I guess that also, uh... released some inhibitions. Angry at Inhibit what? Some endorphins. No, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What matters now is that what matters now is that that has passed. <laughs> if you if you want to get physically stronger, I would recommend talking to Frederick or Brash. I will help in any way that I can. Just don't wake me up in the morning. <laughs> but I, I can't make any promises because there will be times where I do have to wake you up. But what if there's a dragon? I know Brash, another dragon. I know Dagon too. Um, what's the safest <laughs> method to wake you up? Don't. Mage hand from <laughs> 50 feet away. <laughs> okay, maybe that. Uh, it is to ask Frederick. <laughs> or X. 
since X is actually in the same building. But right. Frederick's always asleep when I get up. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's why he's the safest <laughs> one. <laughs> he sleeps like a log. Have you seen that man? He snores so loud. Uh, I mean, I had tried to put the thoughts of his snoring out of mind. Sorry. <laughs> I had can... flashbacks of Frederick snoring. I can recall just how loud they are. Oh. But no, um... I will... I will try to be better at waking up in the mornings. Oh, oh, maybe if we ever get to asthma, you can get one of those alarm clocks. They're, like, really good at, like, making these stuff. <laughs> An alarm clock? I don't quite follow. Oh, it, it's a... It's, like, a mechanical device that that, that tells time. And some has have functions. a giant air at the top. <laughs> it, and, and the way it functions, <laughs> it, it, ha it can have, like, bells on it. And... You can set it to a time where it goes off, and then when, you know, you wake up, you can press a button, so you can either snooze it, which means it delay it a few more minutes, or you can turn it off. Goddamn clock has a snooze button, but I can't even get a <laughs> snooze button. <laughs> I gotta work to fall asleep. I see. Maybe that will be quite helpful. If it works, that is. Well, asthma it is the city of foraging. Forging or for a G? Forging. Okay. Just just making sure the people in the back are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's also people. known as like the city of shadows, but that's beside the point. I wonder why. Ominous. <laughs> <laughs> so Ominous. Then you look at Ortham. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would explain Sirius as well, I suppose, then, huh? Mm, yeah, most of us tend to live uh, up north where there's less people. Isn't Desia relatively far south? Yeah. Like we're, south. We're yeah, but we're north. talking like most. Yeah. You know? mm. You're heading north towards like the middle of the map, while Azmit's like no north at the top. Uh, I see, I see. Well, like I said, if we ever find ourselves there, we'll look into it. I don't know if I want to though. You know why. Your father? Hmm. We butt heads a lot. <laughs> you are a butt head. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just everyone was thinking it. It was right there. Was... Uh, I think only you were thinking it. Not even I was thinking it. And me I'm either. me. <laughs> well, it... I truly am special. <laughs> Yeah. That's one way of putting it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, it, there are, again, there are many things we don't want to do. That I'm not... I'm not exactly looking forward to going to Hysteros. Why not? Well, well, like you know, like... Like you know, I... Actually, does Orphan know? I don't know, does Orphan know? Did you mention it to him ever? No, I still think it's just Frederick that knows. Mm -hmm. It's a long story. I won't get into it now. I think but as far as Ortham knows, you're just from the church. Yeah. It's uh, a long story. I won't get into it now. But let's just finish up here. Oh, I know I you can be strong enough to, to meet your father right to eye. I was gonna say you didn't have to share if you didn't have to, but okay. And I'm not. Time. <laughs> I mean, I won't tell anyone if you ever decide to tell me. I appreciate that. But come on, let's finish these up. Yes! <laughs> you turn around, X, Utai, and Frederick already finished their frog legs. <laughs> Eh, that's fine. And Carlos. And Carlos. And Carlos. Get some too. Of course, of course. I mean, 
Yeah, no, Car- you gave Carlos some, and then he just went over to the carcass and just started finishing off the, <laughs> the meat that's on the boat. Like yeah. the I like that. it raw. <laughs> this fucking frog Pause. is fucking raw. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Wait, you said frog. Yeah. It's toad. Same difference. <laughs> oh, oh. You're doing a Gorg Ramsey thing. I thought you were talking. I thought you were saying that Carlos was wrong. <laughs> I mean, technically, yes, but. Yeah. Say, <laughs> so, yeah, you return with the uh, raspberries. As the chestnuts finish, the, the fish is still there, and there's one leg, frog leg left over. So there's a fish and a frog leg still left. Uh, you can have a morphin. I'll be fine with other things. Mm, nope, I'm gonna let you have some food too. Hey, they say fish is the brain's brain food, so... Oh, Ezreal wants the fish and wants you to have the legs. What? No, I was, what? No, I was saying the orphan could have both for one, no. and that fish is brain food, so orphan being the smartest one would probably want it more. Oh. Uh, no, I think you deserve it too. Have the fish. I think <laughs> you it. can have them, honestly. No, is there no, no, a wall no, no, constitution just... check? Constitution? What? Am I gonna end up being allergic to fish or some shit? No, just roll a constitution check. Eleven. Your stomach growls. I mean, I've got rations. Yeah, like some rations. yeah, I'll just eat some rations. I'll just grab my bag and start digging around for rations. I... Honestly, orphan, I'll be fine. Go ahead and eat. But, but, but fresh food. Eat, orphan. I won't take no for an answer. I plop the fish in Azriel's lap and I take the frog leg and I just go across. <laughs> just go to. The... It's a good thing Azriel tiefling, or this would be burning. <laughs> yeah, I do have fire resistance. Not heat resistance, mind you. Um, Fish on a <laughs> stick. It burns! <laughs> Ow, my dear, this fucking hell. I'm sorry. Was it... No, it was just suddenly just... Oof, it burns! In my Ow. Mm. I was trying to be quieter. Oh, I'm just going to turn down my volume a little bit. So, Ortham's giving you the fish, whether you want it or not, then ran off with the frog leg. <laughs> Fucking Ortham. <laughs> At least he's making sure you get well fed. <laughs> I have rations. And? and I, I would think, have been well fed. I think it's safe to say you take a long rest now. Just eating lunch and... Isn't a long rest like eight hours? Isn't that like eight hours? Yeah. All right, short, short, rest. short rest is like an hour, a couple hours. A short long rest. <laughs> a medium rest. So you want a short rest, but with the benefits of a long rest. Yes, because the food was that good. I don't believe that X cooked it. I okay. know. X flavored it. No, no, no. X watched it. Oh yeah, X gazed. Yeah, I, I did most of the attentive turning. I only went off for like quick foraging for the berries. Plus X like, you know, got the meat for you. Except the fish. That was a gift from Wutai. Which is your own project never question. It's like, when did the fish get there? Eh. Well, they did say they were a fisherman, so. <laughs> yeah. I guess they use context clues. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So proud. So proud. They grow up so fast, these players. <laughs> so, you all eat. I guess uh, Carlos can get his HP back. Good old Carlos. Yep. One died, one ran away, and the other one that's actually brave stuck by. Because he's Carlos, man. Don't mess with <laughs> Carlos. I thought he's Russian. 
Yeah, I thought he was Russian. He could be whatever he wants to be. He's a crab who doesn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently can understand common. Yeah. This is Carlos weird. is cool like that. He's learned. He knew he wasn't tough enough for the street, so he learned. Learned. Doesn't that mean I can technically just write to him in common and he understands? I mean, you can just talk to him in common, too. And common. he understands flawlessly. Yeah. You sure? But... As far as you know. Okay. You have to, like, test out, like, how much he knows. <laughs> a, a taco, like, starts to stretch on top of Carlos and hops off. And you'll notice, like, at the back of Carlos's shell, there's a little, like, black flame looking thing what what did you say nano i didn't mean flame i meant like oh uh, what what's that stupid pattern from sasuke's curse mark <laughs> he's got a curse on him because someone hit him with that chronic damage oh, huh. <laughs> oh wait that's the one i knocked prone can I lay on hands before the short rest so I can still get the full rest? Wait, restore? it can actually yeah. curse? Like, since when could Sapping Sting do that? Necrotic damage! Oh, yeah, it's still damage it from necrotic get rid of damage? The seal. It does, yeah. Carlos starts like, wiggle around a little bit and feels light. Starts like. Did you watch One Punch Man? Me. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when Saitama starts doing that thing where he just like starts hopping Hold on. Hold on. Is this a thing that people are okay with hearing? As in like Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I've seen one punch man. Continue. I mean it's just a thing where he's jumping side to side real quick. That's all he's doing. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it's not, there's I mean, no... You didn't really need to reference one punch man for that. You could have just said that. Like right. yeah. <laughs> But sometimes side, visual side aids help. I, I suppose. Jump. He's just doing these little side jumps. He feels light. Oh, I'm going to ask Carlos if he would like to come along with us. It is his choice. <laughs> Carlos looks up to you and salutes with his pincher. <laughs> yeah. Cute. <laughs> like that oh. little pose he's doing right there. Oh yeah, can I uh, toss out one of the one of the creatures? Carlos mm -hmm. has joined your party. Da -da 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 -da. Emergency food rations. Whoa! I you didn't know we got me. a Paimon. <laughs> oh no, it's Carlos, not Paimon. Show some respect for Carlos. Yeah, Carlos is not emergency food. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> Zero just flips back to that crab cake page like mm, <laughs> soon. <laughs> you call him emergency food, I will put your head on a stick and make you the emergency food. Yeah, <laughs> damn. Mmm, tiefling. <laughs> That's so, would that would that be considered cannibalism? Because it's not. I don't think yeah, that's a question we feel comfortable no. asking. Yeah, no, not on Twitch. <laughs> I, th I say no. Different species. <laughs> yeah, we're technically of all different races. Like, X and Frederick, maybe, but. Anyway. Yeah, oh, sexes. X tells you nothing. <laughs> yeah. X doesn't even know what X is, because X, X is going to give it to you. be a fucking changeling. <laughs> we don't know. I am simply X. That is it. The An elf looking person. That's what a changeling would say. <laughs> they're that they're an elf, right? Twitter.com. You know that. I, I I know I know what 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 race Blair went. I'm just I'm not spoiling anything. X is just a vibe. That's the that's the race. Yes. <laughs> I exist. Anyways, let's see Damn, what creature what's that like? it comes out. Horrible. Would not recommend. One. Number one. <gasps> Seymour? Good old Seymour. Seymour! <laughs> Seymour! The badger, right? The 
Or was he the weasel? Weasel. Weasel, weasel that's right. Wessel. Seymour's like your spirit animal. He's always there. <laughs> hey, Seymour. I saved a piece for you. Give him a piece of cooked, you know. Mm, cooked thing. <laughs> cooked frog meat. Just a piece. Enough for enough to fill a weasel. Yep. Um, Seymour is happy and he is just munching. Ah, you good little weasel. Ah. No, he sees Carlos and he just like crawls up your uh, coat and hides behind your scarf, scared. Aw, Seymour, I'm it's gonna okay. I'm going to say Carlos is friendly, don't worry. Don't worry, Carlos, the crab like, won't hurt you. Carlos, like, pinches and nods. As well as it can. Okay, Seymour, you don't have to be scared of him. It's Carlos, everybody loves Carlos. Yeah, it's a, it's a good crab. You should say hi, at least. Well, you know... No, you don't have to now, though. There you go, Cosmic. Hmm? Something I should have done a while ago. I gave you control of Carlos. <laughs> and then I remembered I already did the same for, um... Blair. Hey, Taco. Yeah. I think I did. I did. Yeah. I should probably do the same for her. So which ones have you seen again, Arashi? What do you mean? From the bag. I have that written down. That's why I asked. The weasel, Seymour, the panther called Kitty. A regular <laughs> badger called Sting. There's a giant rat. There's also a giant badger and a boar called Himba. <laughs> I forgot about Himba. Get over Himba. <laughs> <laughs> so weasel badger giant badger panther boar giant rat the giant rat is called petty yeah okay p-e-t-t-i because he is petty not just that but also kind of you know peter petter <laughs> pettigrew harry potter no it's hermione Snape. Snape. Severus Snape. What's that taking Dumbledore. Sound? Dumbledore. <laughs> ha ha ha. Voldemort, Voldemort, Voldemort. <laughs> Voldemort, Voldemort. Voldemort. <laughs> so with this, Utai will bow before you and say, thank you so much for the meal and the company. I wish you all safe travels, but I must be on my way now. Mm, safe travels, Utai. Waving. Mm, she waves back as she is uh, making her exit. So you guys set up, uh, you've set up a little lunch thing. It is now about two o'clock or so, uh, like three, it's about three o'clock in the game. Would so, I be able to tell from the sky? <laughs> Do you look at the sun, Ortham? Not directly. I just try to see where generally is. <laughs> Do you look at the sun? <laughs> Roll an intelligence check. <laughs> Why are you crying? Don't cry. No, my face. Ah, it sun's in my eyes. Don't tell me it's an at one. No, it's not. Okay, you're good. It's like <laughs> you know, I like got the, I got some sun in my eyes, but it was not direct. You like, flinched completely. before you looked directly at it. Ah, I got sun in my eyes. I, I was guess. trying to see what time it was. I it's think half past my eyes it. burning. Okay. My eyes aren't burning, but it hurt for a second. <laughs> Don't tell me not yeah. to stare at the sun, X. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I know. I appreciate your silence. <laughs> right. 
So will you be kicking out the fire? Will you just be moving on your way? What's going on? Zutai will be going to the north because, you know, that's where his Theros is. Um, is everyone done with the fire? I don't think I have any further need for it. Ah, Richard. though, I suppose I could turn off the uh, sap from the uh, knife that I got earlier. Just don't burn yourself. I'm rather careful. You don't need to worry about that. Okay. So Dario, what you doing? Do you need it? I'm burning off the sap from the dagger that I got earlier. Okay. I assume I can just do that, or... Roll me a dexterity check. Just plain dexterity? Yep. Oof. Hmm. So as you put the... the knife with the... Do you take off the leaf coating? Or try to, anyway? Ah, leaves burn, it's fine. <laughs> so you put the... the leaf-coated dagger with the sap on it and as you do it burst into flames and start crackling f small little fireballs whoa that's fine you take two shove it in the same way quick okay yep x i told you to be careful <laughs> like a mini version of i told you so <laughs> Roll an intelligence check, X. <laughs> nope. That's a that save. Was a save. You got yep. lucky. Um, whoops. That save might have saved you. Come on. No. Well, he saved you from a nat one. You think maybe the leaves might have had something to do with it? <laughs> yep. But um, it does get the sap off once it's finished crackling. And the blade still looks to be in uh, fine condition, aside from the rusted half. Alrighty. Yep. I'll uh, cool it off for, or let it cool for a second before putting it in my bag. Yep. Alright. So you put it in your bag. Nothing else. Carry on. Who else needs the fire? Speak now or forever hold your peace, guys. Or fireball. Uh, I think I'm good. I don't need okay. it for anything. Roger. I'm good. Then right, Orthum will snuff out the fire, kicking some dirt and sand on it. And taking some of the charcoal and shoving it with the rest of the charcoal. While it's still hot? No. You should get like a hat full of water and pour it on that to, <laughs> for the charcoal. Dude, it's a, it's a lake's right next to there. Of course I'm going to use that. Well, you didn't say that. Nope. It sounded like you went, ooh, piece of charcoal. Ow! Ooh, piece of charcoal. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, after you use the water to cool off the charcoal, you're, you are able to collect it without it harming you or burning a hole in your pack or whatever. Yeah. And I'm going to assume you guys are ready to move on to the next area. Come on, guys, let's go! <laughs> I'm already going. Nope. So after about a couple more hours of walking, you will come across this Theros. Lives. Wait a minute. I know that guy. What? This guy. Did I already use his model for something? 
That's the uh, the incubus. No. No, it's not. Is it not? Which no. one is he then? Nope. You don't know this guy. I've seen that one before. Where? He just looks a lot like somebody else. Was he incessant, sir? One of the guardsmen in Sessence? Like on the, the ballistas that we didn't nope. talk to? Nope. Nope. Where have I seen him then? You don't remember. Oh, well. I don't know. Just crab going too far away from water. Crab out of water. <laughs> I, I guess they'll be walking behind Frederick. Hey, crab did say you wanted to go. Yeah, he's, he's going. Hey, Frederick, I hope you... Wait. So this is a gate to pass through, so you guys know. Wait, X, don't you have a bunch of water you keep in a container? Well, about uh, that. No, I happen to uh, get rid of that. Oh, well, the crab's gonna need water every now and then, though. Well, it's not my crab. It's not my responsibility. Well, obviously I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Frederick, I hope you're listening. Mm hmm. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just playing I was just playing fetch with the crab. I I throwing the yes, trident. I know. <laughs> okay, I thought you were deaf for a second. <laughs> this nope. place is huge. I remember passing through here once, but it just it's different. No, it's for Rosh, you haven't been here. I, I've totally been here. No. I, I, I'm saying too. It's sarcasm! <laughs> I don't know, maybe you mistook it for another place. <sighs> Wait, have I been here before? Uh, some of the towns look similar. I don't know why it doesn't like your token. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, you come up to a gate. You see that it's overgrown with a, with a couple of vine, um, vines. Some trees have grown into the, the wooden walls itself. Whoa. Really start writing that down in a journal. And you will see, standing at the other end of the main gate, a familiar face to Frederick. Mm-hmm. And uh, as you start to approach, he will start to walk out. He has this rather smug look on his face. He goes... Have you returned? Have you come to return that hammer you took from me, or the pick so from him? You took the something, pick. Frederick. He was I'm the gonna... one you beat I... in that fight. I was, I was gonna say, like you lost it fair and square. So, I lost it fair and square. Hmm. There was always I mean... something off about you and the way you fought. If you want to fight again for it, be my guest. I'm always down for a challenge. I need to take you down a peg or two, don't I? Hmm? <laughs> it's like, hmm, it? I don't speak jerk. <laughs> he, just, he just slumps over and goes, forget it. Why are I you here? Just in here so How can you get so easily deflated, dude? Because it's Frederick. <laughs> no, like because I uh, fucking kicked his ass. Why wouldn't he? It, yeah. It's like no filters or them again. <laughs> so, okay. Mm. But. He he just deflates. Like he, like I know you didn't hear him. All you really said was, you know, I've got to teach you a lesson. You're like, what? I can't hear you. What? <laughs> he was like, oh. <laughs> so what are you doing here? You don't normally travel with. He points to zero. Well, you kind of stick with her, but who are the other two? Uh, people appointed by uh, 
Bradshaw, I believe his last name was. I'm trying to remember. It's been a while yeah, since Bradshaw. I mentioned his name. Yeah, it's Bradshaw. A well-seasoned traveler, thank you very Who much. Who are we looking for here? It's been a while since we actually got here. Azariel, you wanted to drag us here. Who is it? Uh, we're looking for... Three bounty hunters. Uh... Who were after somebody here. To recover somebody, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Right? We're, it wasn't we're... to actually kill anybody, it was just to recover an, a bounty or a bounty hunter that got captured or some shit. Yeah. You're yeah. here to find three bounty hunters who didn't basically send word back to Butch after coming here. Hmm. And they were sent here to find a bounty. Then Specifically, the uh, one... Go ahead. The one. Go ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, the one who attacked Sessence. Hmm. I had well, I'm going to respond and say we're here on a job. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, Robin, what was that? That's okay. Uh, I... I thought this place had been overrun by bandits. This is a bandit camp. That's what Ban and Dit told me. Unless they lied. And if they lied, well, we're going back to Sessence. <laughs> they said that their camp was outside of Hysteros. They weren't at Hysteros. Hmm. Hmm, okay. On the job, huh? Who would hire you, Mooks? Shove the badge in his face. Well, somebody that would hire us is somebody that saw that we had potential to defeat certain enemies, unlike somebody. I don't see you making so yourself useful. Somebody knows what they're doing, clearly. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's just getting visibly frustrated. He's just, just sassed by everybody. I'll be back in just a moment. And I'm just gonna go, you started it. Don't throw shit if you can't take it. Well, I'm in charge of security here. So what's the job you're doing? Oh, that's a new one. Well, same light work. I gotta find some people. Uh, someone attacked my hometown, so we're finding the people that went out to go find them because they haven't had sent word back. And they came here? Apparently the person that attacked my town has a camp somewhere around here. Why are we trusting this guy with his information? Because he knows I'll kick his ass if he says anybody <laughs> says anything. But <laughs> it, it then he wouldn't be worth our time telling. And am I saying exactly who it is? No. No. Uh, fine. Fair point. Well, it's we broad haven't... enough that it has an understanding, but it's not specific enough that they know exactly who it is. There could be multiple camps outside the town. And I'm not saying how far outside the town, I'm just saying it's around the town. There was a camp of bandits not that long, not that long ago, but me and a couple of the other guys chased them off. Are there Any still idea remnants? Where they, went? they went to the to the north, I believe. Like north east. Northeast. In the direction of Asmit? Question mark. <sighs> That's a good question. We'll put a pin in that. What'd you say? I'm sorry, Zonda. I said, that's a good question. We'll put a pin in that. What question? Um, you said yeah. it was in the direction of Azmit. And Nano said, that's a good question. We'll put a pin in that. You missed Arashi having an Arashi moment. 
Also, not much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he'll say, "Yeah, we chased them off to the northeast. We, they seemed more scared of something else than us." Mm, I wonder why. <laughs> it's just, I'm just, like I could, I could feel him getting physically pissed, and like I'm just laughing about it because it's just some character, <laughs> you know. Oh, man. Like I'm thinking this is hilarious, but <laughs> the character I have to betray is it? <laughs> oh man, hey, I, that wasn't throwing shade at him. I know. We can well, that it wasn't, but like, you know, mm -hmm. like he doesn't have the context of why they are scared, <laughs> but <laughs> he says, um, there were a couple guys here not that long ago, but they got like, we told them about the bandits and they went after them. I think. He stops and thinks for a moment and scratches his head. I don't think anybody even saw them leave here. Because they spent Some the night... Some security. Well, that's what... I'm... They spent the night, but... I don't think anybody saw them leave here to... after that. But nobody saw them around, so I, I didn't really question it. But if you're after them, they didn't leave, and they didn't give word. What to think on this. So how long will you guys be staying here? Or are you going to be As long as it takes through? to complete. Right. Not your beeswax. At the very least, uh, hopefully no more than a few days. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> oh, okay. Some of my chat said, fun fact, being around a humpback whale is safer than a dolphin. It's true. Dolphins will kick you with their tail. Um, are we going to go in and get a room or something? I thought I was hearing thunder for a second. What was that? I was asking if we're going to get a room or not. <laughs> like, we're just standing are out here. Room? He'll move aside to let you guys pass. Eh, I'll camp outside. Honestly, I might just try and trade the camera back just because Tavern Brawler only works with unarmed strikes or improvised yeah. weapons. Right. Oh, you will return it? Yeah, I think. I mean, you earned it. I guess take it as a sign of good faith. And, I don't uh, really need it anymore because I'm going to be punching things, so... <laughs> for just I, like, have, I have plans. I, really want I wanna get to Cyrus to make a pair of gauntlets Ooh. that's infused with my bracelet, the, the wind bracelet. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can flavor that up. Well, remember, it was the gem itself that did it. So it just removes the gem and puts yeah. it into the gauntlet. Yeah. But then that would take place at your gauntlets of defense. Infinity gauntlet. <laughs> I was thinking the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not like a piece of... It's not like a... <laughs> no, I gotta, I gotta tell him make multiple slots so I can channel all the elements in the gauntlet. 
Oh my god, can you imagine? <laughs> Infinity Gauntlet is Frederick Gauntlet. against Zeus, who wins? <laughs> One Angie boy with a bunch of rocks or Zeus. <laughs> Snap Zeus out of existence. Listen, my money's on uh, Angie boy. <laughs> if I know anything <laughs> about Angie boys and Zeus, Angie boys win. <laughs> As I walk past him, I'll take the hammer out of my side and hold it out to him. He's stunned for a moment, but he takes it and he goes, thank you. It was a gift from a friend. It seemed important if you were to ask about it the second you came or I came back. It's better in your hands than in mine. And he just looks at him and cracks his knuckles and he's like, I've got these anyway. You just... Oh fuck, that is thunder. <laughs> it's like loud thunder too, but it's like still daylight out there, so that's what's got me scared. Yeah, that's that sounds... <laughs> he, he heard me talking shit. Dude, <laughs> if, if, it's, if it's like light outside, but you can hear like thunder and stuff, you're in for like a heavy thunderstorm, I think. And for the record, that. nano bracers are on the forearm. They're not oh, gauntlets. Yeah. That's right. Oh, uh, yeah. That's right. My bad, you right. You're right. It's okay. Uh, he does appreciate you returning the hand, uh, the pick. The hell is that thing called? Nomish Hook Hammer. There you go. Nomish Hook Hammer. He appreciates you returning it. Richard will important. remember that. <laughs> Richard will remember that. Yeah, I named him Dick Ducard. <laughs> <laughs> Because I was like, what is the most douchey name I could come up with? Ah, yes, Dick. But I can't just use Dick. I have to go Richard. I but, mean, you know, Dick is a name that's on itself. Well, yeah, but it's also, you know, short for Richard. Mm hmm. All right. So Frederick walks past. Mm hmm. Anybody else joining Frederick? Or are you going to be camping outside? Uh, Ezreal's going to sort of like trail behind Frederick. Okay. Hey, X, do you want to camp outside? Hmm. I think perhaps I'll follow the others for now. X is like, bed, ground. Bed, ground. I nah. Thought, I thought you didn't like people. Yes, but I do enjoy sleeping on a comfortable, uh, well, something more comfortable than ground. Hmm. Fine, I'll follow. Where are you guys going to? Yes. Um, Ez is sort of just sticking close to Fred. What's up with the lizards? Yeah, what is up with the lizards? I don't know. Are they the lizard people from space? <laughs> no, they're the lizard people that run the government. Get it right. I would like to investigate the lizards. Okay. Add to our army. <laughs> Hey guys, would you be able to help me find like a brass brazier and some incense sometime soon? I mean, I'm sure there's a shop you can probably go around and find that at. Um, I've been trying to gather materials so I could lessen the cost, but I don't have any gold. Well, I admittedly don't have much myself either. I don't want to ask because I don't want to be mooching off other people. Tough. <laughs> How much? But the thing is, wizard problems. <laughs> yep. Also, how much gold's worth of 
charcoal and herbs do I have currently? Not enough. No. Well, listen, you have enough charcoal. I could say that. You just need to work on the herbs and the incense. Okay. Okay. Please don't start a forest fire in Hysteros. <laughs> not, not, those. not in Hysteros. <laughs> maybe outside of Hysteros, and I not in actual any, forest. I, I don't, I don't think a party member would appreciate a fire anywhere around Hysteros. The biggest way to just truly mess with Ezreal is to use start, start a fire and then um, is it form or prestigitation to change the color of it? Form, that's it. <laughs> form is how you to just change the color of the fire to black and that would just send Ezreal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Frederick and Azuriel wish to find out about the lizards. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. right, right. So, so I think we'll see three lizards standing outside of a, a stall. As you see a woman with white hair, a tan like uh, skin uh, tone and uh, just dressed mostly in robes with a staff that's got some cherry blossoms sprouting at the end as well as a blue ethereal flame oh magic person yep and uh as you approach, she was moving a couple boxes, but she sees you and flinches and drops the box. The box breaks open, but there was thankfully nothing in it. Just, oh. oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. You scared me. Sorry. Well, Earthrim, you're not even there. I, I thought I followed in. Well, you didn't move up. Uh, yeah, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like they were typing something. Hold on. What on earth is <laughs> X is just staring at investigating the, the perimeter or climbing around. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, X just walked off. <laughs> X is like, and I don't like it here anymore. <laughs> okay. Well then. I did not realize I was fucking muted. I was going to say, I was being fucking silent. I, was I didn't saying know. I'm checking the perimeter. Oh. I mean, you were That's typing something in chat. You were typing something in chat. I was like, oh, they'll just finish typing. I didn't even know you were moving around the perimeter because I was zoomed in on. That's nice. I'm so <laughs> fucking sorry. That was my bad. I was talking. I was saying, yeah, I'm checking the perimeter perimeter but like you were responding at the exact same time after i'd finished talking so i thought you were <laughs> oh when i said it <laughs> yeah and you were like maybe they're checking the perimeter which is exactly what i said <laughs> oh boy that's hilarious oh, oh, that's i just boring. know you too well i know yeah. you a little too oh, well man. that's great I and then i look down and it's the cross over the microphone and i'm like shit i'm an idiot I could just, I could just imagine X like dressed as a mime, like don't worry, guys, like, like miming that they're they're gonna check the perimeter, and Fred just like, got it. <laughs> and everyone else is like, what? <laughs> yeah, they just make a quick like hand signal, like peace, I'm out. Yeah. Listen, we both have combat knowledge, so it makes right. sense. Exactly. Um, gotta like check their security. Gotta see if there's anything like around. Yeah, you, you or weakness we in the wall. Gotta lay of the land. Town. 
Like, yeah. Frederick was just like, something ain't right. <laughs> are you using your senses to perceive, or are you investigating this? Hmm. I'm investigating. All right, investigate. Fifteen. Let's go. Damn. All right. So we'll say you're investigating the walls to start because you're making sure it's sturdy and all that. There is residual burn marks <laughs> at the bottom. Don't you fucking laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. And uh, though they seem to have been cut off pretty early, so they didn't start like burning the whole walls down from the uh Steros is kind of built like a compound now or it was before but it seemed like the attack was stopped at the walls until it wasn't <laughs> uh, there's no like openings or anything's in the walls they're either uh, they're mostly just like giant log stakes dug into the ground and fortified there with, you know, wood, stone. rope, stone, every, anything and everything they can use. Yeah. Right. So th those, those were the walls. The walls are in good shape. There's no openings. There's no like, you know, secret exits. It's just you see the main entrance and then there's a back entrance. Okay. And Is some... Serious? Hard towers. Looks like the city of trees, like trees growing out buildings and walls. Yep. Because it was left unattended for nine years, so some of those trees were just. Sounds like a fire hazard. That's crazy. <laughs> what? But also, also a city wonder. <laughs> To wonder that uh, Azuriel wasn't muted. Hmm? Were, were you muted? Or were you just letting those over your head? I was kind of listening, like half listening. Gotcha. Okay. Don't worry, nothing important was said. <laughs> it was just a lot of jokes at Azuriel's expense, I know. Yeah, yeah. Or Hysteros' yeah. expense, right. anyway. All right, so you investigate the walls. What do you want to check out next out there? I mean, I guess I'd probably just, like, check the area for, like, you know, traps or signs of, like, suspicious activity or anything. All right, and I'll ask again, are you investigating this, like, thoroughly, or are you using your perception to get a feel? Probably, I'm 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 straight up investigating. By all means. F. There's no traps. As you step into one of those rope traps that grab your ankle and just lift you up upside down. No. I cut <laughs> myself free with a dagger. Yeah. Um. It's no problem, you know, getting up there to cut yourself free. Roll an acrobatics to see if you land on your feet. Or, you know, safely. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I'm you good. You basically cut the line, just drop down to your feet like, huh. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so there are traps. Good to know. <laughs> and the rogue no. did their job. They found the traps. <laughs> no one will ever know. <laughs> nope. It'll be their shame and only their shame. <laughs> And it'll be forgotten in T minus one hour. <laughs> exactly. So, Blair's done some investigating. Let us cut back to the lady at the stall with her lizards. She saw you and she was. Scared for a moment because, you know, new people. And then she dropped her crate in her box that broke. It's just a little wooden box. Huh? Oh, 
That's you guys. <laughs> what? I heard, uh, yeah, the box broke, and then what happened? And she was, like, apologizing, and... Yeah. Is there something you need? Um... I'm gonna just go, what's up with all the lizards? <laughs> oh, they're cool! Also, sorry for scaring you. Yeah. Um... I don't know what the deal is myself. They've been here for a couple days now. I don't really do anything. You just kind of sit there and stare. Are you fucking kidding me? What kind of lizards are they? Also, they're the positive? They're the mercenaries. No, they're the geckos. I don't believe you. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you. There's three of them. Yeah. You're a liar. <laughs> Conspiracy <laughs> theories. You're a liar. You're a fucking liar. Conspiracy I theories. Like, like Frederick's just like, I don't believe this. <laughs> I know what they are. The lady's a bit like taken aback. It's like, what are you talking about? So, when things are polymorphed, are they still aware of who they are? That's an excellent question. Pretty sure. Can they still understand common? Should be able to. They should be, yeah. So the lizards are just looking at her? Yeah, just looking at her. Uh, as far as I know, I, I, I don't remember the exact details of Polymorph, but what I do know is that it basically changes the form of something. Like, physically. And magically. One action, 60 feet, a creature that you can see within range, concentration up to an hour. So it transforms oh, a creature if it's that you concentration, can then it mm -hmm. would end. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a true Polymorph. Mm hmm. Is there a different form of polymorph? I think there is one called true polymorph. Yeah, that's the one that lasts. Indefinitely. True polymorph. Maybe not indefinitely. I'm going to ask the lady, when did these lizards appear? You said a few days ago, right? Yep. Just a few days ago. How um, long ago did the bandits leave to come here? Or not the bandits, but the mercenaries. How uh, was I told? Something the wrong. bandits or the mercenaries? The but mercenaries. How long okay. did it take them to arrive here? How long did it take them to get here? About it took us half a day. So, but it took you longer because you went back to Estero mm -hmm. or Medesia and stayed there for a while. So then it would make sense that the lizard's appearance is the same as the mercenary's appearance. Give or take a day. Yeah. Give Ooh, or take. those deduction skills. Hmm. I have a feeling. <laughs> oh, yeah? How would I ask without looking like a dumbass? <laughs> That's an excellent question. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 you let me know when you figure that out. Uh, true polymorph only lasts for an hour as well. Oh. Really? Unless it was a curse, you could be cursed. You are dealing with an enemy that knows curses. Mm -hmm. Or specifically a curse fire, but, you know, it says they it don't branch out. It wouldn't and be they're all just looking at her? Outside the realm of possibility. Yep, just looking. Can I, like, sort I of grab the attention of one of the lizards? I I know their names. You know their names? Yeah. Say the names. Um, if See if all... one of them perks up. If it's all right with you, someone that we know has gone missing. Um, Jebediah, their terrible. name is. Uh, the lizard's still just staring at her blankly. Last I I knew they were traveling with some friends called um, Clarence and Cletus. I still I do remember them. 
they did come by here. They were trying to help with the bandit problem. I think. I would I like to use divine sense. Okay. I want to walk up to one of the the, the geckos and stare one of, stare him directly in the face, like punch down. Yeah. Just so you know, they're not oh, like the giant yeah. crab. They're just like little lizards. I know. In I, I'm just trying to because you know the way they look. Just they're just little lizards, little geckos. Okay. Uh, okay, what does divine sense do again? The presence of strong evil registers in your senses like a noxious odor, and a powerful good rings like heavenly music in your ears. As an action, you can open your awareness to detect such force, such forces. Until the end of your turn, you know the location of any celestial, fiend, or undead within sixty feet of you that is not behind total cover. So I'm wondering if they're a fiend. So mm. you do get the rancid uh, stench. Great. But not from her. No, um, where is he coming it coming from? It is surrounding you. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> um... Within the same radius, you also detect the presence of any place or object that's been consecrated or desecrated, as with the hollow spill. Has anything been consecrated or desecrated? Give me a second. I gotta find out what consecrated is. <laughs> consecrated made holy is, I'm or whatever. pretty sure, yeah, made holy and desecrated is made unholy. Consecrated uh -huh. or means, like, set aside as well, like special. Okay. Well, yeah, in the right, terms right. of religion, it would be yeah. holiness as unholy or unholiness. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. You I mean you do feel that the land has been desecrated, but that might just be the remnants of when the cursed fire had come through here. I mean, it would have to be like an active desecration, or else oh. it wouldn't be there so like if it was still has a field of unholiness then it would still work it definitely does have that field of unholiness great uh i'm gonna say to as in a whisper something's not right there's a fiend something there's an evil great evil here I'm still surprised this place is still standing. I don't want to be here any more than you do. I don't I... want to be here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna say, Why did no, you no, want no, to go no. here? I'm going to say to as no, no, no. This is like religion and paladin shit telling me, get the fuck out of there. What do you suppose we do? this might be extremely dangerous and something's clearly happening. The lizard showed up at the same time the mercenary showed up. Something's wrong. Hello, little lizard. And if and it's I just had it. Owl? It blinks one eye at a time and just stares. <laughs> During the serious conversation. Hello, little lizard. <laughs> okay, if go on. Power is this owl, something's wrong. Very wrong. Then let's not stick around. Let's get out of here as soon as we can. I'm Burn gonna question the security guard. Do you need the rope? I would like... <laughs> <laughs> Without context, that sounds horrible. <laughs> Do you need the rope? <laughs> Sure. Unless I talk to an old friend. Hmm. Uh, leave the questioning to me. Yeah. As you start to leave, you'll feel a hand on your shoulder. Ah! And who is it? It is a woman cloaked in black with... Uh, I guess... Uh, Salmon color hair and green salmon? skin. Salmon? Yes! It's salmon! Salmon! What? what? Fuck you. Ah! Uh. 
That's how I, I say it. I was making I say it's salmon. I was oh. making a joke it's in the extremely of a day. <laughs> I remember that. Almond and that's just almond. how I say it. <laughs> and then it's like you pronounce almond and I, almond. It's a difference in dialect and area. It's yeah, I, I'll like, say I salmon. I have a friend that says it's salmon. Funny. I like the color. They say it like Blair, salmon I'm, pink. I'm not making that's fun like of you. Thing. That's how I say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, I just think it's funny because Blair didn't believe me. <laughs> I believed you. I just think it's dumb. <laughs> what? Almond and salmon. Salmon. I love it. Um, well, <laughs> I say uh, salmon and almond. <laughs> almond and salmon. Um, mm. To the person who's put their hand on Frederick's shoulder, I'm just going to grab my scythe. Hands off. And she'll pull her hands back and goes, No spare coins for a beggar? Something Which is we wrong like in this town. <laughs> what was that not. next? <laughs> Bitch, does it look like we have spare coins? <laughs> well, you're wearing armor and you just came into town, so yeah. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. Okay? We and you know, it. there's a certain party, man. Hey, we do not hey, talk about it. Hey, Ez, you got my college fund? <laughs> <laughs> I thought oh, you won that in gladiatorial God. combat. <laughs> anyway, um, let's go question the guard. What about the beggar? That's currently uh, talking I'm gonna to tell us. the beggar this town is not safe. There are much better options than begging for coin in a town that could very well destroy you. Hey, Zero. I'll continue walking. You wanna do me a favor? Um, <laughs> roll me a uh roll me a perception check. Hmm. Can I go off of passive perception? <laughs> what is your passive perception? 15. Can this be yeah. um, enhanced due to... Oh, you know what? Let's not go off passive perception. That's oh my god. Yeah, screw that. <laughs> yeah, so... May this be enhanced due to weariness of the situation? Hmm. They got a 24. It doesn't matter. It doesn't <laughs> matter. Anyway. Well, I'm still going to roll, gonna roll anyway. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want to roll. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, we can both roll, so. Yeah, mm. you did. Um, you noticed that there's a black imprint on Frederick's shoulder where the beggar's hand just was. <laughs> like, on their pauldron. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> They're still here. Do I see it as well? Nope. It's at that okay. one awkward part of the pauldron where you're like trying to see, but pauldrons are removable, right? <laughs> yeah, they are. Yes. If I've noticed this, mm -hmm. just once we step away from the uh, the beggar, of course. Yeah. Let's just. Sounds like. Yeah. Oh. Do you go. mind if I take a lizard, ma'am? I don't at all. Go ahead. Yes! <laughs> um, as soon as we get away from the beggar and make sure that she isn't like listening or watching, she's like, Frederick, your pauldron. Well, what's wrong with my pauldron? I know, it's great. It was a gift from Dave. <laughs> it's something you may want to take a look at yourself. I'll remove it, look mm. at it, and be like you oh, will see it fuck. yeah you'll see it <laughs> and then uh, what i'm going to do is step outside i'm gonna pick up the is, um all made of wood right yeah it's all made like of wood buildings everything yep uh is see did i walk past seymour because seymour is in that one spot I don't know. Hiroshi, is Seymour there? Or is Seymour with you? Um, I left Seymour there, I guess. Okay. I'm going to tell Seymour to go keep him watch. Fourth him and tell him we need to leave. Well, somehow indicate that we need to leave. Okay. Uh, Seymour will get on two legs, do a salute, and just run towards Ortham. Wait, did that, that creature does a salute? Everything a does a salute. Right now. It's a weasel. 
My crab salutes, the weasel salutes, <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, salute. I mean, it salutes oh, as well as it can, because it can't get its, you know, can't get its arm over its head. When Does I what step outside, I'm going to look around for X and see if I can spot them anywhere. I don't know, X is very, very sneaky. Uh, <laughs> just while they're doing that, Ezreal currently, like, shaking, it's like, we need to burn this place down. So, Ortha, are you... <laughs> are you again? Are you on taking... board with it? But, wow. Well, I, I mean, like, right. Well, but... like, it's, ju it's just like, by the holy flame, and the entire thing just... Oh, <laughs> burn in holy fire. What was that, a rush? Never... <laughs> I was going to say, uh, the scene where it call at me, I'm like, okay, fine, fine. Yeah, I, I pick up the lizard that was poking and I just go. And I okay. try to take the path that the scene was trying to take, which is somehow like avoiding. I'm guessing it's straightforward. I'm also yeah. gonna run in and grab the guard and pull him out. Because, oh, like, I know this dude. I know he's not bad. <laughs> Good old Dick Dukai. <laughs> he's a jerk, but he's I'm not like, put evil. I'm gonna my hands <laughs> on both his shoulders and, like, say, this place is bad very bad <laughs> we don't have time listen to me we need to leave God, i really wish i had message just it doesn't matter Does he where, respond to me where it is i know that this place is wait we have fuck, don't we have stones no no we don't no you don't no. do we what no. i thought i thought we had like talking stones no we don't mm -mm. no i don't think we do I'm no. gonna look. i don't think we do okay and oh. i don't have message yet either because I need to be a bard for that. It's crazy. Do I see X anywhere? I'd say I'm like coming out of the little like bushy area. I'd say you can probably see me. No, you do not have the uh, bending stones. Okay. I'm going to signal X to come over. X rushes over. Mm. So when you tell Richard that this is a bad place, he goes, I know Frederick. Then why are you here? I can't leave. Why can't you leave? I know this place my life. This place was meant Is to he be a, a pile. Yeah. He's a paladin? Yeah. Well, I'm okay. I'm gonna say to him, you've been sitting here in this unholy field for this long. how long has it been like this it smells unholy <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was just the geckos <laughs> <laughs> it's, this place was meant to be a pile of rubble it's been like this for at least three years now Hey, Frederick, does this gecko smell unholy to you? Um, is there, I can't uh, see the straight face. Does it smell um, my gecko? I don't, I don't know if I can specifically <laughs> pinpoint a location. No. Oh, no, it is you know the location. Where is the unholy fiend? I told you, it's surrounding you. Um, so now I... all you feel like it's coming from, like, these general directions. Can I... <laughs> She's Can cool. I grab the true seeing scroll and use it, please? But is there a person that is unholy? Like a fiend? If there's a person that's a fiend, I would know where that person is. I pointed at them. What do you mean? You what if it's at? all the trees? Wait they're a just... second, was it this one? They're just what? It's there's more a... than one. So there's multiple. Which ones are they? I'm assuming this person and this person. Yes. This person, and you know what? She's not that great either. What? So they're all fiends. Yep. I also had to search up if Tiefling we walked straight into a fucking trap. Thank God I used divine sense. I mean, I they've didn't. got they've got <laughs> like fiendish <laughs> ancestry, <laughs> but they're not like outright evil. <laughs> well, I, I think 
tieflings have like fiendish ancestry, but they're not necessarily like yeah, they're not evil. they're not considered fiends themselves, so I wouldn't show up on the thing. That's what I was worried about. Am I gonna like get detected as a fiend? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no, you're a good guy. You're good. Can I grab my true seeing and use Can? that? Yeah. Please. May I get a reminder as to what that does? Uh, because like the main reason why I did it, uh, is because it sees through polymorph. Oh, that'll be useful. Okay, it lasts for one hour. Uh, the touch to see things as they actually are has true okay. sight, notices secret doors, and can see into the ethereal plane. Okay, uh, out to a range of 120 feet. Okay. So, Wait. secret doors, uh, anyone that's polymorphed, and... The secret doors that you can see. Right, you still have to look at. Yeah, I can see, no, I notice secret doors. Uh, I can see yep. into the ethereal plane, whatever that means. It means you see ghosts. You uh, see dead people. Oh, I'm gonna... Oh, this place is gonna be a mess. Oh, also, no. Orphan's <laughs> gonna burn even brighter. Are you sure you're ready for that? <laughs> All up to a range of off the board. Yep. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's buildings in the way after that cutoff. Corner. Yeah. So you'll see till that building. Yeah. I'm just gonna ask the uh, other paladin. Uh, Dick was his name. <laughs> yes. Richard, yeah. Richard, good old Richard. Yeah. Richard gonna, Dick. I'm gonna ask him. Why are you still here? You know, there's an unholy presence. What is the purpose? I told you, I owe this place my life. So, Zero, you doing that thing? Yeah, I'm doing the true sand. All right. You will see a zombified corpse clad in the paladin armor in front of you. Oh. <coughs> fuck's sake. He's not attacking, but he is dead. Wait, so I... Hold, no, 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 hold on. If he was dead, then tr Divine Sense would have told me that. Because I sense undead creatures as well. Yeah, That's true. And I told you so everything was all around you. Yes, but it tells me location of the exact person. Ah, yes, then you know he's undead. Fuck! <laughs> uh, can I also look at the gecko? It's just a gecko. It is the I'm gonna look closer okay. at him and like squint my eyes and say, "Is there anything else you want to look at?" Uh, into the town square area, whatever I can see in this sort of area. You just see thousands of ghosts just yeah. looming. So the lizard has no relation. It is just a lizard. Yep. It's just one of those okay. weirdo lizards. But there may be someone through. else you want to look at. What about, like, in this sort of area? Off uh, the lights. I'm gonna not... catch X up as well. Like, this place is on hold. Oh, and right. I'm gonna point to the <laughs> X, like, I'm ready say, for this. That guy is dead. <laughs> Huh. And then I'm gonna look over at him and ask him, how did you die? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's dead? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's dead? I appreciate you saying that. They, I don't know who, but someone came and burned most of us in black flames. <laughs> who brought you back? the same person I'm gonna back Necromancy? away and say so you're working for them I have to protect this place oh. I don't know why I'm gonna clench my fists and just if someone was going to beat me, it would certainly be you now, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm going to say one last thing. Friend or foe. We have to 
to fight him. Kill me, Frederick. I don't want to live like this. Oh, so big. Is he going to put up a oh. fight? Of course he's going to put up a fight. He's just not in the fight. You know what I mean? He's going to fight, but he wants to not be alive. His heart's not in it. His heart's not in it. Thank you, Blair. I yes, it's... It. I will engage in combat for the last time. I I'm going to go, like, back I don't know if he's going to last time. Thing is, would he still be forced to fight if the place he's fighting for doesn't exist? <laughs> he's undead. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. He's undead. I'm just, uh... gonna go. you want huh? me to burn he's undead. Where's he gonna go? Purple fire. Well, you know, maybe there's a place back. for undead to vibe. Maybe he could come back to <laughs> our place. I don't fucking hey, know. I mean, just hey, be unholy, but... wait. Wait, do now. I have turn undead? I've got turn undead. <laughs> Why do you have turn undead? Cleric, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you mean necromancer. Anyway. <laughs> no, as a, as a... Which one's as, turn undead again? Uh, as an action, you present your holy symbol and speak a prayer, censoring, censuring the undead. Uh, each undead that can see or hear you within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw. If it fails, uh, it is turned for a minute or until it takes damage. Wait, what do you mean turn though? Like it joins so it, it, it Like immediately it's, turns it's around friendly. and gets away from it's you. It's friendly for a minute until it takes damage. <laughs> well, that's that's already what he's got on him. He's and he's already friendly towards you. Then move to a space of infinity. Well, feet friendly towards her, her, but not hey. towards us. So if he, if. If he is, um, if the spell is used on him, mm -hmm. uh, then he oh, could tell us information because now he's friendly towards us, but not towards them. What it actually means, uh, a turned creature must spend its turns trying to move as far away from you as it can. So you scare him. Yeah, I basically okay, so you just, inflict fear. Okay. I was I was hoping it would be hey, what if you just like didn't <laughs> attack for a bit? It's, it's turn around, not turn coat. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's, Turn just, and run. You have command, don't you? I do have command. <laughs> you could tell him to command. What? The cleric has command? That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell you what uh, to do. <laughs> you have two options. You tell us what we need, or we fight. There are places you could go. And you don't have to necessarily die. But if that's what you want, I can give that to you. But we can't fix what happens unless you don't unless you tell me what happened and how to fix oh, it. Um the problem with command, it doesn't work with on the undead. Where <laughs> <laughs> jerk face it turns out I can't work on them. Command, bitch! I don't listen to you. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that's that's essentially what that turned into. <laughs> There's no point in living without her, Frederick. Who's gonna tell him? He died. Who is her? The one who gifted me the hammer. <laughs> But I'm now sorry. you have it back. You have something of her back. And I wish to die with it. Do you wish to go out in battle or give yourself a warrior's end? I just want to die, Frederick. Will you tell me information first before I take your life? Tell you what I can. And tell me what you know. Like I said, whoever that thing was, they weren't human. They. And 
they came to Hysteros after who knows how long. It's hard to tell time like this, but they don't. They have a real problem with people here and why am I forgetting the name? Is this in character saying forgetting the name or it's me. Okay. It's me. I'm the idiot. It was in fact me all along. And I'm gonna say to Ez, oh yeah, we're raising it. We're raising it. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> oh, this is. Oh, this we're is, gonna kill it. <laughs> this is just to Boy, to Orphan to get them oh, on okay. board. Like I'm whispering to Orphan out of earshot in case whatever <laughs> is controlling him can hear through his ears. Yeah, no. He says they got a real problem with Scoiler. I don't know what. I don't know why. They just talk about raising this continent below the sea level. That's bad. Cthulhu? <laughs> Cthulhu, get out of here. I'm You're not a TNT creature. I'm just going to look at him and go, Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Okay. Yeah, that's bad. 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 And then ask him, Is that all you know? I know the name behind the one all behind all this. Please do tell. Let me see where I wrote it down. He's like patting down his armor. Yeah, crab. <laughs> I just now saw the doodle. Yeah, crab. Crab, Carlos. <laughs> Big boy. His name is Izanagi. Izanagi's, Izanagi's burden. Like... Does he so... see home edge? <laughs> <laughs> There's a sniper guy. rifle called in, uh, there's a sniper rifle in Destiny called Izanagi's Burden. <laughs> I was going off of uh Persona Izanagi. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh you should you should follow some of those uh lines. <laughs> also I love the crap. <laughs> Zero. Hmm? So when you back away from Richard Frederick and them. You look at Carlos. He's the one you're looking for. What? The crabs? <laughs> the crabs were the, the crab Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> we lost one? No. And then the other one went into the water. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna look at the mercenary and then look at Ez to look at the the crowd. <laughs> Is there a hill? <laughs> what what like, are you you're like, it's the it's the geckos. That's the only thing in pairs nope, of three. Nope, it's the only ordinary thing. <laughs> was so close. I knew it was some kind of polymorph. I just didn't know what. And it was the fucking crab. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, they got cursed to be crabs. Uh, the other one died. And the other one oh, ran away. Probably retrieve the body you can if the find corpse the other is gone. Because I mean, it was, I got it was digested it was immediately. It was swallowed in the toad. Okay, so we crunched. rip it open. No, 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 no. It was crunched. Yeah. Well, there's <laughs> some remains. Never said it was pretty. <laughs> but you got Carlos now, so everything's I'm, I'm great. Look over at him. What were the three names, uh, Robin? Sorry, I was not. I think Jebediah was one of them. And <laughs> Robin had the existential crisis, just had to step away. Robin. 
What were the three we names? Had... <laughs> Hang on. Cletus, Clarence, and Jebediah. I'm gonna look over to the crab and go, Cletus! Wait for a reaction. <laughs> Clarence! Why are you shouting names at the crab? He starts to fuck. <laughs> this Ariel, what is it are you seeing that I'm not? Well, it's because Cl uh, uh, what is it? It's the closest thing to Carlos, so. <laughs> And I'm gonna Clarence. look and go. Clarence and Carlos. Which one died then? Was it Cletus? Nothing. Jebediah. He starts pinching. Oh no. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna just gonna go. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, you're such a great pet. <laughs> Both of them. I'm, I'm you... just gonna look at him like, like it was like, do you like being a crab? <laughs> he he kind of shrugs. He goes. <laughs> I'm oh, gonna um... give him the trident because clearly he knows how to use weapons. Yep, he is proficient. <laughs> That's I'm gonna give funny. him the trident. I'm gonna give him the trident. He That's takes like... it. He starts pinching with the other hand. A crab wielding go, a trident. <laughs> God damn it. No wonder he fucking ran away, because they were polymorph! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I could still bring some surprises to the oh, <laughs> uh, is there real That's why I was like, hey, it's zero. Like, oh, is there anyone else you want to look at with polymorph? No. Um... Ethereal's gonna turn to Orphan. Cause I bear in mind, I'm still seeing all of these fucking ghosts. I'm freaked out oh, beyond I'm compare. Talking. And I'm yeah, visibly no, concerned. Like, I'm you said you looked over here, you saw more town. ghosts that way too. Yeah, that's that's just ghosts everywhere. Just like Orphan, do you remember why we came to Hysteros? Do you remember those free mercenaries we we, we needed to look for? Yes. Carlos is one of them. The crab? <laughs> the very same! You! You are a mercenary! I just start point pointing at the crab like, like you! Carlos starts crab raving with the trident. <laughs> Do I see Christ. like. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask him real quick. Um, Eggs! I'm gonna ask him, <laughs> Clarence or Carlos, which you like more. <laughs> he kind of shrugs again. He goes, he Left looks. hand for Clarence, right hand for Carlos. <laughs> I he don't he think looks at the right hand with the trident in it and just waves the trident. Aww. Carlos it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, with my true seeing, do I see like anything behind the other members of the party? Because bear in mind, I am looking sort of in this cone. See right. if goes. But I get to see what Orphan actually looks like. <laughs> yeah. Ortham just looks like a white guy who's covered in shadows. <laughs> <laughs> Combination of spirit and shadow, baby. Right. I'm going to yeah. tell everyone to move away from the area. There you go. Roll me a religion check. Oops. Zero. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you look at Frederick, you see a shadow of um, gladiator armor just like hovering behind him. Oh. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Hi, Ares. How are you? <laughs> Only I see this, bear in mind. I know, yeah. but I'm still just but, like, hey, how's it going? Am I dead too? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When, when you look at Orthum, you'll see a... a green spirit behind them. That, we uh... Dance? Sure. <laughs> and, uh... She see uh, like you could tell it's like a womanly figure. With wait, am I seeing the people that we 
respond to. Ares, whoever Orphan speaks to. And why do you think I said, oh, hello, Ares? Yeah. <laughs> Am I about to see what Mimi looks like? <laughs> well, you don't know if that's no. who they follow. Yeah, that's true. I don't know who they follow. It's not who they follow, it's who they follow. Huh? Uh -huh. What kind of weird <laughs> stuff is this? And what if it's not related to religion? Then you wouldn't be able to see. Mm -hmm. So, you look at X, the biggest mystery of the group, <laughs> and you see a tall man clad in red, like a red toga. Black hair, slicked back as he's just looking around at all the other ghosts. Mm. His eyes dart to you. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Ariel, so your, your eyes are going as wide as saucers. You're freaking me out of my dead! And he starts to walk towards you. Where are you and looking? He in close and he goes, See the dead, can you? With a, a shallow breath, um, Aziru's going to take one step back and just, at the moment, yes. This place looks almost like hell. <laughs> That's usually where I end up sending most of my victims, though. This place was once a great kingdom. I wish to see it return to such a state. And you wish to burn it to the ground to do such a thing. Zeriel, who are you talking it is... to? It is the, the best <laughs> solution that I can come up with right now. Then this maybe place... the best solution is to burn it down and leave it where it lies. I will not let my hometown fall to ruin once more. I will rebuild this place. Wait, why do you want me to burn it then? <laughs> who are you talking to? Like I'm getting some mixed signals here. First, Let, burn it down. Now it's, I don't want to burn it down. <laughs> Arashi, read through the last thing that I sent. I know, but Ortham ignored that. <laughs> Great. No, is there a town wizard? Everybody, let's go. <laughs> Ezreal is ignoring everything. Like, can't even hear Orphum. Orphum just sounds like the Charlie Brown special. <laughs> Basically. I mean, when you're faced with this shit, I would believe that you are just, like, zoning everything out. Like, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> I would do everything to restore how Hysteros once was. If I need to burn this place to the ground to make that happen at a future time, then so be it. <laughs> Listen, I don't know who you are, and I don't know why you're behind my friend. And don't you dare call me a kid. Sometimes dead is better. <laughs> Remember that. As he turns around, you see the Blade of Olympus on his back. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, is this still in the bag? I know nothing. <laughs> you know nothing. That's I don't crazy. know anything, but I wonder. And he just goes back, standing behind X, and just folds his arm, looking around before fading you know, away. all about being dead and being better, wouldn't you? Cursed blade. That's gonna be like my Lord. final words to him before he disappears. Is <laughs> And I'll just be poking at her shoulder. Serial. May not be the I'm best still... time to be poking her. <laughs> I'm still with the other dude, so yep. I didn't see any of this. <laughs> nope. Um, You're too I focused on the to corpse talk... in front of you. Would I be yep. able to talk to the other spirits? <laughs> They left when uh, the... Ah, uh, they left with the other guy? Shame. Yep. Ares left with that dude? I mean, like, they all, like... Zero stopped being able to see them. It, it, hold, hold on. It's I a thought for an Listen, hour. 
they still have true sight. Oh, but so Ethereal okay. can't okay. see them. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, cool. back to I... back to dickhead, <laughs> dickhead big fucking... zombie pants. I just fucking berated the guy who cursed the sword of Olympus. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> You've got guts. Very in character. Turns around, shows the sword of Olympus. <gasps> you can call me whatever you want. Oh, you. you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just tell the uh, tell Richard. the dude, um, yeah. you did your work. I am afraid to say though, this town is probably going up in flames for a second time. There's nothing holy about this. Do as you must. Just kill me before you attack the town, so I don't have to fight you. And thus, I would like to take my uh, karambit. And I mean, karambit wouldn't really work. How do you kill an undead? Slitting the throat doesn't work. <laughs> Blunt damage. Destroying the brain. Blunt damage. Blunt Cut it into damage. a million pieces and send right. them scattered in like various. Or areas. turning them to ash. Ask There's for plenty of ways. Ask for the hammer back, real quick. <laughs> Nah, well, actually, that's a good point. You'll have your Warhammer. <laughs> yeah, that's also true. I do still have Warhammer, but I was going to ask him, like, would you like to go buy your own weapon or buy mine? Yours. I need to be holding this one. <laughs> Am I within your shot? And then I'm going to ask him, lay on the ground for me, would you? So... As he starts to kneel, you'll hear like bones crunching in his knees. Fuck that. And the best he can do is like just, uh, he's just basically resting on his knees with his head and his hands lowered. Is he prone? For the sake of argument, yes, but for the stature, no. I was just saying, like, just so I could get advantage. So yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you got it. I'm gonna ask him one last thing being is there something I could take to remember you by carry with me and battles to come it was your axe or your pick I just need to die with it in my hands so I can see them again as you wish I will raise my warhammer and swing it right for the side of his head. Roll. Please don't embarrass me, Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't embarrass me, Warhammer. Yeah, this I mean, is your like you're using it to hand with as it, well. Isn't it? What uh, was that? I don't think I've ever actually seen you use your warhammer. He nope. used it against X in the Mindscape. So yeah. no, you haven't. Uh, okay. Two-handed strike. Oh. oh. Does that hit? Yeah, it hits. Roll the damage. And he's also not moving. <laughs> so, which way did you swing? He is facing you. Um, I'm going to say coming from the left so it knocks him away from the door like from the entrance of the uh okay. his head comes clean off and just sw strikes or swings or fucking swishes past Orthams oh nasty <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll put a hand as his body on... just slumps over and falls to the ground I'll put a hand on his lifeless shoulder and say you did well. Yeah. And then, as you wanted, I will... Good call. Back. Good call swinging away from the town. Yep. I don't want them to see that I just literally killed someone. 
Well, he was already dead, so... <laughs> I just murdered a corpse. <laughs> See, nothing happened. <laughs> I'll, uh, drag the body, hide it behind the wall so they can't see it if they just happen to look over at the door. So, like, right here-ish? Yeah. Okay. Shouldn't mm -hmm. we bury that? He's Not already undead. <laughs> But still, we don't it layering on the floor. I mean, it'll decompose, well, I mean, if, but if they'll he's see it. Burn. Uh, what kind of armor you got? <laughs> it's it's not better than yours. <laughs> you got anything else on him? You know, it's so weird that it's not the rogue, but the paladin <laughs> grave robber. <laughs> no, he's he's already well. dead, and dude, he's gonna go up and fucking fire. That shit get left. I was gonna go up and bury them at a. I mean, we can sell stuff. We can take whatever you we can be naked. He's not using anything. What you say, Take the armor, throw it in the hole. We'll sell it later. In the hole. I mean, at that point, I could just toss the whole body in and take care of it later. Uh, I would not recommend it. This is unholy, and that is one mess to clean up inside the hole. Very Do fair. Do not put dead things in your hole. <laughs> <laughs> Lessons to live by in life. Who says D&D uh, so doesn't does teach us anything? What does he have on him? He's got a gold purse. Ooh, how much gold? Filled gold with... Gold. Filled with... Five gold pieces. A five gold to the number. Um... Okay. As you get close, you get hit with that wrench, wretched stench of corpse. Decayed corpse. I use press digitation. I freshen it up. Ugh, I do too. Freshen it up. Just give it a nice little... Yep. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> I'm gonna look back Ugh. and say thank you. <laughs> and continue. I appreciate Thumbs that. Up. I appreciate that. Uh, he had a s club on him. Okay. Just a regular club. Just. I'm gonna give it to X to put in the hole. I'll hole. be putting everything in the hole. Uh, the the hole. gold's going on me. <laughs> I mean, we can, we can now, split that. I, I could use some money. Are listen, you kidding me? Listen, I have, I'm broke. Listen, there's a troll for the fault. holes. I'll, I'll say to X, we'll split it when we get out of the dangerous situation, but we're splitting it between you and me because I'm just storing my stuff in your hole. Think of it as like a, a tax to use it. the hole. <laughs> I mean, hey, I you guys Fred come thumbs to up. <laughs> He does have a shield. I mean, I could Put make a shield in the hole. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a wooden buckler, though. So okay, that's still so a, a little more like a light shield. Yeah, it's a light shield, so it's plus one instead of plus two. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I could take that, attach it to like the shoulder. That way, mm -hmm. I might still be able to use my scythe a little bit. Okay, it's all yours then. And he just does. like attach it to the scythe, like Legend of Zelda. Duh. Duh. I mean, you probably could. Forehead. <laughs> no, that's probably a thing. You, I might have to see if Sirius can do that. I don't yeah. see why not. Yeah. Just fuse it to the scythe. So when you're holding it, you can just put it to the side and block. Yeah. Sirius, I got this. I got this. <laughs> I got this shield, and I got this scythe. Can we fuse them into a shield scythe? <laughs> I got a shield. I got a scythe. Oh, I got shield scythe. Shield scythe. <laughs> <laughs> and he does have a ring on him. Oh, oh what kind of ring? A wedding ring. Leave F that mine on now. Him. Leave that. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Wow. <laughs> I'm the one looting the body. <laughs> Bro. First his I'm life the and then his body. marriage. First of all. Oh my god, my I was not ready for that. So, uh, <laughs> uh, shame my I have to ask Nano. Uh, <laughs> is the ring diamond? <laughs> yeah, it's a diamond ring. I'm taking it. I have to. Oh, you <laughs> Do you only want the diamond though? <laughs> or do you only want the ring? I mean I want the whole thing to see what I can do with it. <laughs> I don't want to break it. <laughs> I'll just put that one in my uh, coin purse. Just don't You're even. Probably the most responsible with money anyway. 
Yeah. Zero spent it on a hat. And making us all um mercenaries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna turn out great for Orthum. Uh yeah. what kind of armor did he have? Just uh padded armor. Padded? Well, still got out. value to it. In the hole. <laughs> In the what hole. That? That's light armor. Uh, are you writing this stuff down, Blair? Yeah, I got the club and the padded armor, because I assume okay. you're taking the ring and then yeah. uh mm -hmm. As is taking the shield. Yeah. Anything else? That's all they had. Okay. I'm and you also get them. the uh, five gold. Yep, and I'll give you two of it as a uh, tax. Yeah. <laughs> the whole toll. The whole toll? <laughs> yep. And can I just say, like, does this give me permanent access to the hole or just temporary? <laughs> it's only whenever I put it down. Need to ask permission for the whole. But it's right, too but, but, gold. Come on, listen, that's a lot of gold. Frederick's saying, is the tax like, is it like a monthly subscription kind of deal, or is it like I paid it in whole for the? Uh... <laughs> you paid it in whole. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Player, I just saw your drawing. Thank you. What the? Oh the. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see if you incur any uh, future fees. A business, uh, businessman. I understand it. <laughs> Gotta I make respect money the game. somehow. <laughs> and I did not have any money. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk away. I'm gonna look at the town, look at uh, Ortham, and say Firebolt. <laughs> Operation <laughs> Scorched Earth, baby. Wait, Ortham, he, I, light wait. it up. Uh, I'm. I'm so confused. <laughs> if you won't do it, I will. <laughs> I mean, Is I this can place just torch truly the evil? place. Yes. <laughs> Certainly yes, not nice. God, yes. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Wasn't the beggar one of the evil people that uh, Frederick yep. detected? Okay. Yep. So all of them were you? Okay. <laughs> yep. The beggar was a fiend. <laughs> Play. I don't think fire will do it, but I'll try. You see, we light it, then we run like hell. <laughs> I don't think that'll solve the problem. Is that a way I Then can, we like, run like hell first, then you shoot it with fire, fire far away. <laughs> can I, like, bless the fire in some way? You do have sacred fire. Yeah, I've got sacred flame, but. Like, yeah, are you that trying won't to set things on fire. Effect? Yeah. Because then we can burn the place to the ground and attempt to rid it of any evil. I respect you. Yeah, the game. sacred flame is radiant, so. Everyone, hmm. you need to move away, get distance. Oh, I hate this music. <laughs> Ooh. And I'm gonna it's look over. We're about to commit mass arson! <laughs> Who cares? This place is bad anyway. It needs to fucking go. <laughs> Who cares? Nobody like this place anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna look over at X and uh, say, "You're the ranger here. Got any spots that we can hide?" I mean, there is the. Uh, There's this the nice spotlight tree. I, was, over I mean, I found there. over there. It's probably the most sheltered area around here, at least for a little bit. Is it safe? <laughs> Ah, uh, that's a little arguable. I did happen to come across a couple of traps while I was there. Then no dice. Uh, I mean, all I have to do is be a little bit careful. Or disarm so here's them? Here's the question I have. If uh, as infuses sacred power into Firebolt by using sacred flame, does it still have the range of 120 feet? Um, it would, uh, it would be radiant for 60 and then fire for 120, I guess. Yes. Or, like, You've got to be within for... 60 feet still. Yeah. Okay. I um, mean, I do have oil and arrows and uh, some long distance shooting. I do have a sacred far? flame. Uh, how far can I shoot? <laughs> I think you got the 120. 
It's not about how far you can shoot. It's can you hit your shot? I know. Ooh. I mean, it's an entire town. I think it's a little hard to miss. <laughs> inside of a bar, you're inside oh, I of see. It. You just have have the arrow plink in the middle of the street where there's nothing flammable. Mm -hmm. That's what oil is for. This is what we're doing now. We're committing arson. We're fucking running. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, we could sprinkle some, like, oil around the perimeter and then set it on fire. You sound like you've done this multiple times in the past. We won't talk about it. Anyway. Oh, this no, be... I've just uh, dealt with my fair share of fires. This would be radiant. And radiant is effective be... towards fiends and undead, so worth. I was That's considering it. using Listen. Divine Smite when I Zero. smashed the dude's head off. <laughs> All you have to do is get the fire started. It'll keep the radiant yeah. when you leave, um, but you have to be close enough for the radiant to bless the flame. I can't believe I'm doing this, and I immediately... I can't believe it's not butter. I'm about to launch grease over the wall! Oh. A stick I of butter! Wouldn't. The moment we, don't we do over anything, the wall, then they're gonna know. Yeah, the moment we do anything, they're gonna know. So we just want to set it on fire now. We want to hit the door. That's what we Hold want. Because if we hit the door, then they have to walk through it to escape. But are well, there case, any we other probably entrances? Probably cover the front and the back. Wait, there's a, there's a back. I mean, X is the only one that knows this information. Is there a back? There is a back. I happened to see it while I was walking around earlier. Maybe... That's why are you checking out back doors? Maybe you should cover one of them in oil. Have that shot with flaming arrow or whatever fire we have. And cover the other one in maybe grease. So if we and sprinkle oil across the I don't think it'll work effectively, though, because of how the walls are. What, made of flammable material? Mm. <laughs> it takes a lot of fire to make a wood burn. Of this size. Doesn't take a lot of oil, though. Then cast firebolts, 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 firebolts. There you go. There's a cantrip. Yeah, we're, we're both using cantrips. We can keep casting. Just keep, just, just... Just Vegeta this thing, just <laughs> down. Please move away from the door. Blast being sacred flame and firebolt. Like, I don't see what the problem is. <laughs> Frederick, move <laughs> from the gates. Listen, now. listen, I know you're having second thoughts about what we're thinking of doing. And believe me, it it hurts. Is there not a to... single good soul in there? No. Frederick? Actually, no. <laughs> now you have it. Uh, now. I've never committed mass murder. Or arson! Not done at all bad things. <laughs> it's the first <laughs> time for everything. Get out of here. Orphan, look at me. What? I I'm need you to trust now. me. And with that, I'm just gonna like snap my fingers and have the sacred flame. Wait. Ready. Uh, let me cover it in grease first. All right. Where are you putting? I the get my oil then, flasks ready too. I'm gonna say to X, you and me, round the back. I give a thumbs up, and I assume I'm... we head off. Yep. And Carlos, and a taco. See more stays with them though. Uh, let me well? ten foot. Wait, do we want the lizard? Wait! The lizard down here! Lizard, so you'd have to do something to make it be able to understand you. Uh, is the only thing with it. What are you doing? It's just staring off into the distance! And I pick up the lizard and put it, put it in he my He slowly own pull, pull, puts his tongue out and then just draws it back. <laughs> just being a dumb lizard. <laughs> Does yeah. he just like start cleaning his eye with his tongue? Yeah. <laughs> just, just a moment of, of levity during the situation. The lizard. Oh. 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 <laughs> I miss my gecko now. 
Aw, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. But hey, he's right there! Yeah. Because he's I'm, just a normal gecko. Gonna call I'm, him crackers. I'm gonna center yeah. the, the grease on the gate and try to make sure that less of it ends up on the other side so they can't see what we're doing. Oh yeah, because doesn't it, it takes up like a massive amount of space, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. range 60 feet, 10 foot square. It do be big range. <laughs> 10 foot square. Frederick, please move. I, we're already gone. Yeah, yeah, they went. You're still there. I just... Well, I mean, we uh, can't really get screen. to the back. They're off screen. They're moving. Yeah, just Seymour, assume we're off screen because I can't really move my character. Yeah. They're off screen. X, please right. take care of the other entrance. Ah, uh, too far my away. Oh, X is like, I'm always best going in the back door anyway. <laughs> <laughs> It's good to put someone that is armored and someone that is not armored together. True. Exactly. And also someone people that can heal and not heal together. Yeah. You take the physical hits, I'll hit from afar. Both Maybe. teams have a high or a decent AC as well as a healer, so. I'm just good. both of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just... yeah, so am I. I have lay on hands and Yeah, moves. that's true. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I don't think X has healing. I don't have healing, no. Yeah, I don't think so. All My right. body is a healing source. I have land. <laughs> All right, we're off. Yeah. Draw your square. Um, uh, I need. You don't know how? There's a there's a paintbrush tool on the side. E. And then select oh, square, and then just make sure. Bring compasses. Sixty foot is fucking huge. Though. It's yeah. grease. Yeah. It, it says ten foot. Where? Oh, it's a 10 foot square? Yeah, the range is 60 feet. Oh, okay. Oh. Wait a so second. what would that look like instead? <laughs> a 10 foot square is going to be a uh, 2 by 2 tile. I need to measure distance. That? Yeah, Wait. just about. Oh, uh, then you should be fine, Arashi. Just put it in the middle there. Yeah, I'm just getting myself away. Well, if I snap to corner. There we go. Okay. Good enough. Yep. All right, it's gonna be centered on the gate. Gotcha. Throw your shape. So, are you gonna cast them as cantrips, or are you gonna cast them as higher level spells? I don't actually know what they do at higher level, to be honest. Uh, I know just more damage. More dice damage, yeah. But you can't do it as much high to higher level. And you better like you can, spamming cantrip like you, them. Like, you still have the cantrips, but if you do it at a higher level, you get it for that higher level until you run out of those higher levels, then the rest are just cantrips after that. Yeah, so basically you can choose to cast Fireball as a second level spell. It will just take a second level spell slot, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, okay. But you can continue to cast the cantrip at cantrip level or first hey, level. Yep. Fun fact, Sacred yep. Flame cannot be cast at a higher level. Yeah, I'm talking it, about fireball. it gets no bonuses. Yeah, I'm talking about fireball. Too. Yeah, I know, I know, but like for both of them, which are cantrips, like yeah. casting sacred flame at any other level does nothing. Um, you get I, fuck nerd. <laughs> I just see damage upgrades when I like reach a certain level. Yeah, so do I. The sacred flame. Can I like when we light the back one? Mm. Can I throw? Or does smite only work on melee objects? I think like it's like, fuck. I don't have any way to do radiant damage. I mean, fire's pretty holy. You know, hellfire! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I guess fire is very good at quelling anything. <laughs> yeah. If you're not, if it's I mean, not, and you're not using enough. That's how you make holy water. You just boil the hell out of it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, or I could use divine favor. <laughs> And throw a rock because that's considered an improvised weapon at that point. And divine favor is um your weapon hits deal an extra one d four radiant. <laughs> so I could technically just toss a rock into the fire and <laughs> give it radiant yeah, that way. I respect I respect the gangster. The you know ten, what? You do that. 
it's the 10 by 10 square, right? Uh, yeah, uh, so it would if lure. it's a 10 foot square, it's 2 by 2 square. Yeah. Because yeah. a square is 5 feet. Yeah, so like that, that uh, Robin just did. Yeah, yeah. There. All of us are like a shade of purple, so it's going to be blue. <laughs> I got a red. I like red. Purple to me. I like red. Red's nice. Okay. All right. So the grease has been placed. Um... Are you ready to commit murder, kids? <laughs> where's... Aye, 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 cat. <laughs> Wait. Where's the other entrance? <laughs> it's off screen. It's off We're already car. going to it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, guess so, uh, I think they're going to deal with that. Too. We just want this one at the moment. Yep. Wait, okay. couldn't I just shoot the arrow so then I could bless the arrow? Yeah. Yeah. We could shoot it together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hold the, or you hold the bow, I pull the string back. Yeah, no. there you go. <laughs> yeah, you pull the string back, but you also hold the bow, like you hold your arm out for X to put the bow on. How about just like X puts, uh, or I put my hands over X's, so um, yeah. X still guides it's the, the friendship bow, but I just pull it back. I mean, yeah, that works. Can we do friendship that so person, that yeah. Just... Or you could just Fuck throw, yeah. or you could just throw the oil and then use that as an improvised weapon. Yeah, but then it'll light immediately. Yeah, you're right. But and you're like right. the thing you're, is, yeah. it it's radiant, so it's not inherently fire. The right, thing is, right. we're blessing the fire with radiance. The fire has to be there when the radiant takes effect at the same mm -hmm. time, or yeah, else it just doesn't become radiant. You're right. Um, Are you ready for Operation <laughs> Mass Murder? Oh. Hell yeah! I can't believe this is happening. You uh, should. May these sinners drown in holy fire. And I'm gonna cast Sacred Flame right here. And is, Fred and is Frederick's, is Frederick's uh, holy uh, sighting? Give fuck, nerds! <laughs> Jake Lee raised my finger and... I no, I would go this. by the holy flame of Manasia and <laughs> fire the arrow. Alright, <laughs> respect. Go ahead, Orphan. Inhale. Exhale. People of revolution, baby! <laughs> Cast it. Fireball. That doesn't even mean that hasn't happened in this era yet. <laughs> <laughs> revolution, I like that word. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I could cast fireball to that. Alright. And now we run. <laughs> nope, you roll and then you roll damage. Oh shit, yeah. Well, you just roll the damage. You get the thing up so you can click the damage button. Uh, Same thing. Need to roll damage give me a second. I mean, I just don't need to roll. Mine just, hey, you see that? Oh, the yeah, damage cool. number just to see how intense the fire is. Yeah. Okay. Very. Oh my god. <laughs> Very. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. <laughs> my goodness. She going ham. <laughs> yeah, so that tree that was, you know, over the gate just immediately is singed. <laughs> okay. Purple flame. And, yeah, purple flame. Yes. And as as it lights up, Zero, you're looking around and all the ghosts suddenly shift their heads directly at you. Both of them. What? It's time to go. It's their jaws come unhinged. <laughs> it is time to leave right their, now. Their jaws come unhinged as everyone can and hear the ghastly unholy wailing of souls burning in fire <laughs> Run. I, I mean everybody can hear that Ortham can oh, hear it oh, X can hear it oh, Frederick God. can hear just... it <laughs> all right are we lighting the fire at the same time as them or after they lit the fire I, I'd assume like roughly same time. I don't know what the plan is. Yeah, I'd was. assume same time. I I would say same time, so they have no time to escape. Yeah. Yeah. Like the moment you see that fire go up, it's 
Oof. It's go time. Yep. Or if you hear Ezreal, like, be cringe. Crying. Because <laughs> I had to do the thematic, or uh, the vocal uh, thing for the Sacred Flame. Yeah. I do kind of want to roleplay the grabbing the bow and saying, like, I got this. Hey, go <laughs> for it. No one's stopping say, you. say this is all at the same time, then. Yeah, no one's stopping all right. you. It's all at the same time. So, Orthum and Ezreal let their uh, spells go. <laughs> oh, Time to be cranked this. with friends. Get my bow ready. Everyone's favorite D and D time. Cringe with I'm friends. I'm gonna uh, ask X: Is the oil on the ground in front of the door? Yep. And I'm gonna say, "Let me pull with you, and I can pull imbue with the arrow right. with a radiant flame." <laughs> Not now. <laughs> what are you doing? Guiding her hand like some sappy romance movie? It like sounds rats. like that's the only work. way to imbue it. <laughs> True. I know. He's got to touch the rod to get it going. <laughs> <laughs> I got to uh, whisper it sweet nothings first. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, baby. You got this. That's Just the verbal you. component? Just sweet nothings in X's ears? Divine Favor does have a verbal component, so... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're just flirting with X. <laughs> no, not X. With the arrow. Duh. Yeah, the arrow. Not, not X. <laughs> well, maybe X thinks she'd be flirted with. Who knows? Know. And I'm gonna say, are you ready? Ready when you are. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that... Have, in my personal opinion, I don't think it has advantage because I'm not proficient with bows. <laughs> right. Yeah, but I'm helping you. Yep. That's fair, but I'm you fixing are fixing your aim. With bows. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're the one that's guiding it. I'm the one that's just pulling the string back. So if anything, it just gets a little bit of a damage boost. <laughs> Hell so, yeah. X, you will have advantage from Frederick uh, holding the crossbow a bit more steady than you can hold by yourself. Well, crossbow or short bow? Which one are we going Which for? one are you doing? Which one has better range? I mean, I think they're the same range. I think they're the same range. Probably a short bow, because I have proficiency be... in that. Right. Extra hit chance is always good. Just kidding, it doesn't matter, because we're not yeah. willing to hit. <laughs> what does more damage? Crossbow, we'll go crossbow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, roll the damage. And then Four. I will roll a d4. Yep. Two. All right. It's not as much as the f the fire in the front, but it'll definitely repel some people at the back. Well, that's the point when we catch up with you guys. That's the point when you start running to get to each other. Okay. And that's the point where you start hearing the fucking screeching. <laughs> yes. Sounds like they're not enjoying the heat wave. No, I wouldn't think so, and thank fucking Christ, because that thing needs to go. <laughs> I want each of you to roll a constitution check. All of us? Uh, All of you. Wait, a sa save? you mean con, con saving save? throw? Oh, uh, yeah, con save. Okay. Right. X, you can keep the 18, because yeah. fuck. Oh. oh. Everyone got 18 for Frederick. <laughs> no. Yeah. So Frederick, as you start running and hear this un unholy wail, you like clutch your head as you fall to the ground. And I cast silence. You can when he's already on the ground. Yeah. As a reaction. Can I cast silence as a reaction? He can as a reaction of him falling. He'll still take. All right, you'll hit him as he's hitting the ground, so he'll take five points of psychic damage. Ow. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, can, can I see where uh, the silence is centered? The silence is centered on me. I am using myself as the center. <gasps> it's like poetry. It rhymes. <laughs> Frederick saved Ezreal from a burning town. <laughs> now, 
Ezreal saving Frederick dead. from a psychic mind probe screaming of yelling and of, of a town on fire of the same town. How big she is the silence? She also saved me from fire circle? as well because I was thrown in the fire and she dragged me out of it. Yeah. Rude. <laughs> Like hearing the screams and then immediately seeing uh, Frederick fall, just using silence to create the twenty-foot radius on myself. Okay, thank you. And I'm it's just gonna feet. get back up slowly and uh, thumbs up because I know I no one can hear. Yeah, you still have one ear, uh, one hand covering your ear when you thumbs up, though. Probably because it fucking hurt. Yeah. Yeah, your ears are ringing. <laughs> like you, it's you're in silence, but your ears are ringing. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use uh, lay on hands to fix that. Yeah, it's like, oh, good, I'm not deaf. <laughs> yep, basically, uh, okay. just get rid of the ringing, like the flashbang kind of sound. Pretty what? much, that's what it is. <laughs> you got flashbang by psychic blow. What? What? Psychic what? When I get over there, can I like cast fireball over to the other entrance? Does fireball require yeah. verbal con uh thingy work? Yeah, component? it does. Then but no, I'm gonna be no, outside. I, I purposely step outside the range though. You're like, gonna do another constitution range. save? <laughs> you just saw Frederick get knocked down his ass, and he's the toughest guy you know. What if I just like put my fingers in your ears while you say it? Like I stand within the range. You, you keep your head outside the range. You keep your head in the swivel, but you put your arms out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. oh, wait, that can, can actually that? kind of work, maybe. Well, remember, Ortham doesn't have ears per se. I mean, they're kind of there. <laughs> He's got ear holes, so. Well, can I cover the ear holes? Wait, are you know, signing you... this to me in common or something? I don't know. Does Frederick know sign language? language? I don't know sign language. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all you crazy. all you see is Ortham like trying to step out. Like, no. No, I'm gonna. Can I just like shake my hands? No, and I'm gonna put my hands over my ears and then point at you, and then do the same thing. Like put the hands over the ears. Ortham, how is your charades game? <laughs> I'd say decent. Okay. Are you could roll, 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 yeah, roll like a save or something to see if you understand. Roll well, in. How about just, I got an idea? Uh, uh, I roll performance. Okay. And then and she rolls roll, intelligence. Yeah. Yep. All right, roll performance. Yep. Oh. Uh, yeah, you got it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I... It was a shoddy attempt at charades, but. It was pretty <laughs> shitty, but Ortham's smart. <laughs> I, I, Ortham may be the smartest man you know. <laughs> I just give a thumbs up and I point to my book, my tone. All right, I'm going to get behind him so I'm still in the range. Yeah. But you're covering my and ears. And I can cover his ears. All right. <laughs> We're doing you that. You will get a constitution saving throw with advantage. Ortham. <laughs> okay. I'm scared. You should be. I am. Uh, I just realized there's only been like one, uh, well, one nat twenty again. this whole game, and it's only been from the crab that Wait, lived. That was just a regular roll. I didn't <laughs> no, roll with two. advantage. There was a uh, one that was well, a nature check. Yeah, Orphan got the raspberries. Yeah. I didn't roll with advantage. But roll another, roll another one. one. <laughs> we, we rolled. We rolled twice. Take the bigger one. Uh, uh. Hmm. Well, you still take the higher one. Five. <laughs> yeah. So you are still taking three points of uh, psychic damage. Ow, 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 three. Ow. It's been reduced because he still has the. Uh. My ears I'm covered. I'm just going to use lay on hands while I have my hands on like their lady. ears and <laughs> just heal them through their head. <laughs> the, the side of Ortham's head starts to glow magically. <laughs> I, love that. I simultaneously look relieved and in pain, and so well, I just Orpham cast doesn't it. have the ring because you know that their their head was covered, right? Mm -hmm. Their ears were covered, so they didn't take as much damage, and they do, they're not hit with the flashbang ringing, and they're not going deaf. They just take the psychic damage. Okay. Hey. 
Yeah. That's eight points of land hands gone, but worth. <laughs> Wait, what? oh, so I'm healed back to my max? Yeah, you're yep. back. Okay, yeah, fireball right at the, at the, at the uh, back entrance. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you guys meet up. Okay, where's you the shot your fireball. Uh, roll me the damage, see if we can get that thing up higher. Oh, yeah. Near max. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Max. Oh, yeah. It's, Near max, so, baby. <laughs> so the back entrance went from being the weakest point of exit to the, <laughs> to the strongest. <laughs> the weakest I... fire to the strongest fire. They're both pretty strong fires. Because it's from the points that were already added from... Uh, uh, oh, gotcha. the, from the arrow spark and the the radiant thing that Cosmic did, and then another 12 points. So that was... <laughs> it was like 6, so 18 to... Oh no, that was a 24 in nature check. The most epic sh raspberries you've ever tasted. <laughs> That's right. You did get raspberries. You, Yeah. Yeah. Also, to uh, avoid copyright, I'm going to yeah. call the gauntlet the limitless oh. gauntlet. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I have no limits. Anyway, so, uh, so now all you hear is silence because of the cone. Uh, does the sphere move on you since you cast it on you? I think that's what they're trying to figure out. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to... Within it, a say. On a, it says on a point I choose within range, so if I choose myself as that point... Then I guess that... Yeah, point then you're technically really a mobile really point, oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. I'd say yes. It's what I was, like, sort of hoping for, because I was like, does this Listen, work? Please? I'll say yes, but I will say... If you do play with another DM, they may say no. Yeah. Because yeah, it says one. point and not like object. You know what I mean? Where it's like yeah, you could. There could be like a point on an object. So. Well, yeah, you got to try it. Argument sits, right? <laughs> well, you got to try it. So. <laughs> yeah, I'd say the way it's worded, it can be up to interpretation. Yeah. So, like I said, I say yes, but, you know, some may argue no. Understandably okay. so. Both have value, okay. valid arguments. I'll search it up later. Yeah, that's a later thing. We're, we're worried about that. So I turned off the silence. I turned off the music because of silence. So you don't hear the spooky music anymore. <laughs> Good. And I'm just going to signal we leave. <laughs> yeah. And As you start... Yeah. Old. As you leave, you'll get back to, like, you know, I'm sure the point where you were. The lizard's with when you. When you came in. Yeah, the lizard's with you and sees see, see more and stuff. You will see that the flames that erupted at the front go from a purple to a jet black. Huh. Yep. And we run. And I'm just going to start darting back towards the lake. I, my eyes are as wide as saucers. And I'm like, oh, how did. I, I, questions already racing through my mind. Ezreal's not looking back. She is running. <laughs> I'm, no, no. Ezreal's I'm running like... too. It's just I looked over my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, no, not even that. Any sort of distraction? No, running. <laughs> yeah, we, X is focused uh, on Ortham. escape, too. Hey, Ortham, roll me a dexterity check. Because what do you never do when you're running? Look back. <laughs> roll that. Okay. All right, you good. You didn't do the horror movie cliche where you tripped over nothing. Because <laughs> you looked back. <laughs> I will use my reaction and impose disadvantage on attacks on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm you're... like, I don't know, like holding Azariel's hand or whatever, so I don't trip over myself. No, I don't know. Is Azariel holding your hand? I'm I mean, dreaming. everyone has to be close to Azariel, so it's making sure yeah. everyone is still in that 20-foot range. Alright, everybody, make sure you got your buddies. Buddy system, buddy system. Yeah, I have my up. crab, like, carried in my arms as I fucking sprint. By the way, the second I see that, I'm squeezing your hand to death. A taco is also, like, on the back of your arm, which is, like, clutched on. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. He's vibing. Once we get to the lake, on we my need the... Uh, yeah. X's. Yours. Oh. <laughs> when we get back to the lake, we either need to deal with the Lamia or find the crab. No, I'm telling Carlos, go find your buddy. 
Because I yeah, guarantee but what you if we, they probably What if he spot. gets eaten on the way? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> what if there's a shark in the lake? We you also didn't think don't about that, do with the Lamia. The Lamia was from here. It's okay if things go sour, we can just kill Divine her. Divine sense. Again, we'll find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, but hang how long how long did this debacle all take? Like from me casting true sight to us now running away. Hey. About an hour, maybe. Less than that. About like, an hour? That's like 20, 25 minutes. How long does it take you us to return to the lake? As long as it takes you to return? Not very long. So you guys it, will be back in a time. Week. Time up. About 15 minutes. Okay, so you would still have true sight. Yep. Okay, cool. That's what I was worried about. Hang on, just give me one second, please. Welcome back to the lake. Lake of good vibes. Uh, I'm gonna look at Carlos and say, do you think the crab or uh, the other one would respond by name? He shakes his head no. Fuck. Do you I, think I'm... you know where he is? He shakes his head no. Can I see him with true sight? <laughs> you see Carlos standing there. I mean, I know I see Carlos, but do I see either Jebediah or whatever the other one was? Well, the other one's dead. <laughs> Jebediah is dead. Cletus oh, lived. Cletus lived. That's it. Yeah, he left. He's gone. <laughs> Why does Very... the spelling of Azeriel change every time we type her name? Ooh. The Rashi's spelling of Azeriel. I thought I typed it in right! Uh, apparently not. I get... Let me type it myself! I'm gonna look at him and like, uh, look oh. at Carlos and think, do you think he's alive? So you do hear this from the lake. Wait, what? Or what? Someone who didn't mute the tab might know. Uh, explosion, screaming. Oh, the fire. Fire. You hear the fire. Cool. Uh, yeah, silence would be over if it takes 15 minutes. Yeah. Because it only lasts 10. It took us 15 minutes to leave, thank God. <laughs> mm. Yep. So how was your 45 minutes of hysteria? Uh, <laughs> what would you give us on the travel brochure? <laughs> uh, one how out was of your five. rate there? <laughs> one out of five. Uh, we'll take it's it. It's not like I it remember. I remember coming here as a child, and now it's just gone to ruin. <laughs> Two stars. Great place overrun by hell. Hell. It was a little too warm for my tastes. <laughs> Uh, it and turned awesome. black. <laughs> it turned black, and I'm just hugging the life out of Ezreal. Uh, Ezreal uh, kind of standing there awkwardly as this seven foot guy is hugging the second shortest member of the team, who is only <laughs> a little bit taller than X. Or some just sitting there with tears in his eyes, like the little circles. His eyes turn like giant wide circle he's like what happened <laughs> actual tears just actual legitimate tears falling on your face this is fine <laughs> i need art of carlos with trident <laughs> the ultimate water creature i think it would be cool Poseidon well, quiver I, will, I will commission you for this oh. if you could draw the duos just then like a, a sort of like split oh, panel uh, doing oh, that yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, uh, x and frederick and orthom and, and, and... and as orthom visibly panicking about something <laughs> yeah and then he's like he got himself back together he's like people are resistance baby <laughs> and then immediately back to panicking <laughs> yeah like magic i know magic just close your eyes and pull the trigger no, that's like when it's like back to self uh, uh, at the <laughs> pulling the trigger. But with the second that black flame shows up again and yep. the screams of the dead, uh, yeah. And I think Ortham was the only one who saw the black flames, right? 
Everyone else is too focused on running ahead. I mean, yeah. if Ezreal saw the black flames, everything would come to a stop. I mean, Dad. if I failed a wizard. told me cauldron having an unholy seal. By the way, I need to cleanse that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I it's my guy. dad, you dirty beggar. Fire. Can I um ask for as his help to cleanse that? You're gonna have to give me a minute. Um, you sure you don't? You just... want to do that so close to the? What? I mean, it would be better to do it sooner rather than later. Yeah, sure. So close to the what? To hysteros, I'm guessing. Yeah, hysteros, yeah. How long is it gonna <laughs> take to cleanse? That's a good question. I don't let's know how just, works. I don't play holy that much. Let's just get back to the church. We'll sort it out there. Is there real? Alright, fair enough. Arson, I'm always down for arson. Is there real? Hello. <laughs> um, the purple flames turn black. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go, oh, bring that up. more <laughs> bad news. <laughs> I'm just gonna whisper to myself. Oh, great! Do that bad news. <laughs> cool. I, I see. Then it's a good thing we did what we did. Come, let's get as far away from that place as possible. My flames can turn dead. black. I almost got killed by let's that. Stop talking about it, orphan. I'm... Let's just get back to the church. This isn't let's therapy time. Back. This is running away time. <laughs> Running away to this go to therapy time. Retreat. <laughs> this I... isn't therapy time. It's running away to Orphan, get therapy look time. Look at me. I promise we will talk about it later. Just please, please. I will. Just please. Stop my hand. talking about it. I've got you. You're fine. And now we're both panicking. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> now we're worst. both panicking. Now we're both. Do you think the other one's alive? You should be good, no. Brave face put on, and I start dragging his aerial. Don't drag me. Head, no. I'm Henry. <laughs> I, I will not. We he need to go. At the next behind you. So it is alive? No. He shakes his head no and points at the lake behind you. What? Points behind you. So they're you. both dead. Wait, behind me? So not the one where they came out of? He points behind you towards the lake. What do you think happened to him? I don't know, Frederick, it's a crap. Turn the fuck around. <laughs> uh, okay, fine, I'll turn around. Well, let me find the right thing. Mm -mm. And you will see surfacing from the water. Why didn't it look? Eh. Eh. Bless me. Load. Oh, for the love. Yeah. I sneeze. Bless you. Thank you. Tentacles coming out from the from the water. Giant. Ah. Uh, how far away? Uh, basically towards the center of the lake. Okay, I'm going to walk near the water, dip Carlos in the water, and then look at everyone else. Uh, because I had I needed to hydrate him, make sure he can still bleak, or still breathe. Mm -hmm. And then look at everyone else with a smile on my face and say, "This is when we leave." <laughs> I don't like being Are here you anymore. Putting Carlos in the water <laughs> to so hydrate him so he can breathe. Oh. And then I pick him back up and I walk towards the church. Walk? You mean run? <laughs> hey, it can't come out of the water. It's a water creature. It's fine. Well, I'm a giant booking it. Nicole slams right in front of you. Okay, we run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm booking it. Is Ariel being dragged? Just like, it's in the water. What's the worst that could happen? Doosh. And we're running now. It's the Kraken. Come on, single file. It's the Kraken. Single file, stick with your buddy. <laughs> buddy system, guys. Buddy system. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and we're gonna run back to the church. Well, I'm gonna run back to the church. I don't know if anyone else is gonna follow. I'm being dragged back to the church by the yeah, sounds of things. Yeah, yeah. like I am I'm full along. on running. Yeah. As fast as my legs can carry me. And you will make it back to the church. Uh, where's yeah. the mercenary group? Bottom left. I would like to go to them. Say, so, hey, we found one of the three mercenaries. <laughs> we found Joaquin. What? I mean, Carlos. What? I mean... What's his Clarence. name? No, no not that one. Clarence. That's Clarence. It. Wouldn't it make sense to also tell the church people that Hysteris is full of demons? Yep, Perfect. I'm going to. I'm going to yeah. tell fucking the priest or... I was going to tell the priest. Some one of us is going to tell the priest. Not it. <laughs> while, you, while you go... <laughs> X is like, it was awkward between me and the priest. I don't know if I yeah. can do this. <laughs> oh, should I... We leave that at... Uh, I should probably... <laughs> I should tell everyone about the stands. We've all got stands. <laughs> We've all got stands. I'm like, yeah, I'm standing on my own two feet. No, I mean as in is... seeing Ares behind Frederick. Go for it. Ares would the... be happy. Or, uh, Frederick would be happy. <laughs> the sort of Olympus guy behind X, and then seeing Orphum's... What's her name? Spirit Weaver. That. I'm seeing the Spirit Weaver. Ah, peaceful church, as we all know. Hmm. Many a hijink has happened here. <laughs> well, at least it's I, I'm... the other place that we literally set on fire. I'm still holding a Zerfi Saint. No. I'm so tempted to add salt to the wound and say, like, well, you're Princess to know her now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bro. I, don't think, I, I think it's a little too soon for that. Princess yeah. title really went up in flames, huh? Wow. <laughs> I mean, she's made a vow to rebuild it. And if anyone was listening to her yelling at the air, if she has to burn it to the ground <laughs> first, you know so be time it. For? What? Moxie face. M Moxie face? Robin, do you know about it? Moxie face? The most recent Hell of a Boss episode. Oh, is this oh. A I do a good job? Well, it looks yeah. like I'm being dragged into the church. Yeah. I've already I've already been shown that it was when I was accidentally mean to X. Did I that send you face. that clip, Cosmic? That's that face. No, but I know of it. Well, uh, you don't know the one I sent to... Uh, to... Do a good job. <laughs> no, I do not. Here, I'll, I'll send it to you real quick because it's uh, Blair. If you have not watched the episode, please do. <laughs> oh, I have watched it. I'm caught up. Okay. Okay. Thank God. So uh, I know the face are... I'm talking about right at the end. I need. Do I, I find it? I am on no, my, I said my, my fourth I'm rerun. I'm asking if Blair knows. Hey guys, oh. you want you want to know something? Hmm. I I titled my stream "Burnt Trees and Bounties" and look where this came. <laughs> oh, that was before more I knew this was happening. Trees. That's that's more that's more uh, fitting than my title. I was like making my making our way to Hysteros Part Two, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> no, <laughs> and, and then it, then it, that happened. Yeah, it just turned into arson. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, I'm guessing you saw yeah. the black. Yeah. <laughs> Who can say where the road goes? We didn't Jesus start Christ. the fire. <laughs> that, that's exactly. No, you did start the fire. You definitely started the fire. We, we definitely started. The yes, fire. exactly. Oh, did you know there's actually a modernized uh, cover of that song with all the recent boy. events? Yes. Yeah. It's so good. It actually sounds really good. Yeah, it sounds a lot better than the first one did because they actually got the rhythm, whereas the first one felt off key somehow. Mm -hmm. That's just me, though. Anyway, you make it back. Who's going where first? Well, I'm, I'm obviously to still attached to, to Zerial. Carlos. I'll probably tag along to the bounty hunters. I want payment. I'm still attached to Zerial, like glue. <laughs> just Frederick walks in. I now present you this fucking thing. <laughs> and it's like, what on earth is that? <laughs> it's your guy. That's a crab. Who's your guy? <laughs> so, uh,. Tell me which order you would like to go and whenever I'm needed. Let me know. 
Let's see. Uh, if you need to step away for a second, we could do a zero and Ortham first. Uh, I don't need to step away. I'm just. I was you talking a lot, it. so if you want to have them go first, you can. Yeah, let's 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 give them a minute. <sighs> okay. All right. You come into the church, like bursting the doors open in a huff, running over to Father Jeremiah. I'm assuming. At this time, I'm gang dragged. <laughs> Yeah. Probably. Huh? It's a it's a flip flop. That's crazy. Robin. Robin. I am muted. Whoops, Daisy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. We're going to Jeb. Jebediah. Jeremiah. Jeremiah got walls. <laughs> I know Jeremiah I got him, boys. <laughs> oh, it's hey. a code Gius. Gius thing. Oh yeah, that's right. Jeremiah. Godfall. More like Jeremiah. Hmm? Orange. <laughs> I think he was an orange boy. Yeah, he's orange, yeah boy. he was orange boy. Yeah. He got really offended by orange. <laughs> the color offended him. That's how manipulated, manipulated he was. <laughs> he, he grew from liking the color orange to hating oh. color orange. Oh. He hated oranges. He hated the color orange. He hated everything orange. Did he become an orange picker? I think he did. I think he, he did. did. Yeah, that's right. He did. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's all. He did. He got over it. It's a, a code chaos thing. Hmm. Character from Cookie. highly recommend watching. Did he oh, yeah. some shirt? He would. <laughs> well, maybe not now, but back then he would. Mm. All right, so you burst up to Father Jeremiah. He sees you like in a huff and uh, struggling. He goes, well, "What is wrong?" For one, is I have a seven-foot a... <laughs> being cl clutched onto me like a cat on a ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> and two, I just had to burn down Hysteros for the second time. Oh, well, I had to watch Hysteros burn down for the second time. Wait, he burned it down the first time? <laughs> As he said, need to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm really his eyes, into it. His his eyes widen as he approached you, put both hands on his shoulders like What do you mean you had to burn it down again? <laughs> Look, I fixed I corrected myself, I had to watch it burn down a second time. <laughs> Just don't lie in the background. <laughs> <laughs> saying it's, saying it's, that implies already. I burnt it down it, the second time. You are time. you are in the house of gods. And you lie. <laughs> And it's, you know these gods exist. <laughs> it's <coughs> full of <coughs> evil. Yes, as my evil, sputtering evil, companion evil, 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 evil. coughed. The evil! Evil! evil. Just, just <laughs> Ortham says evil. Jeremiah goes, evil! <laughs> <laughs> we like, like, just make a mermaid and <laughs> evil! Goes, anyway, continue. Well, I burning down. What? What happened? We, ar we arrived at Hysteros and Cosmic and Cosmic Wire. <laughs> and Frederick. there was this weird little fox. <laughs> yeah, that just wandered in. <laughs> this weird little cat dog. This weird thing. little fox that just exploded everything. <laughs> but no, we. We didn't start the flame war. That little fox thing walked in there, blew up, and we just went, huh? <laughs> and then we got screamed at. We <laughs> arrived at Hysteros, and uh, Frederick encountered an old friend, rival, enemy, frenemy, thing. Richard! Um, yeah, name's Dick. Was a bit of a dick. Apparently, not gonna lie, didn't care much for him, but at the end, it felt a little sorry. Much. But not that much, though. Like you know, <laughs> just a little bit. I'm trying to be brief, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, and we we go into Hysteros, which I thought was in ruins, but it was it was hardly singed. It was a little crispy around the edges, if that. And Frederick just had a really bad feeling of it all. Said the place stunk, stank. 
reeked. That's the he word. He said that was one stank bitch. He, he said it. It, it, it <laughs> smelled <laughs> like shit. <laughs> I wasn't listening too closely. And not like the shit that comes out of your body. The <laughs> shit that comes from hell. <laughs> I'm gonna point out my breath. I, I think I wasn't listening too closely because I was fixing it on a gecko, but I think he said that we're surrounded by stink. <laughs> uh, evil stink. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this old beggar placed a hand upon Frederick's shoulder and that curse, that black fire curse, was left upon his pauldron. So we left the the town and came up with the idea to burn it down with holy fire. This is the screams. The ghost of the shore. I can still see it and hear it now. This is. Oh, I heard you didn't have trauma. Well, you definitely do now. <laughs> I had trauma before. Yeah, everyone had mean? trauma. I think, I think the only one. I think I mean... the only one that doesn't like officially officially have trauma is like X, but that's because X is like eh, shit happened. Yeah. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I, I feel like this didn't even like traumatize X. Like, oh, arson, cool. I'm game. <laughs> X has their trauma. They're over it. I mean, you know why X didn't get trauma for this? Because X went to the outside. <laughs> they didn't see the people in there or smell or like anything. They're like, oh, look, a wall. Oh, <laughs> That's the back time to burn oh, it down. Look, whoa. <laughs> Father Jeremiah. I wonder if there are any traps here. Whoa. Yep. Father, Jer Father Jeremiah. And excuse my language here, but what the fuck is going on with this era? <laughs> Language! I just asked for an excuse for it. Relax. <laughs> Father Jeremiah... Uh, Jeremiah just places his hand on both of your shoulders and goes, I'm sorry you had to go through that. I didn't I know... don't need apologies. I need answers. What the fuck happened to my hometown? I don't have your answers. The last time I saw his Theros, it was to the ground. I didn't know anything about it being rebuilt. The Sea of Souls was screaming at me, and the purple fire that we leashed, it turned black, and I'm traumatized. <laughs> and I am deeply traumatized. <laughs> and I saw a crab that had apparently been a human. Like, <laughs> what? Was it like it had crab legs and a human body, or a no, crab a body and human legs? He, 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 was, he was polymorph. He was a human. He, that, that doesn't matter. <laughs> it was a cursed polymorph, I think. We might be able to help him then. But I can't give you the answers I don't know myself. You know this, Zero. You asked me these very same questions. The first time we met, why my town? Why was there fire? Why, why? I didn't know then, and I still don't know now. My question is, how did my flames turn into cursed flames? Because maybe your flames were corrupted by an outside mm. force. See, that's a question I can handle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just like, he answers that, and then he just looks at and he's just like, Finally, something so, I can fucking answer. So something my, that made the least bit of sense. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I light a little fire at my fingertip, like not casting fireball, but like, you know, kind of like holding it a little bit just to examine the flame. It's like, can I just out. like put it out with my hand? Just like, not now, not here. Not, <laughs> not at I'm this not moment. casting it. I do not care. I need care. to make sure it's I not cursed. Care. I do not care. Not now. Do it later when I'm it's not, not here. The time. <laughs> it's not the time. It's not the time. Where's my fire curse? Wait, you were set up from outside him. Arashi, he just answered your question. I know. Ezreal. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Catch your breath. And think. 
what can you tell me that seemed off, that stood out to you? Just any little detail you could think of. Everything I I saw or heard was mostly secondhand knowledge from, from, from Frederick. I had a scroll of true seeing in my bag. I decided to use it and the sea, the ocean of spirits and ghosts. That can truly be a frightening sight to one who isn't prepared. It... What was it that the clerics taught you when casting a spell? You must be prepared for the consequences no matter what. I don't think anything could have prepared me for that. And yet here you are still standing. You're strong. One thing that did confuse me when I cast, when I used that scroll, there was something different. There was something, someone stood behind ex Orphan and, and Frederick. It was like I could see their god, in a sense. Behind Frederick, I, I, I saw Ares. Behind Orphan, I saw this... Lady. Woman, well, this nice lady. Womanly figure. <laughs> woman clad in green. I saw this nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> but behind X, I saw... I don't remember his name. I don't think I ever actually figured it out or was nope. told it. Nope. The Slayer of Oryx. <laughs> <laughs> the, the... the Getter of Bitches. The, the Player of Plays. That the King of Taken. Man. <laughs> the King of Taken. <laughs> That's a really good one, actually. That man who cursed the Blade of Olympus was stood behind that. I did a little more research on the Blade and after that incident with your friend and I think they've been blessed by Thanatos. The... The God of Death? Yes, the God of Death. Let's go. The very same. You know that guy from the game Hades who people were like thirsting after? Yeah, that guy. <laughs> you know, that makes total sense for how Alex's character is. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Arashi theorized earlier that it was Hades, but when I did my research on some of the Greek gods, like, oh no, I meant Thanatos. My bad. Because I got I mean, the Hades is does not uh, is not the god of death. No, he does not control the, the dead. dead. He control. <laughs> he does not control the speed at which things die. Right. That is Thanatos. Thanatos controls yes. the way in which That's things die. That was my misconception of the Greek gods, and now I have rectified Hang on. it. I have a meme for this somewhere. Oh, no. Not the meme. Oh, yeah. oh, God. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Oh, you ready? Where is it? If I can find it. It doesn't exist. There it is. I found it. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw General yeah, Shit you know, with the body face. I have a feeling. <laughs> That uh, uh, um, the woman in Thanatos would have at least talked a few times. There you go. I put the meme in general chat. Hades is explaining that he's the god of the dead, not the god of death. Thanatos is explaining he's the god of death, not Hades. <laughs> Thanatos is explaining that it's like black animal. <laughs> I do not control the. 
Hold on. I do not control the die. I the die. I control the die. I control the speed control. at which lobsters die. I control <laughs> lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you I, just shove them in a boiling pot. Of course they're good. Oh die. my god, that's hilarious. Uh, it's actually really good. <laughs> but yeah. So you realize that now X has the blessings of Thanatos and not Hades. Gaming. Hey. Hey. That means you're religious you now. Nonchalant. <laughs> or maybe it's just one of those heathens that's just like, got picked up by God. <laughs> yeah, basically. Thanatos was like scouring the earth days. one day. You're mine now. <laughs> Thanatos was scouring the earth one day, and then he came across this little fucking gremlin, and then he was like, <laughs> Good enough. You know what? I like you. And then just X just went, rah, 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 and he's like, Yeah, you talk real shit. Yeah. I like you. <laughs> just Blair went Tasmanian devil. He's like, Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. I picked that one. It's like Blitz picking out Luna. Right. Yes. Except instead of all the trauma and stuff, it's just a little gremlin. <laughs> so it's more Moxie picking Lily. Millie. Millie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to rewatch Hell of Boss for like the seventh time now. Because it's so good. And in fact, I'm going to. What episode was I on? Seven? No, not right no, now. No, just start at later. one. Just start at one. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just putting it on for later. Yeah. Um. Okay. So he tells you to take a minute, relax, gather your thoughts, and see if you can, you know, square these circles. Circle these squares. Exactly. Where does the cylinder go? That's In right. Where? All the these squares make hole. a circle. <laughs> All these squares make a circle indeed. Blair, stop. You're speaking artist. <laughs> it's scaring me. Wait, what'd she say? All these squares make a circle. Wait, what'd you say, Blair? All these squares make a circle. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Shut up, Blair? you fucking artist talk. You're scaring me. <laughs> um, right. I love how I understand, but not if you guys do. Were there any other questions? What do you mean? Oh, I hear my elbow. Said it. Of course I understand. Pixels on a screen are square, and it makes a circle. That's crazy. That's crazy. Are there any other questions for Jeremiah? Are you taking his advice and just sitting down, gathering your thoughts and stuff? I made a vow to myself that I would rebuild Hysteros to its former glory. And I'm not stopping now. Be it that I've had to burn my hometown to the ground. Did... You said you saw the gods. Did any of them say anything to you? The Sword of Olympus guy thing. Person, guy, Person. dude. I think he was the guy. One called me a child, bitch. And they called you a child, bitch. They called me a child. <laughs> pause. And then I said that he's a bitch. Oh. <laughs> that makes a little more sense. Cleric with a foul mouth. It's funny. You. That makes a little more sense. A child. I did the exact same thing to Alira as well. She called me a child, and I went on calling her a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> almost like, almost like a correlation between the two. Mm. Um, what? What? Also, I have a question for you. also for said that some things are better off dead. That definitely sounds like Thanatos. And I take it you will not heed his advice. I made a vow that I would rebuild Hysteros. I'm sticking by it. Be it if I need to rebuild in a different place, then I will. If I can't safely build there on unholy ground, I'll find someplace else. What does that mean, Cosmic? <laughs> I don't They're playing tic-tac-toe by themselves. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> of toads, got it. I was saying it so it wouldn't interrupt, but yeah. oh well. I mean, I was. <laughs> I locked on to that. She was like, why? <laughs> anyway, okay. continue. Makes sense. Okay. Well, I'd say think on what he said. You may not like how he said it, but he may have given you some help, something helpful, whether you wanted to hear it or not. I understand. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Um, what expression did the womanly figure have when Azariel saw her? Zero couldn't really see her face, nor could she see uh, Ares' face. Just only yeah. that one. The only face she saw, like the only person, like she saw, saw. She like, saw death. Part, like, yeah, she saw Thanatos. So the the one, she, the one that Ezreal saw was Ares, but he was like armor covering a spirit. Uh, the spirit weaver was just in a spiritual form, so it's not they were clad in green. That's like they their essence was green, you know. Oh, okay. Like the forest. And Thanatos was there in all his glory, being a bitch. Well, I mean, he saw Child. into the into the astral plane where which souls are at, and that's where he would be. <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me I t I told the god of death that he was a bitch, and I faced <laughs> no repercussions? Repercussions? Ha ha! Get it? He's not an know. immature Play child. Words. I mean, cushions. You say you face no repercussions, but you just had to burn down your hometown that you swore to rebuild. So oh, I'm still going to. I know, but you said no repercussions. Like, oh, well, there's this foundation here, but, uh, well, fuck it. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll rebuild it? it from the ground up. I don't care. Oh, I know. I know. Repercussions. I got, I got it wrong. I got it the first time. <laughs> I will beat a dead horse if I have to. <laughs> don't do that. What did the horse ever do to you here? It was cute and cuddly. Are, are you coming on to me? What? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, I'm not interested in you. I didn't. <laughs> But why would you drown puppies? Because they're cute and cuddly. I killed a person over 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 killing uh, or kicking a puppy. And, and and a beggar, but it's okay. No one kicks puppies and Let gets away with continue. it. Yep, this yes, 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 yes. <laughs> like the horse. Exactly. Anyways, like everyone in Hysteros. It's true. <laughs> it's true. So you leave and go off and try to find ways to calm down. So X and Frederick, I'm assuming, are going to Butch at the yeah, table. Yeah, I want my money. I want my money. Yeah, 33% because we didn't really succeed too well. Money's money. That's true. You're getting paid tonight, but Not well, but at least it's something. <laughs> yeah, so how are you approaching Butch? Or at least the house. I knock on the door. Civilized, I appreciate it. And he'll come up and he'll open the door. I will hold Crab up into air <laughs> <laughs> and say, We found one of them. He, he tilts his head and he goes I'm gonna tell you uh, it's, it's um what was the name it was Clarence Clarence yeah Clarence. I'm gonna say this one's Clarence it was a curse of polymorph <laughs> I just speechless <laughs> What in tarnation happened? <laughs> As for the other two, uh, they got killed by a giant toad. We did find all of them, though. We we did, but 
Only this one came with me. Uh, wait, Named the him other Carlos one... before I figured out it was Clarence, and I think he likes Carlos more. <laughs> wait, the other one that ran back in got... Got... You know, squid. <laughs> Tentacles. Oh, oh, lovely. He He's stunned. He goes... A crab, though? I Listen, I don't make the rules. It just happens. At least that we have one. And like Carlos is like rapidly saluting at Butch. <laughs> <laughs> and he just goes, Clarence, is that you? And he just like pinches multiple times, <laughs> gesturing that, you know, he's, as best he can mm. while being picked up above Frederick's head. Pinching is uh, his sign of way, or his way of saying yes. And Butch just rubs his hand over his eyes. He goes, well, at least you can say you didn't fail your first job. Well, I wouldn't say it was a success, but it's better than nothing. I'd argue it was a success. Listen, one person coming back in this business is a lot better than nobody coming back. That is true. And he'll say, can, can we fix him? Can we make him uh, not a crab? I was going to ask the priest about that, see what he knows. So, Chances are... Why didn't you go to the priest first to fix him, then bring him here? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I wish I thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I'm to go do that right now. I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> and he goes, hey, like you, you run off and he like puts his hat up and he goes, I'll just wait till he's done. OK, <laughs> I make no promises, though. I don't yeah. know how curses really work. Yeah. So. X, what are you doing? You just staying there with Butch as he's just like dumbstruck at one of his <laughs> one of his uh, bounty hunters just became <laughs> a crab. Yeah, I'll probably vibe back with him. And Butch is just like leaned up against his door, just looked at you and like crabs though. <laughs> yeah, like three of them. Why turn him into something that can fight back? <laughs> oh yeah, he's still holding the trident. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they didn't seem to do that job of that well of a job of fighting back. You see, there was also this like giant toad. A giant toad? Was that another of my guys? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they turn on each other? Because they were aware. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, there was only three. Mm hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> Imagine if the third one was something else and the other crabs were just like regular crabs. <laughs> Congratulations, you picked up the wrong gecko. <laughs> well, you got the right gecko because he is a gecko, but the wrong gecko because like, uh, uh, well, the rest are on fire. <laughs> I have a dumb gecko in, yep. uh, in my... Um, Little coat pouch. collar, bird yeah. pouch, yeah, just sticking out, licking its eye every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hopefully, uh, the priest can maybe do something to help him out. What? What happened out there? Quite a bit. It's a bit of a long story to tell. I don't know how long that's gonna take. You know, I'd I'd, I'd much I'd be uh, much more fond of uh, talking payment for a job well done. Well, payment will come after my guy comes back as either a crap or a person. Fair enough. I did promise. 
that I would pay you and I will pay you for your job. Each of you. So did glad you, I grabbed that crab. Did you at least capture the target? I'm afraid that there is a no one we happen to capture today. You see, there was a there was a little bit of complication. I see. Well, if whatever they were chasing turned him into that, then I guess I'm grateful you didn't come into contact with them. Yeah, I'm not quite the crabby type. <laughs> My men are dead and you're making jokes! <laughs> 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 Partial credits better than no credit. Like, yeah. like you said, like you said, his man coming back, you know. It uh he's he, you you got your job done. You didn't get their job done, and that's fine. Yeah. Cause you weren't hired to take them out. You were hired to back them up, but as you found out. Crab ain't bounty hunting. Bounty hunting. <laughs> yeah. But crabs? <laughs> like, he's still, like, <laughs> he just hung up on it. <laughs> and he goes, All right, all right. I did say you got your job done. I do believe that that crab, as unbelievable as it is, is the is Clarence or Carlos or whatever he wants to be now. <laughs> and he'll pull out uh, basically the reward sack uh, gold coins and he'll hand you 50 gold pieces. In total? No, 40. Yes, in total. Because it's 10... Player specifically or for all of us? It is for all of you. Oh no. It's ten gold pieces each. Oh no. Hmm. Is this the amount we agreed yeah, on before? Gone. There was no agreement before. You just took the job. Hmm. I mean, fair enough, but I feel like we deserve a little bit more than that. We did put our life on the line in order to bring back your friend. And what else would you want? Whatever you're able to spare. Roll me a... Oh, shit, it's like a negotiation stat. You know what? Roll me a... What's a charisma thing we can do? Persuasion? We just, uh, you know what? We can just do charisma. charisma. Roll me a charisma roll. Charisma or persuasion? Charisma. Hmm. A valiant effort. <laughs> you came back with your lives. That's the best that anybody, any bounty hunter can ask for. Hmm, yeah, but I appreciate your life doesn't exactly keep us uh, going, you know. I you appreciate well your in order to be able to do more jobs in the future. I appreciate your hustle, but keep that for the next job. A crab though, and he just like closes the door mm -hmm. behind him. No, you hear him close the door first, and it's just like, oh yeah, just, like, walking away. <laughs> right. So probably pocket the gold and then head back then. Yep. <laughs> just seeing like. X and A Taco just like shuffling beside each other. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Frederick, I assume you're um, going back to the church. Yeah. All right. We'll finish up with the uh, Clarence and then we'll call it there. Okay. All right. Um. So who who do you, who are you going to to ask for removing a curse? The priest. 
good call. It's, pro- it's probably the best start you can go. <laughs> yep. Yep. So I'd like to ask him. Uh, so, uh, how does crab? <laughs> it's it's a person though, and I think he's got a court a curse of a polymorph. Maybe something we can do to get get rid of that. And uh, Jeremiah just goes, a crab. A person's been polymorphed into a crab Correct. and they have to revert it back. Yes. I see. Well, I guess we have to call them. Uh, who's them? The curse expert of the church. <laughs> oh, is this uh, the pawn shop now? Got to make sure the curse is authentic. <laughs> we have to cure them, and they are the only ones that possess the ability to cure cure them without religious means. I see. He goes, come along. And he takes you to the stairs, but instead of going up the stairs, you're going down the stairs. Ah. There's no dungeon down there, but there is a lab. Ah. Yep. And you will see a person wearing a bird-like mask at the bottom. Covered head to toe My doctor. in leather. Okay. So that's either a plague doctor or a shaman. Bit of column A, bit of column B. Fair enough. So of course I'll run them by uh, crab turned in or a human turned into crab. I need them r- turned back. Yeah. Is there anything they can do? And uh, his, the way he moves his body seems unnatural. Like he's first he's looking at other things, then his head jolts sideways, turning to look at you as he approaches. It's small, scuttle shuffling as he moves forward. Hmm. Wait, they go. You play doctor? No, they just take very little steps. And they walk up and they go, A crab. Yep. Interesting. I have not seen one of these in a while. It'll take two, three hours. And he takes them from your hands. Uh, what would I need to pay? He's not your problem. It's his problem. He got cursed. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what would he need would to pay? Say. I'll talk about that later. It depends on how long it actually takes. Three hours is just a guesstimate. Ah, okay then. I like. I'm this gonna way. stay here and watch it. You wish to know about science? I mean, better to know than to not. New stuff. Jeremiah, I knew I liked this one. I, I liked this one. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You may watch. Yeah. Oh, I want to watch. Did you follow Frederick down the stairs? Dude, if I saw them, then did you? Then yes. You wouldn't have oh. seen the plague doctor, though. You would have seen Frederick and Jeremiah. Yeah, you yeah. wouldn't know it's down there. Yeah, I mean, I'd be following you, Frederick, because um. What's I need to get my mind off things. Orthon's going to be following because he needs to keep his mind off things. Weren't you clutching onto me, though? Yep. No, I let like, go. Oh. Nope, 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 oh, nope. No. Orthon's with X. There is. They, ah! may, they, may, they may meet the good doctor later, but that is later. Right now is right now. Okay. <laughs> 
and Don't forget uh, about your own curse. Where? The curse on Frederick's pauldron. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. He Man. forgot. He's too focused on, on Clarence. I'm too worried about the crab right now, but my pauldron is off of my shoulder. It is off. Because I do not want that thing on my shoulder. No. Oh, it is first. That's a terrible idea. Yep. Yeah. So where did you put it? If not on your shoulder? Uh, good question. I think I've just been carrying it in an open hand. Okay. Probably like tucked under your arm or something. When he when he takes the crab out of your hands, you look at the pauldron. It is jet black now. Ah. Um, I'm gonna also say. Uh, also, uh, this thing was cursed. Uh, any solutions for that? He turns his head sideways again. And goes. Does it mean something to you? I believe this is the crest that came from Bradshaw, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. This is um, my previous mentor's uh, crest. From a ah, he passed of away, yes. Past. No, he's he's still alive. <laughs> then treasure his memories and burn that or destroy it or whatever. Uh, so it can't be fixed, can it? Not without looking how you want it to look. What do you Just, mean, looking how I want it to look? I'm going to beat the curse out of it. Ah. <laughs> Unlike people, it is metal. It will be used for something better. Then you can always then retain it. I suppose it. that's the best thing. I, I agree. I would like to smash it because I have an idea of what to do with it. Mr. Krabs, I have an idea. I was going to use that metal for the gauntlets. Ooh. Has okay. A battle for gauntlet? You sure? I, yeah, you just make it in segments. <laughs> yeah, that's where the gems go in, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the stones. Uh, I mean, the gauntlet. It's the only way to make the limitless gauntlet. I mean, the jelly beans. That's where the jelly beans go. <laughs> And uh, he puts Clarence just like on a little examination table, and like he fixes the monocles on his mask as they, like slowly like, pop out of the lens to zoom in and out. He goes, mm. and like every time and any time you see his hands just like not doing anything, they're just like meticulously like tapping the ends of each finger against his thumb. Hmm. Like, this guy has nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with how many curses they've dealt with, I could only imagine. Yeah. And, and he goes, okay, 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 okay. Mm, so, let's see. What was it? What was it? Uh, yes. Uh, the, no, no, no. Uh, mm. Name. Does he have a name? The uh, person that was cursed into the crab? Yes. Clarence. Good, good, good. He needs something to hold on to, or he may come back not how he was. Okay. I'm gonna ask Clarence, are you sure you want to do this? Clarence squints his little eyes and looks determined. I'm gonna pat him on the back of the shell lightly and say, you got this, buddy. <laughs> Clarence just like pinches happily as he hands you the trident to hold on to. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell the crab one more thing. You pick the name you want to remember. He nods. And, uh, the doctor just like grabs a needle and slowly puts it in between the shell to, in, uh, to infuse it into him. And uh, Clarence will slowly just like get droopy and slowly just collapse on the examination table. He goes, "Okay, okay, 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 okay. Um, um yes, uh, okay. I, I, uh, I, um, it's he may get hurt, but it's what we have to do. 
are the injuries possible to be lethal? Some would say yes. Is it possible to heal him during the operation? If he is damaged in this form, it will not affect his true form. So if we take off a pincher now, but cure him, he will have both arms. Yes. See. Good. So if he loses an arm in his crab form, he will still have a, both of his arms in his normal form. Yes. Okay. For if I am removing the curse, it removes every aspect of the curse. I see. And, uh, As you must, and I'll stand here to heal if yeah. it so needs. Yeah. And so he would just like start like mixing chemicals together, you know, science, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna just observe. Yep, observe. And I just like think to myself back to what he said about the curse with the pauldron. Just like, man, I didn't know science was so violent. Kind of like it. <laughs> kind of like it. <laughs> You should hear about what my brother made. Atomic bomb. It was glorious. <laughs> we have a problem. We don't talk about it. nuclear bomb. Wait, what? <laughs> we don't talk about that, though. Oh, Jerry. Man, Jerry was a dick. But he got his results. Anyway, well, yeah, he I... died to his results. <laughs> yes. But, you know. Wait, how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> You I take mean, that back. <laughs> bonding with the plague doctor. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> and, uh... He's not only fusing chemicals, but he is fusing, like, herbal essences and... A bit of voodoo, if you will. I would like to watch very closely to learn something, if I could. Roll a arcana check. Um, would this arcana is was is it wisdom? No, it's intelligence, so it would still have disadvantage. Yes, it would. Hey, that's still not well, too bad. Yeah, no. You're able to understand that he's doing you're not sure what the science is, but there is some magic being being shown still. Maybe it's just some form of magic. Maybe you just had a funny word for magic. <laughs> it, is is Ariel still gripping my hand? You're the one gripping mine. What if we both let go at the same time? One, two, three. You didn't let go. You didn't either. <laughs> that entire time, is Ariel has just kind of been like, oh, okay, this is happening. Yeah. It's still happening, apparently. Yep. Let go. Go away. And funny when he said three hours, it only took him about an hour and a half to get it done. So half as, out. Yeah. So as you know, uh, Carlos like springs to life awake, like growing okay. its size. Yeah, no. But he's Carlos now. He's Parents growing Carlos. in size. As he's slowly forming from like a hat, like a crab into like a humanoid crab into finally a human. As he falls back on the exa exam table and he's just gasping for air, you know, coughing and choking, spitting out water. Oh, jeez. And he goes, ah, okay, okay, this did not take long. Good, 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 good. I did not forget. Good, good, good. good. Must remember, must remember, must remember. <laughs> and then he goes Clarence and he just like lightly shakes and goes Clarence come on come on come on let me try and then and then Carlos? no and then when he says and then when you know he doesn't wake up he slams his fist right next to Clarence's head and he goes wake up damn it Clarence <laughs> <laughs> shorts up and he goes ah! <laughs> what, what happened where am I he goes, ah, good, good, good. First off. I, I thought maybe I killed you for a second. But with the, it worked out, it worked out. Before you get up with <laughs> He's fine. Okay? Okay. Clarence. 
or Carlos? Which did you want? And he, like, groggily rubs his eyes, shaking his head, and he goes, Honestly, Carlos throws off the tongue better, but I, I know I'm Clarence. He goes, good, good, good. Okay. Now, this small thing called payment. Um, oh, boy. Oh, you didn't have your clothes. Okay, maybe when I said <laughs> all aspects of curse, <laughs> maybe when I said all aspects of curse cu- didn't affect it, uh, maybe little fit to get your trust. Well, the good news is we have extra padded armor. <laughs> Hey, good call. You may want to wash it first, though. I might want to get eggs. And like, it's you may egg. want to wash it in like holy water, and then like a bit of burning, at least on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> and and probably uh, for the best. And he goes, "I ah, whatever. I do this for the love of science, anyway. But if you come back here with no money, we will have a problem. With you. Got it? Got good, 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 good. And Carlos, uh, yeah, Carlos just." Nas, he goes, all right, I'm sorry. It's just... I thought you said he likes Clarence more, though. Or he knows, no, he, he's... Like, he knows he's Clarence. He likes Carlos more. He ah, says okay. that it rolls off the tongue a bit better. Okay, so he is, he prefers being called Carlos. Got it. Yeah, he's like, you know, I did not know I needed something until. <laughs> Carlos could be his nickname. Yeah. Yep. Uh, where is he at? I mean, how much is the procedure? A lot. The procedure. It's a lot. It's a lot. How much is a lot? <laughs> thousand. Yeah, thousand gold. Uh, yeah. Damn. Fuck. Yeah. There's no insurance. <laughs> no, there isn't. And it's a mad German science doctor, so, you know, in a plague yeah, mask. Right. Yeah. And when Carlos sits up and you see him, you see a familiar face. That being, look on the screen. Oh, it's that guy! Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> the one guy he didn't want to save. <laughs> no, mean? it wasn't. It wasn't me. I, didn't I know, know. I'm joking. So I don't care. Yeah. Nope. It is a familiar face. Yep. Well, at least he's okay now. But his name was Clarence. This isn't the same preach, you know, the preacher of um, Eros. Oh. Hmm. Wait, this is the. Okay. It's his face, but they're different people. How... Would you like to care to take a guess as to how? Changeling? Mm-hmm. Are they Use the that brain power! Are they the target? I don't know. Is Clarence right in front of you the target? Or is the other guy? Well, the other... The other dude was Changeling. He did go missing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm just going to mutter to myself, well, what do we do about this now? But that is where we'll end it. Hell yeah. I wonder if at some point Azariel finally said, Orson, you're holding my hand. Please let go. <laughs> I think they're both in too much shock and trauma to understand that they're holding hands <laughs> before marriage. You can hold hands before marriage. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Only thing gotta say uh, mm-hmm. went off the rails a lot in the beginning. Yep. And I did have to try to take control a lot to get it back on track. Mm-hmm. I understand needing to take control because I am more of the leading role as everyone's kind of put me into, which is fine. 
I'm okay mm-hmm. with that. But we do need to stay on track more. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So less. It was really the, fun like, once it got rolling on the like later parts. Like I appreciate the jokes and stuff, but kind of hold your tongue a little bit on that, because yeah. it being too much can very quickly shut down like getting through the session like it took us two sessions to get the hysteros you know yeah. that's a bit much like i i don't want to be the bear of bad news like i i love the campaign like i love how much homebrewing there is i love the fact that you're you might let me make in the limitless gauntlet and i love all that <laughs> shit it's just the amount that we go off track is what's really bothering me. yeah doesn't help that we're a bunch of ADHD. ADHD. Yeah, or ADD or. Yeah, but it's just one of those things. It's like, as long as you're self aware, it'll be okay. Yeah. It's like, if you have a joke come up, you like hold on to it, sure, but don't immediately say it when we're in the middle of something. Right. Hell, you can even just type it and then someone can look at it later. Right. But that's all. I am having fun with the session, though. I just, that's the only thing I gotta say is we need to stay on track more. Yeah, I understand. You're right. I was just trying really hard not to, like, railroad you guys into doing stuff, you know? Because that doesn't. Honestly, I don't mind, like, a little bit of railroading. Right. Because, like, honestly, I'm the type of player that really needs to be, like, led around a lot. Like, I'm fine, like, doing, like, little bits of things here and there, but I'm not good at knowing, like, where exactly you want to take it. Yeah. Like, having us railroading to get us to the task point, totally fine. Right. But, like, telling us how to do the task is a little bit too far on the railroading, if that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Like, we, we were lo- lollygagging a lot in the church. Yeah. Which I don't which... really like too much. But, like, if you mm. just told us, like, go to Hysteros, and then we go to Hysteros, and then you're like, okay, now what do you want to do about Hysteros? Yeah. Because mm. now we're at the task point, which makes it make a lot more sense. So we can kind of execute that task how we want to. Right. Like, bitch, we could have gone through there. We could have found the person. No, we decided to light it on fire and raise the entire town. (laughs) Exactly. That's what was good. I love the moment when you're like, the geckos are the people. I'm like, no. (laughs) You're so close, but you so far. It was a polymorph, just the wrong creature. Yeah. When X is like, I got true sight now. I'm like, you should look at something else. X. 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 You making fun of my lisp? The, the, lisp. the most say. normal creature in that town yeah. were the geckos. So take it with a grain of salt. Like I love the campaign. I no. love how much you're letting us um, kind of do whatever we want in the sense of like we can burn down a fucking town. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, oh, going through fire. shit like Listen, the crab using a spear. <laughs> if you knew the shit I put in that town, you'd understand why I let you burn. <laughs> Like, Sorry, like I didn't even let you do that, but no, no. we're just I, like, I, no, I, man, not today. No. I did that on a whim, and it was a flimsy whim. And then I realized what I had done, and I was like, "Have I gone too far?" And you're like, "We're burning the town." I'm like, "I clearly went far enough because <laughs> because burning the town down is a legitimate option that deals with the problem." And- the problem, everything in there is unholy. Solution, holy fire. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hell I, I, I wanted so. to try and sound at least a little emotional you were. during that entire thing. And I feel like oh, I yeah, didn't it, pull it, it, it off across. enough. No, it came I across. I think we were doing well enough. No, it came across. Mm. It came across. I, I was feeling it. I felt it. Most it's just like emotions? I, what emotions? Listen, I was like, I knew, th- I, I know the connection that Hysteros has to your, you know, your character. So I was feeling it. So I get the thing. I'm sure Cosmic was getting it too because they know, you know, bits and little bits and stuff. I'm sure Ortham and X were just as confused as uh, anybody else. <laughs> yeah, the fact what? that... <laughs> oh, go on, Cosmic. Uh, you were explaining something on what would I was understanding? 
that, uh, me that... trying to be emotional as Ezreal saying, hey, we're going to need to burn this place to the ground. Oh, yeah, no, like, it's your town. You don't even need to really portray it. I kind of just assumed that you would you would get emotional with that. Like, fuck, I came here to rebuild it. And now I got to burn it down for a second time. <laughs> <laughs> Gets rough. Do get rough. Yeah. I'm like, sorry, but that was the only thing you could do to fix the problem. Like, sometimes you just gotta burn down a, a house, you know, get rid of the infestation, then rebuild it. Alright, what are our options? Burn it to the ground. <laughs> Anything no else? No exorcisms. Burn it. No, it's like, it's like, I like that, but the fact that your, uh, your first suggestion is concerning, but I like it. In this context, in this situation, at this time right now, good idea. You're right. We're also going to have to cope with the fact that he was tr going to burn down an entire civilization. <laughs> Ow, whatever. They were demons and yeah, fiends and scary stuff. But Could why, you imagine? Why yeah. do you think he threw a fireball? Is because he finally got himself together. And then he no, proceeded dude. to lose it. Oh, go on. <laughs> no, I was, I was going to relate to um, Frederick using what's it called? Divine Sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could you imagine if tieflings were picked up on that? So you're just seeing all right. of this, and then Ezreal is also part of the problem. Oh. <laughs> you go over like, Ezreal, uh, and you just like, Ezreal you grabs, throws in fire. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you, you look oh, at Ezreal. I'm rectifying, I made, I'm rectifying the mistake I made in the past. Oh my god. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. That's... That. I'm kidding, I would never do that. <laughs> That is a memeable quote for this session. <laughs> I'm rectifying my mistake. Rectifying mistake. <laughs> saving you back then. Look, I have no plans of Azerial turning uh, turn coating unless, like, Nano is like, hey, how would you feel about Azerial being evil? Alright, I'm gonna At tell you this now. Give it for? <laughs> Azerial is your character. Like, I know I railroad some of my jokes where I'm like, Frederick says this, or X says this. Like, that's just me adding to narrative, and it means nothing. It's me just... Yeah, that's the other thing I need to definitely say, is, like, I don't like it when people say, um, like, uh, Arashi, how you said, uh, as was giving, like, a blank, or not a blank stare, like a side-eye, and they were being very concerned. Like, they didn't say they were, so unless they say they are, they are not. Because it's not your character yeah that's something i'm a little nitpicky with too mm, it's just trying to add the narrative <sighs> I, right. I understand and i get it but let the player take control of their character like if they want to act a certain way they can act a certain way but adding to the narrative in that sense where you kind of force a feeling onto another character feels like they're losing control of that character and it makes it feel less like theirs, and it makes it feel like they have less interaction in that course because they feel like they're forced into a certain feeling. If that makes sense. I got it. Arashi? Yeah. I apologize if I'm being too rude Arashi. or too blunt, but it needs to be said. Are you gay, man? I, I know. He, he's not mad. He just, it's something that's, you know, getting to everybody. Okay. Yeah, just like roleplay critique. Listen, listen, I have my I was own doing, issues. <laughs> listen, Arashi, I was doing the same damn thing, so I'm in the same boat, okay? I okay. don't mean to attack you. I know. That's not my not. goal. Now, I have something to say to each of you. Yeah. Go for what it. did we do? Uh -oh. I have a feeling I know what it is, but go for it. Oh, we got homework. All right, Cosmic, what do you think it is? Is it a level up? Well, yes, but... Hell yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> That was the good news. The, the, the bad news? Oh, well, it's not bad oh, news. Yeah, it's just work, something work. I need you guys to work on. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Right. There are a lot of silent pauses. I which... think that's more we're just waiting for people to... If they need to say anything, they have the floor. Right. And the thing is with that, it sometimes lasts a while because we do talk over each other a lot. So we need to like all collectively make sure are we all done before we continue. It's right. also something that's a lot easier to fix like in person because you can like visibly see when someone's like done talking because of like physical mannerisms. So it's a lot harder over a voice call. 
yeah. the other to tell when someone's could... done or whether it's a small pause and whether they'll continue or not. And then like a few seconds pass and you're like, okay, they weren't saying anything. So I have an idea how to continue or how to fix that. We mute on Discord if we are not speaking. And we, if we are done yeah. speaking, we hit the mute button because that will signify we are done talking. Good idea. Uh, uh, for those of us who have only like one monitor and that makes it really difficult to do. Um, I mean, I can definitely try. Yeah, no, I I mean, I know about that, like being able to hotkey because I've got one. Um, the problem is I cannot see what other people are saying. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like bring up the Discord app itself. I mean, the biggest way to fix that on my side is, is just adding an indicator mm -hmm. of some sort to show that we're done with that conversation. So we could try and have a conversation next time we have a session on how to fix that, or have a conversation in the chats on like what we think the best course of action would be for indicators, whether it be just typing a singular letter or doing the mute method or something like that. Mm -hmm. Even going along the lines of just saying end at the end of a sentence to say that we are done speaking here. Over like what See, he Saying end is... um. It kind of it takes sounds away wrong for stream okay. methods. Yeah. yeah, it sounds off. So I would, I would very say, immersion breaking. Yeah, I would stray away from the uh, verbal component of that and do something more physical, such as like the uh, typing it so it's more visual instead of verbal. Because mm. I mean, the verbal, the viewers will hear. Type a period kind of in the chat. Or, you could do that minus. too. Yeah, we can we can do something along those lines. We yeah. can try it. It's something like, we can always like try, said, and if it doesn't work, we can change it to something else. Like I said, it's not bad news. It's just like you know something we gotta brainstorm over. Yeah, yeah I agree. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yes, you all get a level up. Hell yeah! yeah I have to actually strength think is going about... to fourteen or uh, plus four. <laughs> <laughs> can you choose? Is it you choose to take a feat? Yes. Over the plus one? Yes. Plus two, okay. actually. Plus two. Yeah, plus two if you put it on one stat, and plus one if you put it in two stats. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I can yeah. also go to plus four strength. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need that, though? No, I don't, but it would be funny. Why? <laughs> I mean... Well, and you just take a feat that gives you a bonus to your strength and then another ability. No, Who doesn't you. like a beefy cleric, though? See? Increase my dexterity to have a plus one in that final. No, mm -hmm. but I've just got like really middle ground stats other than wisdom and strength. Oh man, that must be terrible, huh? All right. <laughs> okay, I'm just a, a big ass bruiser, so mm -hmm. I just want a lot of strength and a lot of con. <laughs> All I know is fine dining. Only got one of them. <laughs> uh, right. Anyway, life mm -hmm. domain cleric level four. <laughs> Mm, what level do I want to put into? Level or perk? Level. Okay. Like class level. Oh. I get revivify. Revivify. Is it is it dead body an object? Yes. Next level I get revivify. Does that mean you could have saved that man? No, he's already dead. His head. <laughs> yes, technically. But no, oh, well. next next level, I cosmic say it, please. Revivify. Huh? Revivify. Yeah, I get that next level. I say revivify because <laughs> you know revive. Revision. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm no. I'm not. I'm not gonna multipass. <laughs> The temptation like to roll for yeah. health. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm going off of the average. Uh, like, yeah. no, Alrighty, guys. We need her filled up. Thank you for being here in winter. That's a lot of bot bands. Thanks. <laughs> so Thank you for your nice that. work. I'll do it when I finish up. Oh my. That's not Next bad. session. Those are overall pretty high Maybe scores, I'll tell so you guys you a one. what yeah, I decided a to go one. into. It's a one. 
the same because I have to determine. Yeah. What? Last time I saw it. What level? I I should put in do like class wise. There probably is some down there then. But yeah, you're very old. sorry to get a chance to respond to you, but <laughs> yeah, it's a long session eight. today. Just from go, uh, not eight. Seven hours. Seven. 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 dead. Just from going for the average. Like I did with the other one. Huh? I might have to use the. Anyways, weapon, so. you guys. You have two constitution. Uh, I've got fourteen, so yeah.